Oh, hello. <coughs> ah. Ah. <coughs> hello, 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 my lovely, lovely imps. Hanubia, Jade Monkey, Somniostatic, Uncle Gumball, Lot of Apples, Zadoki, Canoon, Pan, Sabi, Vermin Hand, Sleepin' Void, Lot of Apples, Thandria, Pan Ness, Main, Cotton D Pad, X, V, Y, Abo, Laya, King, Killjoy, 40K, Psycho Socialism, Queen, Laura, Saxy Jacks, Gay Fesh, Spinkle, Manticore, and from the YouTube chat, we have none other than Duke, A, Deserix, Falmer, Flamingo, A, Driver, Brant, Paul M, Hanubia, Mother of Mudkips, and Arco Iris. Welcome, my lovely, lovely imps. If you are here, please consider smacking the motherfucking like button, because, of course, today is one of our cozy little gaming streams, which means the likes are as important as ever. When we do gaming streams, we always get a little bit, wait a second, we get a little bit less viewers. I just remembered I accidentally left us in the wrong category. I need to change it right now. Oh my God. There. <sighs> Fixed it. Hades. Okay, there, Whew, it's fixed. Thank you very much, Jaunty Horror. I appreciate that. It's gonna be super cozy, but first, but first, we have to talk about a little bit of nonsense that happened on the internet, don't we? Oh my God. Listen, many of you already know, <laughs> many of you already know, I got involved in a little bit of drama, okay, on the internet, and it may have literally resulted in a shitstorm on Twitter, uh, which actually rivals pretty much any other one I've ever been involved in. Hey, hey, HK, thank you very, very much for the incredibly generous 10 pounds. Thank you very, very much. Um, I, I did do a little bit of discoursing. Yeah, I did. And this time it was worth it. See, see, you have to know the code and master it in order to be able to break it. It's not a dogma. There's a time and a place. I did do a little, just a little bit of discourse, but I feel like it was for a very, very good reason. And in fact, an ally from, a, from beyond our community came to have my back, which was cool. Thank you, Vosh, for, uh, thank you to the, the Voshites and the Vimps for backing me up on this one. Uh... Yeah, so for those of you who don't know, we'll just do a little bit of, let's do a little bit of drama, uh, drama, puff, you know, popcorn for you all to enjoy at the very beginning. We're not making anything huge out of this. I just want to go over my thread and, um, and what I was arguing and why I was arguing it. Um, so I'll just go through my comments and, and we'll read them real quick and then we'll talk about what happened and why I got so pissed off about it and why I was willing to, you know weigh in on discourse and it, it, it's gonna become fairly obvious why I got involved because you know I'm really gay and really trans and everybody knows that and so you know that's how I do but let's just let's just start with this okay so hold on oh they've all been deleted how unfortunate the good news oops the good news is if I'm not mistaken I have an archive of the entire thread, which is nice. Hold on, let me just search my history real quick. See if I can't find it. Hold on, let's see. Here. Do, 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 do. Let's see. Bum, ba, da, 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 da. Dun, da, 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 Hold on. Ah! Oh! Oh! Oh, no! It didn't! Yes, we actually, I believe we did, Vermin Hands. Everything has been nuked. Damn it, I knew I should have gotten screenshots, but I actually just did a little thread unroll. Okay, everybody. Ah, oh, god damn it. You want to just, we could just, I guess we could just watch the segment. God damn it. The one time, the one fucking time I don't take screenshots. It comes back to bite me. 
So, what happened? Well, everybody, uh, in short, there was an enormous discourse started by a YouTuber many of us know uh, by the name of Shoe on Head, which was discussing the apparently inappropriate and dangerous um, a, a, a drag show that happened in Dallas, Texas. Now, uh, let me tell you something. First off, the drag show, which we now have video footage from the inside of, was literally the tamest thing you could possibly imagine. It was literally fully clothed drag queens who were just walking up and down a catwalk with some music playing, and there were there was an all it was a family audience. There was no nudity. There was no sexual dancing. I saw one performer do a split. Um, and of course, uh, but 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 you see, there was a very big problem, which is that on the back of this location was a sign. Okay, and I'm gonna show you what this sign looked like. Okay. By the way, like the stream if you're here and subscribe if you haven't subscribed. We need the likes. I don't can't remember if I did that already, okay? I'm going to show you this image, okay? Hold on just a second. And I might actually even be able to find the original post if I'm lucky. If anybody has a screenshot of the original post, uh, I would love to. But But take a look at this. Here we go. This is the sign, approx actually, this is about the sign that was on the background. Here, I'm going to show it to you. This was the sign that we're talking about, okay? This sign was on the back of the uh, uh, location that this um, drag show was at, right? So people were freaking out because they're like, that is, oh, they're sexualizing children. This is a ch child rape ring, is basically what they were saying. They basically just freak, freak the fuck out. And of course, Shoe on Head didn't explicitly say there was child rape going on. However, she did say, I'm tired of being gaslighted that something like this is okay. With a picture of a very tame drag show with this neon sign in the background. Now, as it turns out, the location of this drag show was at an ice cream parlor. Or rather, I should say, a place that sells ice cream from a brand that literally mass produces and sells the it's not gonna lick itself ice cream neon sign. So while it is a bit of an innuendo, that sign belonged to the ice cream company whose ice cream was served at the venue. At a venue that was designed Speci it was like it was a venue that was being used for a family friendly show so <sighs> on a surface it's like well okay so that's a little that that seems a little weird right why would you spread that misinformation well of course it went a lot worse than that including accusing the lgbt community of trojan horsing pedophiles um into the mainstream which I think is absolutely ridiculous and is borderline Nazi rhetoric, uh, which was put forward by Shoe on Head. And on top of all of that, by the way, um, on top of all of that, there was some IRL occurrences that happened that, uh, that make the context of shitting on a random drag show based on literal fake news um it makes it it makes it even worse so real quick i and i apologize in advance a uh, giant trigger warning real quick i know y'all are pretty yeah pretty strong about this um oh maybe she just nuked all the engagements here's the main thread oh uh, yeah here we go here we can look at the main thread here's the main here's the original thread i don't like being gaslit about how totally not weird this is drag the kids to pride a 150 follower event, or sorry, a, an event made by a 150 follower account. This tiny venue where a lady is just dancing and there's literally windows outside. You can literally see these windows over here. You're making a thread with the thread. Excellent, thank you, I appreciate that. I will take a look right now. Appreciate that a lot. 
Yeah! Hell yeah, Gayfesh! Yes! Now we can have the whole thing! Gayfesh comes in! Fuck yeah! Here we go. So it started with this. Freems, a small, medium-sized uh, Twitch streamer, said, Don't take your kids to drag shows as a joke. Right? And then... And then Shu said, Yeah, I agree. That's also pretty weird. Your turn. And then I responded, very simply, Hooters has over 400 locations operating daily, and yet you never post about them. Always find time every single pride to spread vague, contextless, sometimes outright propaganda images, demonizing drag, usually following up by calling actual queer people pedos without evidence. And then I put some thinking emojis here, as you can see. And then Shu responded by saying, I'd probably talk about it more if it was a mainstream topic constant uh, if it wasn't a main or if it was a mainstream topic constantly on my timeline in the news when Hooters starts pretending it's super progressive and we get called reactionary for understandably thinking it's weird. Ah, okay. This is me. I say, "Ah, okay. I get it. It happens all the time, but you don't care cuz that type of quote-unquote child abuse isn't quote-unquote trending." No one's shoving anything in your face, which is why you have to dredge up random shit from years bygone or from 50 follower Facebook pages. My bad, I misremembered. It was actually 150 Facebook followers. I'm sorry for my leftist misinformation there. Oh yes, I know, Saxy Jacks. We're gonna get to that. The concept of talking about current events shouldn't be foreign to a political streamer. This is such a weird hill to pass away on. Good luck with this. And then I said, you spreading propaganda and misleading your audience of kids on YouTube is not current events. Love how vague and euphemistic you have to be. Let's be blunt. Every pride you go out of your way to demonize, usually drag, usually with blatant disinfo. You do not have to, but you do. And then we have this one. Well, because y'all can't help but act like dodo birds defending the most bizarre shit that any normal person would be weirded out every single June. Literally, what misinfo are you even talking about with this? I want to see you defend this. Hey, so why did you leave out this screenshot this time? The one revealing the host of this event has a whopping 150 followers. I've seen no one defend it. I've seen them disagree with your framing and your claims, and then you and your fans call them pedos. Now, it is interesting that she leaves that this is these are the same photos on her original post, which we can see right here. Same fucking photos, but she left out the one with the numbers. Little odd there, huh? I did include that sh screenshot in the tweet I made yesterday, but how is this even a defense? Why can't you just agree it's weird and inappropriate? What's stopping you? And then I said, you're the one pivoting here. Uh, I was I was asking what's, what's stopping you from being honest, from spending time pedo hunting the Southern Baptist Church or the Catholic Church who have a whole lot more victims and more followers than some weirdo's rural drag show with a gross neon light. Thank you very much, Lotta Apples. Deeply appreciate that. Because only one of these things is passed off as good and cool and progressive and defended by people I otherwise agree with. No one even knew this existed until you falsely conflated it with pride in general. Your messaging is dishonest. This is me talking to Shu. If you thought this 150 person event was bad, contact the venue. Go visit the event and do journalism or something. But no. Uh, and then Shu says, go visit the event and do journalism or something. You can say this about anything. Again, I don't know why people want to jump onto this sword. How much longer are you going to not call things out on fear of giving the other side ammo? You even just defended Prostasia. I'm saying literally anything other than what, and then I say, I'm literally saying anything other than what you do would be good. You screen capping some 150 follower event implying there is pedophilia going on because of a gross neon sign and then conflating it with all of pride is grossly irresponsible. And of course, this resulted in uh, a lot of people jumping on board. This exchange, of course, is rather heated, and a lot of people jumped on board. But honestly, all of that is 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 not all that important. Although I will give out a special a special little little thank you for the thank you for the backup. Do appreciate it. Credit where credit is due, uh, specifically to uh, to Vosh here. 
who, who popped in to say, and let me read to you. Shu, we're all public figures here. Even if you disagree with Demon Mama on this particular issue, accusing people of using their platform irresponsibly is totally valid. You do this all the time, even if you don't use that exact language. And then he said, I just don't like that it, that the, well, it's my platform and I can do whatever I want attitude. It's just a way to escape accountability. Oh, oh, you po posted the whole thing. Oh my God, sorry. I didn't know you got the whole uncensored one. Excellent. Thank you. Excellent, excellent. Appreciate that a lot. Gayfesh, thank you. There we go. There we go. Irresponsible. Sorry, Mom, but I'm 30 years old. I can talk about whatever I want on my own platform. Now, some of you may know. Some of you may know that I that that that, that was it. That was a that was my uh, that was my favorite thing that she said the entire time. Um, and I retweeted. I quote retweeted that saying, "You can talk about whatever you want on your platform." But that doesn't stop others from pointing out when you're being verifiably dishonest or spreading propaganda during Pride. Listen to Mama. Spend more time pedo hunting your fellow Catholics and less time lying about queers. This was when Vosh came in. Shu were all public figures here. And then Shu said, Demon Mama also thought it was irresponsible of me to go after Prostasia. I really don't care about what she thinks, to be honest. Mwah. So then Vosh says, well, I don't like the, the well, it's my platform. I can do what I want attitude. It's just a way to escape accountability. You're free to take whatever positions you like. But if others feel you're doing harm, I feel they have every right to accuse you of irresponsibility. Then Shu says, I just feel like I'm going insane. And then Vosh says, very reasonably in my opinion, why? This death spiral happens all the time. You have an objection, but phrase it combatively because you know that the leftists will object, that the conservatives will approve, then the leftists see conservatives approval and object harder, so then you push back even harder. I get where you're coming from, and I know you think lefties act weird about pride sometimes, but in this, but this, but the stakes are very high right now, and I'm worried about fairly inconsequential pockets of weirdness being blown up into a justifying mechanism for serious harm. I guarantee you, 90% of the disagreements you've been having wouldn't be happening if someone was, if everyone was exclusively addressing explicit arguments. But when implicit arguments are weaponized against queer people, they tend to get a bit tetchy. I can't blame queer people for this. And then Shu says, but how can otherwise smart, normal people who I agree with on th most things look at that and think it's fine or think I'm being a reactionary? I don't get it. And it makes me sad, to be honest. And then, then Vosh re replies, I would invite you to speak with me on stream, but I know that's probably not going to happen. Still, if you have the time, please tune into the beginning of it. I'll go over my thoughts. It's not an epic own uh, thing against you, I swear to God. Now, all of that is pretty simple, okay? That's pretty straightforward. Vosh did a, a is in my opinion, a, a, a good segment um, talking about why this stuff is dishonest and why uh, he thinks that there's a really big risk in in making a huge deal about weirdness. And I, I really appreciate that. But I wanna show you guys part of the reason, a very visceral, by the way, a very visceral opportunity to see the reason why I me, Demon Mama, and the Demon Mama community and many others push back against this type of rhetoric. And I'm going to show you, first of all, a screenshot of Tucker Carlson. Look at that. Wow, it worked its way all the way up, all the way through the right wing pipeline, all the way up to Tucker Carlson. So now we have Tucker Carlson blowing up a completely innocuous event based off of propaganda that was initially spread by people like Shu on Head and other weird anonymous channers, but predominantly large accounts like Shu on Head. But it gets worse, okay? Because I'm going to show you some footage from a drag event uh, that was in the same city, okay? Let's just, uh, and, and again, this is the moment where I say huge trigger warning to what's going to be said here, because what we're going to hear in here is, well, quite a lot of horrible shit. Now, keep in mind that this is, this is at a very, I don't know if this is at the same event. Is it the same venue? Okay, it's the same, literal same venue that all of this freak out was happening. And I'm going to, I want you to just pay attention to what this resulted in, what posts like shoe on heads 
what irresponsible fear mongering like the the type engaged in by shoe on head leads to ready okay trigger warning everybody here we go you guys are disgusting so first of all let's take note right here is none other than john doyle everybody remember john doyle that's him that's that's him right there So that's a crowd of people screaming, groomers, 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 you people are disgusting, repent for your sin. Oh, but that's not the end of it, by the way. Not even close. Not even close. Let's take a listen here. This is John Doyle speaking himself. Listen to this. Now it's hard to make out here, but I want you to listen very closely. Let's get that let's get that transcript. Go in there and put bullets in all of their heads. That's what the badge is for, he said, addressing the Texas fucking police. And there's a whole lot more in this thread. We can go in here, we can listen to all of this. Look how inclusive they are here. You can't even get up to the game board. You guys are bigots. Alex, move on. These guys are bigots. You weirdo. They won't let us in the Alex Stein, move on, you weirdo. Alex, move on. Alex, Alex, get away from the door. Alex, screaming about how they're grooming children in here. They're grooming children, just lying, just openly lying and filming this and putting this up on the video, accusing people of literally harming children. Get out of the way! Thank you, Cheeto. Leave the kids alone. Leave the kids alone. So there's a ch there's a family that's attempting to leave, and and these uh these people alongside Andy Neo are chasing the family, and two uh masked activists get in the way. Let's keep watching. Let's find out. Are you ashamed to be your child? That is disgusting. Why are you hiding from the crowd? Why would you do that? Chill out, 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 chill out. Hey! No, you, no, you can't walk through people. You cannot walk through people. Hey! Let me see if I can get this other one. Oh, here we go. He says, there's a pet, you should know, there's a pedophile show going on in there. You're That's what he's telling people outside the event. No one cares. Go back to your side of the street. No one cares. No one cares. Go back to your side. No one cares. No one cares. Go. I can't I can't make it out in there but this guy according to this transcript says that he doesn't trust the woman cop because she's a lesbian there's another clip here that I had saved I wanted to show you all let me see if I can find it real quick it's one it's one of the ones by John Doyle uh, where John Doyle was sort of uh, uh, pontificating Oh yeah, right here. Here we go. Take a look at this one. This is the transcript. Is it's going to be so fun when we take away all of your rights, all of them. Let's take a look. Every single 
this guy over here, hold on, this guy over here says, you can listen to it, watch him, you can watch his lips, watch. Take away all your rights. It's gonna be so much fun to take away all your rights. Every single one of them. Every single one of them. Big blue. 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 Yeah, so, I think you guys might understand why I have such a huge problem with uh with social media uh uh personalities spreading unbelievably aggressive uh misinformation and fear-mongering about trans people hey rapti good to see you yeah um isn't it and and by the way like i said same venue this is what this happens um these guys can't always find this shit as easily as when they have small YouTubers that they can pick up little hints and tips from. When somebody makes something go viral, that shit reaches the most foul corners of the web. They use that as a targeting system. They use the the plausible deniability of, of, of this type of fear-mongering, this type of concern trolling that we've seen now two prides in a row, at least, from people like Shoe on Head. Has Mama responded to Vosh's claim of a trans genocide happening in America? Yes, I've agreed with that position for a long time. Um, I think that uh, we have existed in in like a middle stage genocide towards trans people um, for some time, but it's getting particularly worse, especially with this ridiculous demonization. This this sort of thing, um, crowds of, of YouTubers standing outside of completely innocuous events, screaming in, um, we're gonna take your rights away, you're a groomer, like that type of shit. All of that is 100% par for the course for Nazi fucking Germany. That's the literal type of shit that these things ride on. You have to popularize and, and for, for their position to win what they want. They have to popularize this type of rhetoric, and they are. Rapti, uh, Rapti with the 10 gifted tier ones, uh, one subs thank you very very much and i do agree dusa is amazing i love her we're going to be getting to hades very soon don't worry i just wanted to open up talking about the drama that i was embroiled in over the last couple of days and explaining my position on it which is this what we just watched this uh group of fascists standing literal literal actual fascists standing out in front of a tiny venue with a bunch of kids and screaming in groomers groomers we're gonna take your right away the cops should kill you that right there that is what the rise of fascism in america is looking like and i mean to be fair these are some pretty uh, pathetic specimens of the master race but that's always true what they're going to rely on is people looking the other way. They're going to rely on people just following orders. They're going to rely on people, oh, I was just asking questions. They always use the, um, the, uh, uh, the, the sort of uh, passiveness of the general populace to their advantage, especially when they can convince the general populace that there's something weird going on. You see what I mean? Because if they can convince you that maybe, just maybe, there's a small chance that every gay bar is secretly a temple to Moloch where they're murdering children on a daily basis and they're drinking the blood of calves and they're drinking the blood of babies and they're, and it's like, you know, every single gay bar ha secretly has a tunnel that goes towards the nearest, uh, the nearest um, Planned Parenthood where you can secretly deliver like adrenochrome and shit from underneath the the, uh, the um, Planned Parenthood all the way to the gay bar, that if they can just make it a slight possibility, that's all they need. Yeah, we know John Doyle was there. Yeah, John Doyle is 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 a is a, is a cr fucking crazy motherfucker. We all know this. We know that John Doyle is like the most repressed gay guy that you could possibly imagine. Yeah, absolutely, Rhodes, at some point. So, yeah, this is the result of this is the result of fucking around on the internet and making up disinfo during Pride Month because you think that uh you think that there's an icky sign and uh, in the background of a drag show 
and you believe that that actually should be uh, that, 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 that that's evidence that you, the rest of your crazy moral panic is true. How many times, my lovely viewers, how many fucking times in the last two years have I talked about how, how these moral panics function? How many fucking times have I sat here and outlined exactly how this shit operates and we see it happening yet again? Anyway. Yeah, so don't play nice with it. Uh, don't play nice with it. Don't don't let people get away with this shit. Uh, call them out on it and challenge it at every at every uh, at every corner that you can. Cheeto says, I agree about shoes tweet being incredibly shitty, but have you seen what libs of t TikTok has been posting lately? All month, it's been a nonstop cascade of fear mongering about kids at pride shit. It feels weird to focus our anger entirely on shoe when libs of TikTok has exponentially much bigger reach. I agree with you, but, but there's a difference, which is that libs of TikTok doesn't operate in, in a, in like even close to a similar social space as me. I don't see libs of TikTok replying to people that I know and people that I consider colleagues, which is what happens with Shu. It, it's just true. And also, Shu is is literally was the precursor to libs of TikTok. Shu, Shu, and Sargon and these people they built the format that libs of TikTok uses. The the format of like going, ha ha, look at these. SJW feminist blue haired freaks like pointing at like Trigley puff or whatever and then saying that that is like and then saying oh yeah look look at how fucked up it is that's like that was like that format was like popularized by shoe on head so like I get where you're coming from and I agree with you but I already did a video on libs of tiktok all I'm doing right now is just summarizing the drama I had I don't think anybody's fucking focusing on shoe or anything like that Also, I find it really funny of all of the people. Does anybody have that? Oh, God, do I have? I think I literally saved it. Hold on. I think I literally saved it. Hold on. My, my fucking favorite. My absolute fucking favorite. Okay, hold on. Let me see. Yes. Thank God I have it right here. I got it. I got it. Give me a second. Hold on. I just got to send it to myself. Hold on. I have to send it to myself on Discord so I can share it with you. Okay, this is the, this is the, this is the fucking killer right here. Okay. This is the fucking kill shot. All right, you guys ready? Here we go. Hold on. Give me it. All of this, all of this stuff, all of this fear mongering about harming the children and that that an that a a innuendo neon sign uh is uh innuendo neon sign is a sign of a secret agenda. Just remember just remember how many children watch Shoe on Head's videos, how many children probably follow Shoe on Head on Twitter. After all, Shoe on Head is not an 18 plus account, nor is Shoe's show an 18 plus show. And yet, what do we have here but Shoe posting a photo from her POV of, of being on a leash with her ex in a 24-7 BDSM relationship. What is this? Posting kink on main? Literally, this photo was most likely statistically seen by more people than have ever, ever seen kink at a pride event. And yet here we are. All I can say is... That's it. That's all there is to say. It's just a little sussy is all, okay? I am tired of acting like this is normal. I am, I am outraged. There are these girls on the internet posting images of themselves with pink leashes being held by their daddy Tom. Posting about worshiping his dick 24-7. It's horrible. Oh, I know. Look, I had to save that tweet in my forever folder 
because it, I knew I remembered it. I knew I remembered the tweet, but I couldn't find it. She can't keep getting away with it! Except that's the funny thing. She doesn't get away with it. That's the funny thing. Notice that, like, uh, the, 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 the rising tide of fascism suppresses everyone. Shu should be able to post on Maine about the daddy-dom relationship with her ex or whatever. Shu should be able to do that. But because of the rising tide of fucking uh, weird, puritanical, American Christo-fascism, nobody can have a good time in the world. Okay? Yes, that was armored skeptic in the picture. Yes, it was. Wow, that sounds interesting, Rapti. You should please send that to me. I've seen it a few times, Prosy Rosie. No, 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 no. That was from the past. That was from the past. They're not together as far as I know. Anyway, I just thought it would be funny for us to take a few minutes to just, you know, be let's 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 be a little real, okay? Because if there's anybody who should be feeling gaslit right about now, it's the fucking LGBT community of the world, but specifically the LGBT Twitter community who is basically perpetually put into the unbelievable uh the unbelievable position of having to be told that simultaneously they are a evil presence corrupting the entire universe and that they are uh, that they are pronouns in bio fragile snowflakes simultaneously we are the evil uh the evil empire turning children into queers from with ice cream neon signs um and also simultaneously triggered snowflakes on the internet so which one is it Hippie Punk says, when do we get to take the gloves off with Shu? Can we just go hog, uh, uh, shred her every time she does this? Well, yeah, yes, please. Everybody should, you should challenge Shu on that shit when she does that. Of course you should. Of course. But that doesn't mean that, like, I don't know, I don't know what gloves anybody is talking about. I tend to handle most of my, um, most of my call outs of other people in the same way. Guys, what the hell's going on today? Do you guys forget who I am? Do you guys forget that I took like a fucking 3,000 sub hit just because I disagreed with other with other large streamers? Do you guys forget who the fuck I am? Ugh. Is it reasonable to want our spaces to be safe from people like Shu and her BF? Yes. Of course it is. Obviously, people should be not stupid and not assholes and not freaks about it. But I completely understand why people don't trust Shu. Again, Shu just started a discourse that has trickled its way up to to Tucker Carlson. It started a discourse that is going hand in hand. Her rhetoric is hand in hand with the people who went outside of that venue and shouted horrific obscenities at families that were in that were t saying the cops should go in and kill those people. Personally, I just wish she would stop doing that. Because, I don't know, like, in my personal engagements, my personal interactions with Shu on Head have been just fine. Uh, and as you know, I'm not the type of person who just fucking uh, holds a grudge for no reason. But this shit is really making me tired. So, yeah. Anyway. Whatever. <sighs> Everybody, if you are here and you have not liked the stream, please, 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 please press the um please press the like button over on youtube it's just it's as easy as clicking on the screen and pressing like and if you haven't subscribed please subscribe i would deeply appreciate that uh i need all the likes i can get tonight's a gaming stream however i want to tell you something special because we're going to actually do some fun stuff tonight um you know uh uh, uh oh, oh yeah i'll check it out don't worry i'll, I'll get there um so let's see here uh real real quick um tonight we are going to try something new 
well, not really. Well, I guess it is kind of new. We don't do this very often, which is we are going to, first of all, begin our playthrough through the game Hades. Hades is a absolutely amazing roguelite game with dating sim elements. It is phenomenally gay. It is very, very, very gay. And I don't want to spoil anything, but let's just imagine a game in which you get to romance anime Greek gods while playing with some of the best, uh, like, roguelite gameplay that has ever been made. It is a genuinely incredible game. And while we're doing that, we're going to listen to some stuff. Because um, there's a lot of fun story elements in Hades, but there's also a lot of just pure combat. And so uh, I'm pretty damn good at the combat, I'm not going to lie. Um, I The last time I played Hades... I had gotten Skelly's second statue. For anybody uh, who knows the game, that is like you have to beat New Game Plus 9, I believe, in order to make that happen. Um, so, uh, so yeah, I got Skelly's second statue. Pretty proud of that. Uh, this time, I want to get all three statues. But that's going to take us a while. So we're going to watch stuff while we play. And one of the things I really want to watch is this Vosh versus Hake debate. Because literally everyone has been telling me I need to listen to this, uh, the anal sex debate. And I figure, why not listen to a really funny anal sex debate while playing the gayest game ever? Doesn't that sound like a great time? Because to me, that sounds like a great time. So yeah, look at that. You were about to ditch stream. Oh, nuts! You Fairweather fan! You get nuts! You are gonna ditch? Holy shit. Holy shit! Fuck. Jesus. Anyway. Yes, I found that scene. Yes, Kanoon. Kanoon, no spoilers! No spoilers! What weapon? Uh, previously, I really liked uh, the spear, and I really liked the uh, the bow and arrow. I have not yet Somniostatic, but I would like to. Oh, I love Dionysus. Don't worry. We're all going to get to fall in love with all of our favorite gods. And of course, you will soon find out who my favorite god is in this game. This game is beautiful. The music is fucking amazing. The dialogue and story, literally one of the one of the very few 10 out of 10 games that I'm more than uh than comfortable. Uh uh, uh You already know Wendell B, cause I cause I had that character as my background, okay? Oh, that's awesome. Is Styx in this game? Yes, he is. He's our boy. Actually, his name isn't Styx. His name is Sharon. But yeah, the River Styx is in this game. The River Styx is a big part of the game. And then the guy is the guy is Sharon, who who uh, or Charon, Charon, Sharon, Charon. I don't remember. Whatever. Fuck. Fucking pronunciation is not what matters. Okay. So hold on a second, everybody. I have to hold on. I have to do this. Give me a second. What I have to do is I need to uh, open this up and then I need to get to the YouTube. Oh God, this is gonna be so weird. Okay, so hold on a second. So what I need to do is go Hake v Vosh is anal evil. There were people in my- Okay, so I can skip the teaser. We're gonna li we're gonna go straight to the opening statements. All right. Now hold on a second. There's something I have to do here, which is we have to play around with the sound. So please give me a minute while I play around with the sound, okay? Because I need to make sure that it's balanced so everybody can hear everything. Give me a minute, everybody. Just give me a fucking minute. Now I generally like to play this game with keyboard and mouse. So I'm probably going to do that again. I'll 
Hold on. Yo, Session, thank you so very much. You get those back right on. This is made by the Bastion people. Yes, it is. So, hold on a minute. How am I going to get this to work? So it has to be over here, right? Wait, fuck. How am I going to do this? I have to figure out how I'm going to get both of these things in at once. I can do a pop-out, but will a pop-out window... Oh, hold on a second, because I've got, I've got some... Point the camera at the second monitor. Hold on, I have two monitors set up. Wait. No, wait, hold on. Clip out his gameplay and just zoom in on the panels. I could just listen to it. Pin the pop-out? No, hold on a second. This is not right. This is not correct. Because I have to have this set up a special way. Yeah, let's just listen. Capture the video window and crop the window border. But the problem is I can't because I'm on my second computer. I'm, this is all capturing a single stream from my main computer. Which means... Actually, wait, it could pull in from both monitors, right? No, it only pulls in the one monitor. All right, we don't need to have it. We're just going to do this. Here's how we do it, okay? Here's how we're going to do it. Because I need to be able to see chat also. So, fuck it. All right, well, I appreciate it. I love this matchup. It's a great topic. We have to make sure that this audio is going in a different direction than the other one. So, give me a second here. I know this is going to be a little stupid, but don't worry. We'll figure it out in the long run. I'll be able to figure this this shit out better in the long run. I have not uh, I have not prepared for doing um, videos and video games at the same time. Of course, I could have chat on my phone, but that's it's very inconvenient. I don't want to be inconvenienced. I hate to be inconvenienced. You know this. So we want to have this one go in to there. This sexual morality thing, although I'm not sure I like the uh, the term. Vosh is one of the more, if you will, shameless guys that I know. He's all right, all right. How's the uh, audio level favor sound? Of okay. Pornography With the game? against uh, the great Catholic intellectual E. Michael Jones. How's it sound? Recently, everybody? and I believe my first appearance on the Crucible was discussing rap culture, and I think Tupac said at one point, "Break out the champagne glasses and con and, and mother bleeping condoms." And I was saying that is immoral. Condoms are immoral. And I think Andrew told me, I think he's a married family man. Well, what about condoms in the context of marriage? Maybe there's a maybe there's a time when women aren't supposed to be conceiving or something like that. And I don't understand it. But condoms, what about in that context? And I'm like, no, that's gross. <laughs> just to just to cut in just for a second on your opening, I know that yes. this is unorthodox to do. But I'm not ever wearing a condom with my wife, Hake. Anyway, go nice. ahead, buddy. All right. <laughs> Thank you for clarifying that. <laughs> I don't think that there is anything. Right. There's any such thing as sexual so we be morality, good then. because morality is not sexual. As um, you can see, this is my original. There's only one. sexual immorality, and that's just another form of it. I think it comes from other immorality that's in our hearts. Yeah, all, all of us uh, get evil into our hearts. As we grow up and as we get older, we get more and more corrupt. I think children and old people are naturally more non-sexual. They're just non-sexual. And you'll notice that a lot of though. evil people will try to sexualize children and sexualize old folks. And it's just, it doesn't fit. It's disgusting. What? It's sexualize creepy. Sexualize old folks? But children are innocent and free. And in old age, you're supposed to become wise and self-controlled. And in your so-called prime, you're supposed go. to be making the babies and making families and 
leading those families. Men are supposed to be leading their families in the right way. And sex is just to be not, it's not supposed to be the major thing that I think that it has become. Uh, sometimes people get hooked in. Okay, so we have begun the debate, but before we get into the debate, now that we've, now that we've tallied up the audio, okay? We have to start Hades. Because remember, at the very beginning of Hades, there's going to be an intro cinematic and shit. So y'all better pay attention for about 10 seconds, okay? And then we'll listen to the debate and play the game. But we have to like, you know, before we can start talking about fucking old people or whatever, before we can talk about whether it's, uh, whether it's, you know, moral to have like old people crash crash their walkers together for sexual pleasure we have to start the game so everybody get comfy while we start playing and then we'll go from there okay here we go empty sa save slot what's this for all those unafraid of death the pact of punishment will make your life harder right away set this if you're a veteran what i don't need that i don't need hell mode i'm already gonna go into hell mode fuck that no we're gonna do that later few tales are told of hades whose very name inspires fear and penitence, reminding us of the inevitable fate which we all share. Wait, 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 wait. Hold on, we gotta turn it up. I, however, mean to tell you such a tale. Listen carefully. Goodbye, father. Goodbye, father. Oh, this game is so snappy! Look at this! Woo! Woo! What the hell with this place? You're in my way. You're in my way. Oh, it's so beautiful. This game is so pretty. You guys are in for such a treat. There's so much stuff to enjoy in this game. It's amazing. Whoops. So, the main thing about this game is you proceed through Hades, fighting enemies, and you pick up blessings of the gods, like this one. When you pick up a blessing of the gods... Well, wait, it's after this room that we have to get it. I'm so first leaving. Go. Try and stop me. Fuck. Crazy intense, and I didn't even remember that you start battling right away. There but it's she okay. Is. So watch it's this. Be her. <gasps> then here goes nothing. <clears throat> In the name of Hades. Olympus, I, I accept, accept this, this message. message. I love Zagreus, by the way. Zagreus is fucking hot. Hail, noble cousin. Now let's get you from that miserable place. I'll see that all of us upon Olympus do our part, beginning here with me. So now we get to pick an ability that is uh, from Athena. Yeah, we love Athena. We love Athena. Okay, hopefully the chat isn't in the way too much. Maybe I should move the chat over. I probably should move chat over, huh? Because it's going to block all the character art if I'm not careful. So we'll move over here so that we don't block character art. Because I don't want to block character art, you know? That'd be lame. Hey. There you go. I can make the cam smaller too, yeah, but I don't want to be too small, you know? And I don't want my text to be gone, which is over here, which we'll put up here in the corner. There we go. This should be fine. There we go. Tiny chat. Okay, this is great. Now, I love Athena's abilities. Personally, I think this one, Divine Strike, is overpowered. We got to get through the intro, and then we can go back to the video. But thank you. Um, I think he called him a curve. Simple. All mine. Each exit has its own reward. Hmm. Well, I don't care about coins. I want more Athena powers. What if I win on the first playthrough? Is it even possible? 
Can't do that. It is possible? Oh my god. Alright, I'm gonna try my hardest. Okay, chat, this has now become a challenge run. Ow! That was that was sloppy. Olympus calling. In the name of Hades. Name of Hades. Yeah, let's get us a key. Louts. Louts. Sonic keys are good. Ooh. Ooh. Max health. Do you want to meet Sharon? We only have 55 gold. I don't think we need to meet Car or Caron yet. Is it Caron? We'll be here in a second, I guess. Let's go meet Caron. Fuck it. I think I hear the river. Oh, Caron, it's our boy Caron! The infernal wares of the Stygian boatman Caron lie sprawled about. Available for sale, Doomever would be willing to quench the boatman's great thirst for riches. That would be me. God, he looks so cool! Oh, thank you, Kanoon. All right, Charon, I'll well, say good that. I see you, Charon, mate. Just minding my own business, taking in the sights, and hey, what's that you got? Some sort of wares for sale? And I'll just have a look around. Zagreus and Charon are buddies. They're half rows, I think. All right, we're gonna grab this fucking sandwich. Good. Let's do this. Yeah, this game has a crazy good story. You all are gonna love it. Not yet. But not too, too bad. I need to remember that my main strike can reflect rounds. It's gonna be very, very helpful. I'm empty. Harbor, thank you very much for the tier one sub. Deeply appreciate that. Thank you. And good to see you, Alexander. Hope you're doing well. Hey, thank you very much. A palm of power. Oh, I love palms of power. Fuck yeah. Honestly, Divine Dash is probably better for this first fight. Upon Olympus. Ooh. Yay! I love Artemis. Oh, Artemis is can't heal one of my favorite abilities to get. I love the crit build for this game, and Artemis is all about the crits. I know of. Well, several, really. Anyway, in, in the name of Hades, Olympus, I accept this message. I heard about you. Look, I'm not like all the others on Olympus. The power oh. of the hunt helps keep me company, so maybe it'll help you too. Damn. Not like the other girls, huh? Whoo! Oh, I keep forgetting that. I keep forgetting about this. 
Cast seeks foes. Pressure. Oh, no, no! Like I misclicked. Ah! God damn it! Well, no. Just threw away a fucking purple upgrade. I love support fire. All right, we're taking support fire. Fuck it. So this is any time uh, I cast, it shoots a nearby. Wait, what is this one again? Hold on. B. After you cast or hit with an attack, you shoot a seeking arrow. Yeah, this one is awesome. Oh, I'll make it to Meg. Making it to Meg is easy. It's whether I can beat Meg first run with no advantages. No skulls. That might be hard. Oh, so great. We'll see. Yeah, they definitely nerfed it. I can tell. I feel like it used to do like 20 damage. Mm -hmm. We gotta get to the first part or else we won't be able to enjoy the debate. Shop. Beyond the present chamber lies the outermost perimeter of Tartarus. We're there. Promising terrifying dangers far beyond the underworld prince's reckoning. And I can reckon quite a bit. Yeah, I have to get the food. I can use this. Oh yeah, you don't want to hit him too much. All right, this is the boss. First bite. First boss, everybody. Give me the luck. Mm, let's do this. Well, this is awkward. <laughs> halt, Sagrius. Not one step further. Come on, Meg. Haven't we had more than enough of each other by now? Besides, don't you have some place else to be? Your father sent me. Cop. Well, I'd rather be on your bad side than his. Now you can turn back like a good little man, or I can send you home the painful way. What'll it be? I'll have to go with the painful way. The pa always choose the painful way. A man after my own heart. Hmm. Sorry if the dialogue's too quiet. No! I can't. Ow! I forgot I don't have any of my benefits. Ah! You're nothing to me anymore. I'm too rusty! I'm too rusty, I, I forgot how much invulnerability, how low my iframes are. Oof! I'm blocking the subtitles? Damn oh, it. oops. I'm sorry. Hold on, I'll try and change that. I'm home. Hold on, let me change the subtitles real quick. Here, let me move this so I can so that I don't bother anybody. Here. I'll be in the upper left. I don't want to block anything though. You can heal, it's just very difficult. Oh, I don't have any of the stuff. Everyone, don't mind me. 
Okay, so here's what we need to do. I need to boost the audio here. I need to lower the music volume. Hold on. To go lower, lower, lower. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Okay, hold on. I only wish. How's that? Here, tell me if this audio level is fine. Welcome to the House of Hades, where... Wait, I know you. Guess that means you died out there, huh? Well, don't be sad, though. Pretty much everybody dies sometime. Music has got to be down, because we're going to be listening to the anal debate. Some Pretty much everyone dies. Back <gasps> Doggy! Pet! There's a good boy. I love you! I'm sorry he disturbed you, Cerberus. I love Hypnos. Okay, he's cute, alright? Let's talk to Cerberus. <laughs> Infernal watchdog Cerberus regards the underworld prince with mixed emotions. From purest joy to deepest melancholy. We'll understand everything soon. You watch over things for me, won't you, boy? You know I'd take you if I could. Aww. Stupid boy. I told you nobody gets out of here, whether alive or dead. So how was your wanton ransacking of my domain? Greetings, father. My ransacking was a delight, thank you for asking. So I'll just be on my way again. Be on your way indeed. What do I care? You shall never reach the surface. That's so cute, Canoon. See for yourself. What is it now? Uh you have come home. <gasps> Nix! Do not despair, child. Such setbacks are inevitable. Mommy and moment. Overcome with effort and with time. You made contact with the goddess Athena. She shall be true to her word. Thank you, Bifu. Thank you. I believe it, Nix. I'm grateful that you put us into contact. I know you took a considerable risk in reaching out. The risk is not to me. I expected the Olympians would involve themselves in this eventually. Reveal to them no more than they already know. Are we understood? Yes, we are. Okay, everybody. Then go. So... The, the gods of Olympus are giving us boons to help us break out of Hades, and Mommy is helping us, and Daddy is not. What could possibly be going on here? Hey, thank you, Jenny Basic 666 I appreciate that a lot. Thanks for coming by. Today is a chill gaming stream uh, where we're playing through uh, gay video games, starting with Hades. We're also going to be listening to some very silly debates which should be a lot of fun so uh thanks for being here you've returned <gasps> achilles good to see you lad despite the circumstances i love achilles remember your training out there the pain of death is but another obstacle and fear is for the weak take care achilles the house of hades that dark and lavishly appointed layer of the underworld's king is home not just to him, but to his willful progeny. Mm. You know I can hear you, old man. Oh yeah, that's one of the things. Uh, all of the gods can hear the narrator. <laughs> so Zagreus can actually hear the narrator. <laughs> Father's chambers, always locked. Stay out of there. Bum bum. Don't go into daddy's room. How goes it, Shades? You can, of course, talk to the little Shades and they tell you what how they died. Sometimes. <coughs> Not always. <coughs> I can't wait to show you all the fun stuff we're going to get. This game has a great soundtrack. And don't worry, we will listen to the music, but we have literal hours to listen to the music together. And right now, I want to get us to the point where we can listen to that debate. Together. Hey, room. I'm back. Hey, room. Hi, room. I love the room. Look at this. You could take a nap in the bed or you could... Can't no, sleep. Can't sleep. 
The bedchambers of Prince Zagreus lie in a perpetual state of utter disarray. Despite his lord and master of the house, repeatedly insisting that he pick everything up. Oh, come on. It's not that bad, is it? No, it's not that bad at all, man. Your room is fine. It's a little untidy, but come on, dude. Mirror. Night so, and darkness guide me. This is the mirror. The mirror allows us to spend these little pieces, these little soul pieces or whatever they're called. I can't remember exactly what they're called. Shadow, shadow fragments. We can, we can spend these to buff ourselves. So let us put in, we want, oh, we want to save up for this one as soon as possible. I mean, Death Defiance is always good. We can't All do right. that yet. Death Defiance gives us an extra, uh, an extra life. It lets us survive one lethal hit. So we're going to start with that. Excellent. You'll understand okay. in a minute, Posadas John. Why is Achilles in Hades? You might find that out if you pay close attention. It's actually a major storyline in this game. Oh, shit. We got a spear. We got a... Oh, we get the bow! I forgot you there can unlock go. it with a single Coronaut, key. The heart My favorite weapon! Steal some death. Psst. Over here. What the... You weak. Now, this is a cool weapon because, look, if you notice closely, at its maximum charge, it will blink white. And if you let go of it when it's at max, just as it hits maximum charge, you shoot a super arrow, which is pretty sick, no. honestly. Yeah. Whoops. <laughs> Bet I got you pretty good. All right. Hey, talk to me, bitch. Do I have to leave the room and come back? My escape route's back the other way. Need oh, yeah, some we practicing? Do. Nice place you got here, boyo. Name's Skelly, how's it going? But enough with the small talk already. I'm here to do a job. So let me have it. Give me everything you got. I'm respectful. Skelly's payroll, job is to get beat Who's up. your supervisor? No, oh, I'm not about to wrap my sources, pal. Just try and beat it out of me. Damn. If you insist. Heh. <laughs> Drop something. Nice. Do we we don't even have this yet, do we? Ah, oh, oh, we don't have any charms yet. Okay. All right, here we go, everybody. It's time to start the don't first second strength. run. Thunder. Is that Zeus? Is this really him? Okay. In the name of Hades, Olympus, I accept this message. Greetings there, young man. Look, your father's always been rather difficult, and he's not so much as called in quite some time. He'll have a better home where you belong, here on Olympus. And to help you on your journey, have my blessing. <gasps> So, your attacks emit chain lightning, your cast is a burst of chain lightning, your dash causes a lightning burst. Let's do electric shot. Lord Uncle Zeus. I find Zeus. Oh, Zeus. I love yeah, I Zeus's I'd see build. The day or night, whenever. Composed of such innumerable, ever-shifting, interlocking chambers, the underworld of Lord Hades all but guarantees the dead shall there remain That's cool, until Canoe. the end of time. Yeah, I find Zeus' dead. abilities very strong, especially, this is really cool, you guys. Later on, you get to combine the powers of the gods. They have combo abilities, like Zeus and Poseidon. Oh, it's amazing. Just wait. All right, I think we're, we can safely start the debate now, okay? We're gonna actually listen to this goofy ass debate now. Tell me if it's too quiet, okay? ...to things for a time, but you're supposed to overcome issues, not get deeper into them. The only non-immoral purpose for sex that I can think of is having children. 
when a man and a woman are rightfully married. Um, it's in the Bible, in fact, that God killed a man from the for dead. pulling out, if you will. That it's is a, true. I heard it. We've it's, talked it's about quite this. gross. Sex, you'll notice, it weakens men. The great Mick, the trainer Mick, told Rocky one time, women weaken the legs. And that is so <laughs> wait, wait, did he just reference Ro fucking the fictional trainer from Rocky? Oh, I'm never going to be able to beat this game. I'm going to have to keep pausing because that is way too fucking True. good. True, I think all athletes know this. And it's not just sure. sex, but it's the pornography and all that other junk that uh, young males get into. And the women and other evil people the use women. sex and perversion to control the men. I've heard it's even used in some cases for, from one country it's against another to weaken like the uh, the men. And it's what? Uh, it is uh, no wonder that there's so much divorce and remarried bec because in part they were doing the sex out of wedlock and sex became too much, too important. There's no respect for men. The women are not respecting the men. And there's no the actual love not. for women because sex is not love. And there's no love in the women either. And men are kind of looking for love in the women. I and that's don't know, the I've place. had some pretty fucking romantic sex I believe that the Bible before, even bro. condemns putting it where it doesn't belong in the exit only area. And common sense, nature and nature's oh, God says- Why are Christians always like this? Christians are fucking always like this. They literally, they can't actually say most words. They're like, uh, um, it, the Bible forbids putting it in the, um, in the exit pipe. They can't say asshole. They can't say fucking a anus. They can't say any of that shit. They always, they always fucking say it in the goofiest way. Um, I, I, I put my willy waggle in the rear door. That's not, that's not right. <laughs> These LGBTQ alternative things aren't even real sex at all. It's just self-indulgence and selfish, maybe mutual exploitation, mutual indulgence. A key to it. But it should mutual just, re in reality, I think it should just be a minute. Mutual exploitation. <laughs> I feel like... I feel like we've reached a level of conservative brain rot where they, they like literally make oxymorons. Like that's a mutual exploitation is a fucking oxymoron. Wait, he says sex should be less than a minute. Dude, you're just a, you're just asexual. You just don't like sex. Just be okay with that and let other people do their thing. Holy shit. And done. And it's cause, because it's not love. Anything else I think is false idol worship worshiping of the body which is it's encouraged right now to get women to get all this pleasure or whatever like that i think that that's just demonic i think it's possession and i think it's um passion and you usually people who get angry they get more sexual or if they get all excited they're more sexual you should be what? even tempered so you can have some self-control <laughs> people kill over sex <laughs> Dude, you just need to be more boring. You just need to be more boring. You just need to be really, really even-tempered. Don't get anybody too worked up. Please. Please don't get worked. Nobody needs to. Just, if you get angry, then you're going to want to have sex. And once you want to have sex, then you're going to want to commit murder. And once you commit murder, then you're going to want to buy the entire menu at McDonald's. And we all know where that goes. People who get boyfriend, become boyfriend, girlfriend, and all that stuff, relationships and breakups do not need to be so insane. And I think that this consent thing is ridiculous. Show up, I guess. Um, you'll notice the that the liberals and the female-minded emotional intellectuals message. think that consent is just about the only thing. Wait, Consenting adults. Is Wait, I'm sorry. I have not pre-watched this. I have not seen this at all. Bye, Rapti. See you soon. I have no... Wait, did I miss something? I have not pre-watched this. Why are you accusing me of a pre-watch? Excuse me? Relationships and breakups do not need to be so insane. And I oh, think that this like consent thing is though. ridiculous. Aries, um, you'll notice that the liberals and the female-minded emotional intellectuals think that self. consent is you just about the only thing. Consenting adults is the common but phrase. The only uh, prerequisite for having sex. I think that's a red herring because just because I you're consensually exploiting each other 
doesn't make it right and it's nothing to be proud of they're pushing pride like crazy oh, we're coming up on so-called pride month right now the mm -hmm. lgbtqia plus pride month what's to be mm -hmm. proud of with that it's not something Everything. to be proud of it's yes, something it is. to be it's it's absolutely to be proud of we have the best sex in the world despite every single cis person and het person hating our motherfucking guts literally if it wasn't for gay people you wouldn't have vibrators you wouldn't have bdsm you wouldn't have tenga eggs you wouldn't have fleshlight it is only because of it is gay people are like the scientists of sex i'm telling you we know all of the coolest healthiest safest and most awesome ways to have sex and you all are jealous continue to hide if it's something you're into i'm proud of it i'm and proud of to it. overcome quietly not be blasting out for female-minded people to prop you up think about it the commie capitalist corporations yep. and the okay. phony politicians are all kissing up to the uh the sexually immoral to uh this guy sounds like he's to promote asleep. wrong as right and tell you be who you are that's not who you are it's something that you got into and you're lost, and you're not By special, way, you're being used. Also, just, I know this is going to be really, really, I, I know that this is really common, but I, but some of you don't have, like, contact with Christians very frequently. There will never be an argument. There will be uh, emotions. There will be declarations. Never once will you hear any sort of meaningful logic. It's just going to be God said it. Uh, feeding the ego is dangerous. Don't fall for it. I don't Look, know how much what? time I have left. Why? But, uh, uh, you have a minute and a half. Feeding the okay. ego is dangerous? Another okay. word for Satan, Why? I say. What does that mean? I think is imagination. And pornography feeds that st that stuff. And it's I think that it's dangerous. Like any abuse, it tends to get worse. It draws people into darker and darker, more corrupt and twisted and things. Oh, away from what's pushing. natural and right. Into He's depravity. Trying. It He's makes the undig so at best it makes undignified functional males and females just have this hang up, right? That they occasionally fall into. In worse quote unquote worst cases, it devolves into um, homosexuality, rape, murder. What? All kinds of stuff. It puts the woman as God. You, you see these woman porn stars all act talking politics like they know what they're talking about and trying to demand money from men That's and all be, being all degenerate and disgusting she gets so full of herself and then and then in the end she's miserable i think this is spread misery until we've entered into the weird incel rant part where this guy is clearly talking about someone specific but nobody else in the entire world knows who he's talking about that is just listen guys Okay, hold on. I'm going to take a second and go on big screen here. You know, and I've been guilty of this too, of calling cri cr like Christian rambling schizo posting, but I'm going to be completely real. Every actual schizo post I've ever seen in my entire life is infinitely more interesting than Christian bullshit. Christians basically made imitation schizo posting. It's like schizo posting. It's almost like it, but it isn't actually, and it's less interesting. Straight up. I'm not kidding you. You, am I wrong? They're just making shit up, but it's less interesting than when a schizo does it. It's, it's discounted it's dollar store. It's lame. The man puts out, I mean, flips out and kills That's the God that he made of her or else he becomes huh? her slave. And it's pretty disgusting. There are many ways to be evil. It's not just homosexuality or child abuse or non-consensual things or stuff like that we should oh, aim he's for doing the thing he's doing the thing he's doing it right now oh my god he he's literally doing the thing right this moment that i always talk about notice how he's like there's multiple types of evil there's child abuse there's homosexuality there's this they just lump it all together so they're like there is evil going on and they want you to think they're gonna say it's child abuse it's all this shit and then when you're when challenged on it they retreat from the euphemism they go oh well there's many types of evil oh my god i fucking hate that shit and not be like i'm not oh, at no. least i'm not Do fill not in the blank like child molester or something like that 
as if we're better. We should, we're all in hell, giving hell to one another, and we should be overcoming that, not seeking revenge and gossiping and backbiting and getting into this stuff. I think we should avoid even the appearance of evil. Okay. Uh, thank you so much for that opening Except statement. I did want to say, everybody, make sure you like and subscribe to the Cruise School and do all that bullshit you're supposed to do to grow a channel, blah, blah, blah. I will say before I hand this over to Vosh for his five-minute opening, this comment did catch my eye. Wham, bam. Thank you, ma'am. Right? I, yes. I, I couldn't help but pull that one up. Vosh, Indeed. Has five Just minutes on the tape. Um, as, as so often seems to be the case, I'm left in the unfortunate position of not knowing whether or not I'm just Good surrounded enough. by trolls, and I have no idea how serious they're all taking <laughs> yeah, this, but I'll, I'll try my best, you know, see what I can do. I have, so, I mean, uh, I'll, I'll, I'll... My word on it, it is, it is serious. <laughs> I'll try to, I'll try to address this, um, uh, as substantively as I can. So, when we talk about ethics, depending on the ethical system that you subscribe to, you know, um, you are going to arrive at different conclusions about what is or is not moral. Um, if you subscribe to a uh, divine command theory, as I believe Hake does, the idea that like what is good is in the Bible, and that's the end of it, you know. Um, I guess I would just be curious as to why Hake's positions seem to be more orthodox than those of essentially every religious society on Earth. Um, you know, the perspectives that he holds here are maybe one or two of them Anyone you can find else? like commonly accepted in some of the more orthodox ISIS, like say Saudi Arabia or stuff but all of them in tandem sure, seem more like a caricature of, of what a secular person moment. would create to make fun of religious people which I guess is fine by me you know it seems a bit odd to run things that way um I guess like to, to roll it back though like you know we say sex is for the purpose of procreation and that's great and all but I guess I kind of want to and, and this is all I really care about. I want to I want to work through the God in Hake's mind. You know, God is everywhere, right? There's a little bit of him uh, up there in your noggin. And I want to know, like, why, why is sex immoral? Like, I I I, 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 I want to understand this. So let's say that like sex is for procreation or whatever. Okay, explain so, to me. Real quick, this item. Hey, Merrick, great to see you. This item right here is uh, ambrosia, or no, this isn't ambrosia, this is nectar. Nectar uh, is, the, uh, is one of the items that you can use to advance the dating sim aspect of this game, which is why I took it early. So we can take this and we can begin a romance, which is sick as fuck. I just wanted to show you that. Just so you know, if you see this bottle, these are romance items. They're gifts that you can give away to make people to, to start to date the characters. Yes, that's right. Like I said, this game is a roguelite with dating sim. You get to date and have sex with some of the other characters. Whoa, shit. Oh, shit. Like, as a secular person, where does that logic come from? Because there's a lot of stuff that God prescribes in the Ten Commandments or whatever that totally makes sense to me. You know, thou shalt not kill, covet thy neighbor's oh, yes. blood. Well, that makes dating. sense. You know, I can rationalize that. Why would God not want us to do these things? Well, it hurts people. We're his creation. Um, you would look at, you know, Earth and see, well, maybe life would be better if that wasn't the case. How on Earth is not making women come making the world a better place? Uh, I just, I want to know. I'm like, well, you didn't say you don't make women come. I think you said you just, you don't want to do it for more than a minute. So I guess maybe you're very, very good. But, um, yeah, I, I guess, I just, I want to know. I want to, I want to understand that. Um, like, would that be the ticket you'd run on as a politician? Like, no more female orgasms? How do, how do you, how do you roll with that one? That's the main thing that I want to know. We can work from there. All right, gentlemen, the, um, floor is open. Wasn't quite expecting it to go this way, but fuck it. Let's do it. Go ahead, Hank. You're up. Um, I think the ethics stuff comes from, like, common sense, and I don't know if sex is always immoral, but it's something dangerous, not to be toyed with. And a lot of dangerous? times we have this laissez-faire, oh, you should please the woman. And right now, that's part of the problem is in life right now in society that you see is this e over-eagerness to please the woman in, in one way, not just sexually, I'm talking about uh, pleasing women, listening to them, Just catering sense. to them, and, Never uh, For those of you, uh, we just picked up some gemstones. Gemstones are the currency we will be able to use to upgrade our house. <gasps> That's right! It's a dating sim 
and you get to upgrade your fucking house, including your bedroom. It's sick as fuck. I know, it's gonna be awesome. You guys are gonna love it, but I just wanted to let you know, we just picked up some gems. Letting them worry their pretty little heads about politics and stuff. All of this, there's a lot of kissing up going on. I fucking love this um, game so much. Sex, but I think it's self-evident. I think even you know that sex is not really... Aphrodite! A, a toy to just flippantly Hold on, Hold on, everybody, I'm use. sorry. They're talking about sex, but we're gonna pause for Aphrodite, okay? Everybody, get ready for Aphrodite. We have to pause for Aphrodite. Special honors for, the, for Aphrodite. Come on, come on. They're all arguing about sex. Aphrodite, the mess. queen of sex. <sighs> Youch. Oh, All righty, Aphrodite time. Mess. Let's Woo. see here. Why, hello, hello there, little godling. I have to say, you're quite the specimen, and so I've decided oh, to take a moment. You interested? Oh, amazing! After you take damage, special deals more damage and inflicts weak. Yeah, let's fucking do it. Interested in the power to break hearts? Sure, I don't see why not. The power to break hearts. Love it. Let's do it. Uh, I have a pretty casual attitude about sex for the most part. Um, I feel like most of what you say about sex being potentially dangerous yeah, could sure. be applied to literacy as well. This is one of the reasons why the um, Catholic hey, priests Carol. during the if Middle Ages preached really in Latin, which was a, um, you know, a language a sign, that wasn't understood by the flock that they preached to. Um, because they didn't want there to be like an understanding, like they just Great. wanted it to be like dogma accepted. So it seems like if we're if we're going to to shun social practices because they could potentially lead people down dark roads, we would be keeping what? everyone in cages. Isn't the point of humans being given free will that God gives us the ability to sin or not to sin? That this earth is the playground of which humans, I agree, that his creation, been cool, uh, determine their own moral worth and their eternal reward. Well, I don't think we have free will, but that's a side point. And yes, I'm not looking to go the opposite mm. extreme, if you will. And uh, I do recognize that knowledge oh, and no. women getting into education <sighs> and even males getting into education can be, uh, so-called education, can be poisonous. I have a t-shirt that says no, knowledge is poison. Me. Are you a Calvinist? Calvinist? Sorry, just curious. Uh, I don't think so. I don't know. Wait. I, don't, I haven't really gotten into Calvin and all that stuff. I read about it and I... I do think that uh, I do think that we are chosen rather than we choosing God, but I'm not really sure. Do you mind me asking what sect of the church you subscribe to? Uh, I'm a non-denominational Christian. I grew oh up in boy. a Presbyterian, but we weren't serious about being Presbyterians. It was just my grandma's That's church, so and I went to my brother's gr girlfriend's church. It was a friend's God, church, God, Quakers, but they were conservative. Non-denominational. There you go. Time. And now I go to Calvinism, Jesse yeah. Peterson Church with Jesse Lee Peterson at Bond. Gotcha. Of course. Uh, you know, yeah. um, brothers, you're right, brothers uh, helping brothers. It's, it's interesting to have such an orthodox perspective on religious theory when you're non-denominationalist. Usually non-denominationalist Christians are people who have a more laissez-faire attitude no. towards, like, biblical prescriptivism. No, nope, you know? that's a misunderstanding. They tend to be more of the... That's actually a misunderstanding. Um... By laissez-faire, it means they make things up, but that's literally every single every single Christian. Non-denominational Christians are some of the most extreme. Calvary Chapel, the cult that I talk about all the time, is non-denominational. Uh, that's not. It, it's a misconception that non-denominational means laissez-faire. That's simply not true. In, um, they're as laissez-faire as any other Christian. Yeah, Unitarians, but Unitarians aren't non-denominational. They're their own denomination. They're just friendly to other denominations. Yeah, uh, non-denominations tend to be either Pentecostal um, or 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 more explicitly Calvinist. Even though Pentecostals and Calvinists have a lot of similarities. For those of you who don't know what Calvinism is, Calvinism is uh, a it was a it's a school of Protestant belief that believes that more or less believes that everyone is predestined. God writes your destiny before you are born. 
And as a result, um, weirdly enough, Calvinists place a lot of value on the outward appearance of, of living a holy life. Because God writes your destiny into, into the cosmos before you're born, the only way you can know, you can like have any sort of idea about whether or not you're a good Christian or not is if you appear to be a good Christian. Did you notice how he said earlier, how Hake earlier said, um, I believe we should avoid even the appearance of evil? That is a strongly Calvinist viewpoint. The idea that basically, well, everybody, God already wrote everything. So if you're, if you appear to be a good Christian, that probably means you were one of God's chosen. It's, it's a very weird belief system that is especially thought terminating. It, it is repugnant. I agree. The, uh, you know, like uh, live with Christ in your heart, you know, confess once every year type people. <laughs> no, I mean, I think a lot of the, the Bible, just a lot of the, the stuff that I referenced from the Bible, it rings true. I think um, we're going to beat her. And the stuff that I'm saying is not, like you, like you pointed out, it's not even necessarily biblical stuff. It's some of it's just sort of, I think, common sense stuff. And especially, um, especially the warning about, I mean, just look around at society today. If you had, had, had my quote unquote morals, you would be as horrified as I am at just the degeneracy of the people and the misery of the people. Well, that's and... kind of self-evident, right? Well, if you say, like, if you believe what I believe, then you would believe what I believe, then yeah, sure. But I don't know. It seems like by a common sense perspective, like, people would be fucking more, right? Like, common sense perspective is people want to fuck biologically and it feels good when they do. So it seems yeah, like if anything, you need kind of arbitrary. This... Right, that's partly why I'm not for this pornography stuff. I, I think that people should be uh, coming together at a not an not an older age like late 20s 30s 40s they should be coming together in their prime and hopefully being mature spiritually emotionally and, and mentally oh, mature fuck. at a young age like ah, perhaps we oh, were I more in the good old days i think we I were got her. and yes. responsible and having the children so we weren't don't Second need to bring, fight. be bringing in Second all this try. immigration and stuff like that. You know, people Come actually on. had sex more often back in the good old days. Mm -hmm. Assuming you were in the 1950s and 60s, um, they tended to have sex young. Cat, Kcat48 says, do you think he's lying about not being a Calvin Calvinist or do they often obfuscate it? Uh, they usually don't know. Uh, American Christians are uniquely stupid about Christian history. It's extremely funny. Um, American evangelical Christians know jack shit about the history of humanity. Uh, they tell themselves weird, like, legends, but they don't actually know anything, and they do usually don't care. ...and more frequently than, um, younger millennials or Zoomers do today, because people, no like, are shut up inside their houses. Going, In I a know. way, people not having sex is kind of an indication of social instability. Yeah, I'm not talking about, uh... <laughs> I'm not talking about not having sex. I'm just saying that it shouldn't be this thing that's worshipped. Because right now it's worshipped more than more today, openly and shamelessly, than it was in those good old days when they were married and doing it right. What do you mean by worship? Do you think we worship like um, self pizza? It's like, yeah, and sometimes in some cases, yeah. Well, that's a pretty pretty. Um, broad definition of idolatry then, certainly. I feel yeah. like, if anything, you're the one who puts sex on a pedestal, because you think it's like this super special divine gift, and I think it's just like a cool, like, it's a gift. cool, cool thing you can do, you know? Second but I don't level, think it's everybody. a gift. I don't think it's this necessarily yeah. this... I mean, I have, in my older days, and I might still yeah. think it, I have thought of sex as marriage, like, because the two become one, yeah, and then you notice somewhere. that uh, I know that you're Let's casual it. about it. You may, but many people get hooked flame, on each other after that, and not in a not in a quote unquote healthy way. Well, what's unhealthy if two people like having sex casually? You know. Now, obviously, there are elements of a relationship that can go bad, of course, but that can happen in marriage too. You know, that's hardly exclusive. Right, that can happen also, in any kind of relationship. I mean, you think about how the how the women today, many of them are getting older. They're past their prime. They've been taking on. They've been doing the so-called casual sex thing, but they've been taking birth control, messing up their bodies. And then when they come to find out they can't have babies, or they come out Wait, what? wrong, or something like that. Wait, what? Then uh, they they end up. <laughs> what? What? 
He hasn't. He hasn't even. He hasn't even gone and learned his talking points. That's not even what. That's not even the talking point. The talking point isn't that birth control fucks up your babies. The talking point is that uh, women take birth control and then until they get, in, they take birth control until they're forty-five, and then they're too old to have babies. He can't even get his fucking arguments right. This guy's absolutely off the rails. They're miserable because they haven't done it done it the right way. I think, I mean, you can usually reliably have children up into your mid to late 30s, and even after yeah. that, I think there's just, like, an increasing likelihood of some conditions. I don't yeah. know how frequent it is for women to, like, casually take birth control for 20 years, then stop not knowing that th that it was preventing them from having a kid, right? Like, you're just, like, what, uh, this is, like, a just, narrative, just, right? What if nonsense. they just want to, like, fuck, what if they just want to get, like, railed at club parties or whatever, yeah. and then, they like, can have do a kid that. later? They can do that all. because... Uh, people in their younger years can live in hell like that and think that they're getting away with it But as they get older, especially the women They become women. used up if you will and then they feel used because that's all it is. It's just using each other Do the men feel used as well? Oh, yeah, Wait, is this yeah. the conversation where the women thing came from? Is this that conversation? I've seen people posting the women thing. Is that is that is that literally this convo? When, but they're, when will but they I get start away with it used? more? Huh? When will I start feeling used? <laughs> I don't know. I'm tw I mean, I'm 28, right? Like, I'm not, I'm not like, young, young. Palm. Surely, eventually, right. it has to kick Palm in. Pomegranate of power. Give me it. Well, man, I don't know. People, different people have different symptoms of their misery. Wave makers. It's not like you're a happy per It's not like you're a joyful, peaceful person. You're not at peace. Um... I'm I'm not at peace like uh, Reverend Peterson. I'll admit I haven't yet attained that divine level of uh, of tranquility. Um, but you know I'm, I'm I'm working on it a little bit. Yeah, I think true. I think I'm getting Christians there. Christians. Yeah, I know a lot of people who do have the whole well. uh, you know trad wife. You know, like they marry at 22 or whatever, and they're not too happy either. I really think it's just a person per person thing. What if people just For want sure. different things? Uh, you know what? It it does come down to your life, and you have to know for yourself what's right. I will give you that, but. This whole, what if you just want different things? That's just, uh, that's, that's a lazy fair like, you're not offering any wisdom to the Boy, people. Boy, he loves that. Wisdom. I agree that that Who in cares? and of itself isn't, like, really great advice, because life, you can life, say that about basically anything. Life advice book? But I feel wisdom. like, um, I don't know. Like, if you go back far enough, there would have been, Damn, like, socially normalized up, standards of marriage and sex that you and I probably wouldn't have liked as much, that we wouldn't have agreed with. Um... And I, I feel like if we had made the argument then, like, hey, oh. maybe we want to be able to do this, uh, you know, like, what we are asking for is freedom of choice, not a prescriptive thing for other people. If you want to marry, I would never stop Jeez. you, but I feel like you politically kind of, like, hate the idea of people being able to hook, hook up casually when they're young. Or at least it feels that way. And if that's the case, like, why can't they do it? If they want to make what you perceive to be mistakes, shouldn't that be their right? Um, I suppose so. I, I don't... We're talking about morality. We're not talking about necessarily prescription in terms of of me ruling the world so okay. i think what? that we i mean ma we can get into that i, I would oh okay, i suppose sorry. but i, I misunderstood but I, I don't want to get too lost in that unless it's interesting can we talk I, about anal sex then if we're talking about uh, morality sure oh my god yes here we I go it's pretty vulgar and uh, it's uh well so just just to cut in yeah um this is a debate on sexual morality and if Vosh wants to bring up uh, different aspects of what he considers moral or immoral about sexual morality, that's fair table, whether you think it's vulgar or not, hey? Yeah, no, I, I, said, I said it's fine. I just said it's kind of vulgar. That's just my reaction to it. I'll keep it um, PG-13 with, uh, with the descriptiveness. I just, I, I don't get the obsessiveness with it, you know, in a, in a negative sense, you know? Um, like, oh, it's Shiny. vulgar. Well, frankly, sex in general is, is, is fucking disgusting. You know, yeah. you get up close to a person, you're breathing really hard. That's life. Um, but if people are having fun with it, um, you know, there's, there's that, that, what's the catchphrase? Uh, how is anal sex winning the culture war? Like, That's everyone funny. likes anal sex. Straight people like anal sex. Everyone's been doing anal sex for as long as people have been having sex and writing down how they had sex. It goes back... That's not true. Ahead. goes back way far. Anal sex? You're like you thousands said, you of said years everybody. Old. You said everybody. Everybody's every not group doing of that. people, not not Whoa. like every individual, but like every group of people. Forgot about I know, that that's ability. why it's mentioned as oh. as uh, no no in the Bible, I believe. Uh, Christians have been I doing it for a up. while too. Otherwise, sorry, Catholics I wouldn't be having up. the issues they've been having. 
Um, it seems to be a pretty broad predilection there. And why wouldn't it? You I know? think that's a false stereotype. I think that's I a bit of an overly simplified false stereotype. And you're right, Christians Christians do wrong many times, but it doesn't. You're you're acting like it's something that's been accepted by people at large. No, I'm just saying. Hold on, we got a story. Do not question my power, Hades. Your son was bound to be discovered the closer he came to the surface. The Olympians are pleased to know they have a distant relative and bid him welcome to their mountain. That is all. Their influence is very limited. Damn. Blood and darkness. Do not speak to me about their influence. I've seen their influence firsthand. You've made a foolish mistake. This is not my first time playing, but it but it's my first time playing it uh, all the way through on stream. You would speak to me of foolish mistakes. You is everyone in Hades hot as fuck? Yep, everyone. Try all you like. Dicks. God. Is Dad gonna talk to me? Daddy, Daddy, talk to me. Don't be mad at mommy. Daddy, talk to me. I'll go. I'll go talk to my real dad. Happen to know whom I should thank for the weapons just outside my chambers, Achilles? I'm sure I wouldn't have. Though if I happen to run into them, I'll let them know. Thanks, true. Thanks, thanks, real dad. Let's give. Come on, let's give Achilles the gift first. Come on. Mm. Hey, Achilles. Look, this really isn't much, but here. This really is for me. You beat me to it then, as I had meant to give you this when next we spoke. Please, take it. Thanks so much, sir. Hey, he gave us a magical bracer. Thank you, Achilles. Let's pet dog. Let's pet. Let's pet doggy. Pet if I doggy don't pet your other heads, don't bite my arm off. Deal? Go talk to this boy over here. Mm, you look like someone who just got turned to stone then crushed to a bloody pulp by the mega gorgon of Asphodel. Am I right? Oh, look, I'm sorry to hear that. And before you ask, I won't tell Dusa. Don't you worry about that. Hey, watch it. That's wow. very reassuring. Why would you tell Dusa? That's mean. What once was a small lounging area within the house of Hades now is sealed off in utter shambles since the multi-headed Cerberus tore the space apart, warning the missing prince. Aw, doggy ripped up the lounge. Cerberus destroyed the lounge again. <gasps> Meg! Oh, hi. Hi, everyone. Come say hi to the stream. Come say hi. Come on. Come say hi to the empties. Come on, Fawn. Hello. 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 Fawn moment. Will you refill my sodi by any chance? Thank you. I would appreciate that a lot. Thank you. All right, let's continue, everybody. We got to keep going. Let's talk to Meg. When the prodigal son returns, everyone's saying I went easy on you, Zag. Don't worry, Meg. I eventually managed to get home the painful way after all. I beat you. Look, I have a reputation to uphold. You get past me again like that, you best go all the way. Now leave me be and don't think you're going to be so lucky next we meet out there. I will. I'm gonna beat you. I'm gonna beat you again, Meg. You're 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 being sundere about it, but some sort of special offer for me, my good shade. Hmm. Work authorized. A fountain chamber in the depths of Tartarus oh, sounds like an excellent you. idea. Ooh. The ever shifting chambers of the underworld ought to be a little lively. Getting with some this. basic upgrades here, real quick. We don't got much, but that's nice. The way to start. And Gods. did we get any shadows? We did. Then we should get what shadow presence is deals bonus attack and special when attacking from behind. Just store a small amount when you exit a chamber. What plus one per rank? Oh, that's good. I have no more darkness. Okay, we'll get both of those then feeling good all right now we got to talk to skelly yeah skelly. i love i love their construction house hey skelly hey, skelly you look like you know your way around tartarus found some of this ancient titan blood out there and i was looking to score some more 
Ah, you come to the right place regarding that there, pal. It's your mean weapons back there that can find this stuff. Once you get all the way through Tartarus with one, that's all the blood you're gonna get. For the time being, anyhow. Thank you. That's How am true. I supposed to keep track of which weapons I've earned these with, then? I don't know. There's always the invention of writing stuff down. You'll figure something out. So, we have made it through Tartarus with the bow. Got something new to try. Take negative 20 damage from the front, but plus 10 from the back. All right, we're doing it. Might help. I wish we could unlock the... Oh, we can! Let's unlock the spear! Veratha. Achilles' spear! The Veratha! Spear. The eternal the spear! Suit. Bet you couldn't hit me with that, pal. I fucking love this weapon! The ult... The, the Q yeah, ability nothing. is a throw... And it's really fun. So we're gonna play. We're gonna play with the spear. All right, everybody. We're I going back in a second time. Out. Let's start the debate back up. Back in we go. They do it anyway. You know, it's not like all Christians follow accepted doctrine. M most no people are evil. It's true. W what makes it evil? That's what I want to know. I love spear. I don't know it's what like makes it evil, ever. but instinctively, it is. It's. Uh, at least the disgusting normal sex produces life. This only produces death and, uh, you know, disease Dude, you're just and sex repulsed. cancer and all That's kinds it. of other... You're just sex repulsed. You don't like sex. Let other people have it. If you're personally grossed out by it, you know what? That's, that's between you and your fucking God or you and your therapist. But other people aren't as grossed out as you. Holy it's shit. Death. Does it produce death and disease? And uh, I mean, it's related, more well, more frequently related to it, and in it, it in itself, it's disgusting and wrong. It's against nature. Well, what's okay? Exit so, only, man. Right uh, Have some logic. With regards to the cancer, I'm isn't. pretty sure one of the biggest causes of cancer is like um, HPV, which is a vaginal sex thing, or if you don't like piss yes, after having sex. Time, that's not an anal thing. Like that's 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 for many kind of sex. In fact, funnily enough, um, you know. Oh, this uh, game's fucking amazing. I, I, I'm Are you sure. not aware? Oh yeah. Well, if you'll let me interrupt, are oh, you sure. not aware that gay men have so-called gay men? I don't even like that term. Males who are into that, into that, are getting or have been getting cancer and all kinds of stuff. From I heard that it's from that more often. I have even from Hunter that. Avalon said that, and he's all into facts. So you uh, should. Uh, well, I haven't read every every study <laughs> Hunter Avalon okay. said. Um, I have no doubt. Listen, okay, gay people doing lots of wacky stuff. I'm sure. A listen. Listen, everybody. I assure you that no matter how much gay sex that you are having every single day, no matter how many times per day your asshole is getting prolapsed by your extremely hot boyfriend or girlfriend with an enormous dick or they friend with an enormous dick, no matter how many times, it will never give you as much of a risk of cancer as eating uh, fucking meat as a regular part of your diet. Eating red meat is so fucking bad for you by comparison. Siri, it is unbelievable. And yet, I, I guarantee you, this fucking chuckle fuck tosses back a burger every other day. A couple of them have found some sex act that gives you cancer. More than a couple, man. A couple, a few, a good few. I've met a few. Um, it's kind of irrelevant, like, with the whole gay thing, though. Oh, no, wait a minute. Hold on a have, second. Um... Somebody, why'd you put me... You put me into the AI? Hey, that's pretty cool, actually. Damn! That's pretty sick! Okay, I take it back. That's pretty awesome. Good job, AI. You got it down. This one's pretty accurate. This one's pretty accurate down here. Damn. That's fucking sick. Okay, never mind. I take it back. That's sick as hell. All right. Quite Thank a lot you. of anal sex themselves. Yeah, it's, it's wrong. I mean, at the end of the day, like, let's, let's, we can bite the bullet and say, you know, even if anal sex was, like, dangerous or something, and... It's not even real sex. You shouldn't even be calling it sex. What should we be calling it, then? I don't even know. It shouldn't even be, uh, it shouldn't even exist. <laughs> well, uh, like, uh, okay, what about, uh, blowjobs? I mean, that's, ex like, you know, that may not be an exit-only role, but it's definitely not yeah, one intended I don't think for reproduction. Yeah, I don't, I don't think it's right. I don't think that men should trust anybody else to, that's disgusting. Well, what do you mean by right? Okay, so disgusting. Like, you kiss people, <laughs> right? Like, you, you ha tell me, you, tell me you're okay with making out with women. 
Uh, I think it should be avoided because that leads to other things. Unless you, I mean, I guess unless That's you're married, I guess. One. Splash. Okay. Yeah, so... we got the water splash. Okay. You shouldn't what? be you shouldn't be just waltzing right into that type of temptation because yeah, it leads repulse. into That's other things. That's all other that this things. is. But aren't, aren't all things temptation? Like, doesn't every it's kind of material dead. pleasure potentially lead one to want to try new pleasures? Even high quality food. Gluttony is literally one of the the yeah. seven sins, right up there with lust. But you yeah. would never say like, "Hey, don't eat tasty food because it might lead you down the road to gluttony." What do you, you know, uh, you might you might have a point there. I mean, maybe we should be avoiding that stuff. I mean, we should aim for perfection. Oh, of course. But I think yeah, it's, never I think it's quite course. clear that pe weapon. people fall to temptation when they get to kissing like that. Or if they eat a nice meal. And, the and, and chamber okay, I mean, one wrong doesn't justify another. Oh, okay, so you, you would concede then that it's a moral wrong to enjoy, like, a lobster dinner because I mean, it's, it's a, a precursor to temptation to gluttony? I mean, most of the time when people eat a lobster dinner, they don't go gorge themselves necessarily. But, but it, it conditions you to, to crave the material Yeah, you should not satiation. worship food. Yeah, you're, you're very right that uh, people have a bad relationship with food and with sex. Both. It's me or them. It just seems like by this logic you could fairly say... I'm not saying say... it's immoral. I didn't say it's immoral to kiss. I said it's unwise. Hey, You're hey, you, gotta, you gotta give Vosh a chance to respond, though. Oh, right. it's, it, yeah, it's, well, I, I mean, I, like, one of the um, one of the heavenly virtues is temperance. The ability yeah. to experience say, pleasure honest, or some kind of earthly right, satisfaction, say, okay, but not then go like, all right, I'm going to ruin my fucking life with this thing, you know? Brilliant. Like, you may, you may be proud, but do not succumb to pride. You may eat, but do not be gluttonous. You may have sex, but do not be lustful, you know? All that right. stuff. So it seems like if you have a hyper, like, uh, paranoid attitude about any of these pleasures leading to temptation you have to deny yourself any kind of satiation but that wouldn't like you couldn't lay claim to that because like you you would be living like a monastic life right i mean you would have to be like wandering the world yep. with not but a cloak on your it's shoulders always interesting how you know works. like taking food offered to you like that the degree of like asceticism that you're talking about here is is like um like buddhist level like 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 the buddha you know like no, it's way man. beyond what christians do Right, I understand what you're saying. I'm not talking about going extreme and crazy, but I'm just. You it's, said it's sex should never last more than a minute. That's not crazy, about, bro. Come yes, on, man. Watch just your wait. relationship with Jesus, food. These, Be aware. These people are never, and yes, they're never even. Watch so it with the kissing stuff. How can you think that your position that sex should never last more than a minute is not extreme? Well, I think it, kiss, if, <laughs> if, if, if we're to compare food and sex, then kissing would be like the equivalent of like licking a dinner roll. You know, I feel like people tend to go a bit no. farther than that by default. <laughs> Not yeah. if you only have ever had so, sex for less than one minute in your entire life. Right? So maybe, well... Maybe kissing no, is literally the greatest really, thing that's ever right? happened to I think, you. Uh, I think a lot of us are just as confused as when we started this, right? So maybe we can dive oh, into this a little bit more. <laughs> Jake, maybe you can inform us where Passive you're getting these worldviews from. <laughs> and uh, so that maybe Vosh can address them because uh, some some of them are, are actually fairly foreign to me and uh, to the chat as well. He's like, Dude, so you're crazy, you man. Inform us about Dude, these stop. worldviews, where they Just come from, point. why you believe them, and then uh, you you still never directly address okay. the morality point, which is why is it moral or immoral? And I think that that's kind of the heart of the debate in a way. So go okay. ahead. All right. Well, I I say that sex out of wedlock is immoral. And all these these uh, these perverted sex things are perversions. It's not what God wants. It's not what uh, it's yeah, not even what nature with no way left to would dictate or want. So it's just self-indulgence. It's using each oh, other. Please don't spiral, and I think Max, that's Sips. immoral. Max, as, it's great to see. For... Max, it's wonderful to see you. We're having a chill, very gay stream. Uh, listening to a Christian completely embarrass themselves and prove that he is a uh, a cuckold, I believe, who never has had sex for longer than one minute, who's physically repulsed from sex, but he definitely thinks that's God that's telling him. So, like, it's you couldn't ask for more funny things. I'm happy to have you, and I, I'm very happy you've, you've come by, and I hope you feel better. I understand how dark it is. Or kissing and, and, itself? Yeah. I think that leads into temptation, and 
I am not saying everybody should just avoid kissing until marriage, but there are people who do that. And it's not unheard of for people to not even kiss or make out or stuff like that until marriage because it's uh, in a in a relationship, in a dating relationship, you should just be normal with the person, get to know them rather than feed the, yeah, this guy when you're kissing, you're feeding your, each other's yeah. ego on yourselves. And it's, uh, must be one of those it shows. is getting into like passions and imagination, which is dangerous rather than, um, is dangerous? getting to know the person ob talking? objectively. You can you see that it's just pretty. Objective? Do you think it would be better wait, and, how and do like you succumb to less temptation? How do you object? How do you wait? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. How do you get to know someone objectively? That is not, that is no, like, that doesn't even make sense. Like conceptually, there, you can't get to know someone objection, ob, uh, objectively. That That's not even like applicable. Humans understanding each other is perhaps the fuzziest and, and, and least clear thing that we that we ever do as humans. How the fuck do you think that you could bring objectivity into getting to know somebody else? And also, I have not yet heard him explain what the problem with imagination is. Why I that's something that's like not even like like I don't even think I've encountered that from other Christians. Oh, of course. Yeah, this is a this is a classic. Others have pointed this out, but it's very funny how states of being that conservatives insist are natural, marriage, straightness, being a woman, being a mother, also require extremely strict laws to uphold them and violence from the state, loved ones, or vigilantes to maintain. Isn't that always interesting? I mean, this is an eternal argument that you can always remember, which is the fact that if these things are so natural, you would assume they would occur naturally without the need for an enormous state to enforce them. But that never happens. Isn't that odd? Hmm. If, Almost like um, nature arguments are stupid. We used artificial insemination instead of having sex. I mean, because we're talking about kissing right now, but like nutting in a in a in a pussy bear, that's a way. Like whatever kissing is, that's like sure, twenty times not? higher up on the whole like temptation <laughs> to engage in the material pleasures of sex. Quick. So if we did artificial insemination, wouldn't that be like a like a, a even better way to avoid lust altogether? Well, the, the my issue isn't about lust. It's about uh, doing things out of order, away from you know, like sex out of out of marriage. You know, sex inside of marriage well, that's better. is uh, acceptable, I guess. <laughs> well, even so marriage you end isn't up natural. Having, oh, right, yeah, you end totally up you stuff. have the babies that you that uh, God gives you or whatever, and um, and hopefully in ha have the sex inside of the marriage doesn't become uh, just using each other and false worship and so. ego Anthrop feeding. Anthropologically, when we go back, Delicious. it seems like humans' oh, natural yeah, state guys, seems to be fucking... Oh, yeah, guys, that false worship. See, remember how I said that, like, the ideal Christian relationship is a uh, dominant, dominant submissive relationship under God? Like, that's the ideal Christian relationship is a male-female dom-sub relationship. Right there, he just he just uh, uh, made a reference to that. Um, Christians believe that the that that one of the two purposes of sex is procreation and worshiping your significant other. That sex is how you worship your significant other. Of course, they don't actually they don't actually take that to mean like, well, then don't you think you should maximize pleasure? No, they just mean that. Basically, a woman is supposed to worship her husband. The husband is his charge, so when he wants sex, she needs to worship him by paying attention and giving him the sex that he wants. It is so fucking stupid, but you just heard him reference that. So I'm I'm I just want you to know when I say when I've said that in the past, I'm referring to a very common belief among Christians. They genuinely believe that the ideal relationship is a BDSM Dom sub relationship. Uh, approved by Christ. And pretty often. Like, you know... That's fine. Even right, before too. marriage was a thing, because of course marriage isn't natural, you know, that's a contract religiously and socially that we came Ooh, about story with. Story moment. Like, Hold people on, we gotta pause. We gotta do the story moment, everybody. Your Highness. Ooh, who is it? It's our boy! Hey, Princess. Sisyphus! I'm slacking off with the old baldy here, but 
I was just getting back on my feet. The Fury sisters don't often leave me be. Where'd they go, anyway? And, um, what are you doing here? Oh, you know, just out on a little stroll is all. Do me a favor, though. You see the Fury sisters. Let them know I was headed down the way I came from, will you? Oh, I'll let them know, all right. I hear you loud and clear, your highness. I'll just go about my business now and... He's a bro. Sisyphus is a bro. He's looking out for you. He gives us a gift, too. Well, we want darkness, I think. I got you covered, Prince. Thank Cheers, you, buddy. Mate. Let's talk to Boldy. Oh, we can't talk to Boldy yet? Oh. Sorry. All right. Story moment over. Always been fucking. No. We're biologically designed to you want do to do it. that. Like, that's yeah, one of the very the few you. Hell yeah. types of our behavior that are, like, in, a, like a fully ingrained, like, completely... Like, that's in every hey, society to have ever yes. existed. It's up there with you eating know, and drinking. It's, it's completely rooted there, in how we are and what we are. So... Given and all that, I mean, you, I'm letting you have this. like it seems like if we wanted to defer to natural order, we would all just be fucking whoever we wanted, and anything outside of the satiation of our natural desires would be um, like an, an unnatural ah, imposition. Uh, when God put Adam and Eve together, He married them, so marriage has been with us. Sex is, like I've said before, and I think it kind of is. Sex is marriage. You're you become one. So you what? should have. Be faithful. Hey there, Meg. Um, that is such a and all of what, that, that all is of a Christianism. That sex stuff, Christianism. I don't think it's quite as. Oh, by the way, the idea it's like, oh yeah, sex is one. marriage. No, the way no there, like in that to you because you Christians explain. will just literally blur words together. But he literally, uh, Christians when they're stuck in a corner will refuse to acknowledge that words mean different things. It's like how they will say God is love. So anytime you say, well I love my wife, well they go, well that's you know you're using the word love wrong. See, love actually means God. You don't God your wife. Uh-huh. <laughs> Checkmate, atheist. You're more stubborn than your father. I never thought that such a thing was possible. All right. We got to do a boss fight um, when we listen. Let's do this. I don't think it's quite like what your mind is toward it. I think that you'll notice, like I mentioned before, kids are not sexual but they get sexualized and the ones who are in the worst situations, the ones from fatherless homes, the ones I think in, I think after the pandemic, the kids are getting here. going, young girls are going through puberty earlier. I don't know if it's all the stress or what, they don't even know why, but it was, was reported that it they're going through reported. puberty earlier. Nice. Nice. And so this is kind of an, an unnatural thing that is happening and it's not a positive thing. No, um, I can't really speak to that. I don't know anything about it. Um, I, I will. I will say though that um, a conflation that you've made that I often see religious people make is the conflation of God and nature. But they're decidedly not the same thing, even in biblical canon. Nature True. and natural will are not God's will. God's will is that we triumph over nature and be moral in spite of Ooh, elements of evil. Vosh has been. Oh, Vosh has been buffing up his anti-christian argument true it is true that god does command humans to have dominion over nature which means explicitly god doesn't want people to give into what is natural hmm, how curious that exist within us um, like, p Love humans it. have naturally violent and sexual desires, but, you know, in, a, in the Christian doctrine, the goal is to overcome those desires um, and to live a moral life, like, in spite of the challenges associated with that. But when you say stuff like, do what's natural, well, what's natural has nothing to do with morality. What's natural is, like, human tribes, like, beating and murdering or raping each other. That's what we did for a very long time. And then, you know, God is the one who wants us to rise above that. So, like, you can't you can't switch back and forth between doing what's natural and doing what God wants because those are decidedly not the same thing. You can't say anal sex isn't natural because natural is whatever we were doing, and we were doing that, so it is decidedly natural. Um, same with kissing. We have records for humans kissing that go as far back as we have anthropological evidence of human coupling at all. The, even though kissing doesn't serve any reproductive benefit. Um, but yeah, those are those are like two. Like, I deserve that. I they don't even overlap that much. I was those listening categories. to the debate. 
Yeah, they do, man. I think you, you and Hunter was Hunter Avalon was trying to pull this this kind of thing on me or somebody. Um, God made the natural order: man over woman over children, man and woman together to have the children and raise the children. That is natural, and it is God's natural order. He's nature, and nature is God. So yeah, there's there's stuff that oh, there's goodness. perversions that we do inside of nature that's Achilles. frequent and common that because of the, right our now, fallen state but that doesn't make it it doesn't trouble. make it natural yeah, or or according to the natural like order the well no wait you just contradicted yourself right there go ahead if if but god is right good the then god cannot be evil Medusa, but the world contains the evil so that must either be god having created evil evil existing outside of god or god giving entities within his creation the ability to choose which you don't believe in so you either have to concede that god created evil in which case something created by god could be both natural and evil and thus the natural deference wouldn't be a valid way of defending something or alternatively, Who's that that um, that, uh, uh, that, that exists outside of God's creation, which is, work. as I understand it, a heretical I I suggestion. So no. you ca these two categories Actually, can't boy, overlap perfectly. Something is either natural and evil and within house. or without God's Who purview, but you can't have something at the same know. time be evil, be natural, but also be of God. Like it, 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 like it can't be both. You want so bad to take away this natural word from me. Why is that? Um, well, because they're not the same thing. If you say, like, it's not natural for humans to have, like, anal sex or whatever, well, in nature, humans did have anal sex. So, like, that's a... All right, we got to listen to Nyx. We got to pause the debate and listen up to Nyx. We're going to give her one of these things. Let's give Mama a gift. Mommy. Um, Nyx, you've done so much for me. I thought you might like this. You know your father does not like it when nectar is doled out on the premises, dear child. However, I am not he, and I wished regardless to provide you a token of my affection. <gasps> Thank you! The I'm black shawl! Nyx. Hell yeah! Let's talk to, let's talk to Nyx again. Darkness guides you, child. You have outgrown this house. Of that I am now certain. Should you return again here, I shall keep you safe. Thank you, Nyx. I won't forget you, Nyx. I swear it. All right. Back to the debate, because we're going on to the next floor. Settled argument. That's an empirical thing. Homosexuality is But that doesn't make it natural. Well, if, if something isn't natural, despite it existing in it's nature, then you're here. referring to natural as a kind of euphemized substitute for divine, which is what Nailed I'm accusing it. you of. You're, you're making right. up the word. Nailed it. Um, got it. Okay. Vosh, well, I'm still going to use it because your explanation strength. was overly complicated, not simple. I don't think you know what you're talking about. Up, so well, I'm just an atheist. Advice, yeah, you don't, you're you referencing like God and Christianity. Were you raised a Christian even? A no, I was not. So then I mean, you don't have a clue. Uh, just, uh... You're even less logical than... Well, I don't know if you're less logical than Hunter Avalon. I think Hunter but Avalon's anyway. a pretty smart cookie, personally. Yeah, he's smart, but it doesn't mean that he's wise or sensible. Oh, he, um... but anyway, we're not talking about that. Yeah, yeah. Right, right. Let's, well, yeah, let's, let's, let's bring let's, it. Let's bring it back on track. Of course, and... of course. Let it be known so, that I love him, though. Um, yeah. So, so hey, keep just just real quick. What haven't I, I answered? Mean to, well, I don't mean interject too much, but I still think that you have to contend with the, the argument that was kind of put down on the table of me, really. why you think these things are immoral. This is this seems to be where we're where we keep on driving back to, and um, so it looks like Vosh was kind of saying, "Look, uh, you know, you're you're conflating uh, God and natural, and you're kind of making a conflation of these things. Uh, whether that's true or not, it's not for me to decide. But I would like to see that kind of this question addressed a little bit more thoroughly, if we can. The God and nature thing." For, uh, no, no, no. The the question the as to the morality, morality or the immorality, of, but sex and all that something disgusting out. stuff. Um, disgusting stuff. I think oh I God. explained that pretty clearly. I did point out that there's things that are permissible, perhaps like kissing and stuff like that. It's I don't not, think it's like wise to get too into that. Hermes. I think you should be watching yourself and avoiding falling into temptation and he brought up food saying well you're probably more laissez-faire about food as though i love hermes 
Oh, it cut. It skipped the dialogue. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to do that. Oh, as though that's a justification. But Appreciate yeah, I think that me, so. people need to watch yeah, themselves go. morally dash charges, with yeah. their relationship with both food and with sex because these are hangups. And when you're when you have hangups, you're not your own man. And when you're not your own man, you can't be following God. Actually, I want to I want to touch on that. So okay. with with regards to temptation, okay? So I think you said earlier you don't think there's anything inherently wrong with having sex or whatever. Um, it's that it's that it leads you in bad directions. The temptation puts you like in a bad way. So I guess I would wonder like if you had a God. human, like a man, let's say a man cuz I know you're preferable. Um, <laughs> if you had a man who was perfectly free of temptation, like they enjoyed the fruits of the earth, but they were just not subject to demonic influence. You know, they could they could eat anything, do anything, and they would be pious through and through. What what do you think it would be okay for them to do if there was no risk of them falling into anything mm. worse than what they've already question. done? They won't won't have a co co coherent answer. I, I don't understand the question. Like if they like say there was a person who wanted to just fuck around and just fuck hot chicks, Hold you know. Um, and he could do this, but he's a deeply pious man, and he loves the Lord, and he's capable of having sex without engaging in idolatry or worship, without weakening himself. All the negative side effects, he can control them. Die. He has a strong enough will to fuck without it draining him ethically. Do you think it would be right for him to do so, because he has the temperance to manage that level of indulgence? Or do you think that gift. even the threat, even if it's mm. not happening yet, like, like you can't even try? I don't really like these imaginary scenarios ah, because look at that, this is no not answer. based in reality. But I imagine that such a man wouldn't be even interested in that at that ah, point. Ah, sidestepped it. Are, um, are not men of the cloth interested in fine dining? I mean, I, I may not be a religious person, but I have had friends. But a men of the cloth aren't this, aren't this imaginary man that you just described. But they do partake in delicious meals. Which is, as you even acknowledged, you a to precursor king, to gluttony. So if you have bishops and priests have, and rabbis, count, whatever you may think of them, you know, um, you, willfully Aries. partaking in many pleasures of the flesh, which are not sex, wouldn't, and then still continuing to be great advocates for their god, would it not suggest that it is possible to fighting. willfully indulge oneself, but still be, uh, 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 you know, um, a, a pious man free of yeah. temptation Und, under the under the order of god no if they're there. if they're married the husband of but one wife is like the new testament talks about the uh, uh leader of the church should be the husband of but one wife meaning they're under control they're not going wild with it doing doing it out of order well, right. a, what, what, what if they um, out of order thing. Uh, the reason i bring up food is because i know that Despite gluttony and lust both being sins, people tend to be a lot more permissive with. I understand. Tempt. Right, Wait, right. It's so really funny. obviously, I notice that notice that Hake, this entire conversation, has perpetually appealed to this idea of like the wrong order, but never once has he said why it's bad to do it in the wrong order. He hasn't even said it's because God said so. He's just never addressed it. He's never told us what's wrong with doing things in the wrong order. Why is that a wrong thing, and what makes it the wrong order? The truth is, of course, nothing, because he hasn't thought about it. I just wanted to point that out. Like, for me, I think it would be equally applicable with sex, you know? Uh, and there are probably more people with eating disorders in America than there are people with sex addiction. Uh, though I don't Maybe. have any hard... I don't know. I, I don't yeah. have any hard data on that, you know? It kind of depends on where you draw that's the line. Get. Um, Ooh, let's give Dionysus. Only that it just... It, like, frankly, it just seems incredibly it's arbitrary, great, you know? Um, Here we go. We, Hold on. Let's listen to the dialogue. No, you... Now that is something, a right princely gift there, Zack. And just so happens, I got something here I have been meaning to give you. Ooh. Yay! Thank the you, overflowing Dionysus cup! Thing. Hell yeah! Let's get Dionysus' ability, huh? You're hanging out with Ares, are you, Zack? He's quite the chap. I'll give him that, I'll give him that. And now, I'll give you this. Hmm. Who's the better materialist, Hake or non-complete? I don't know. I think they're both just about... I mean, as far as materialism goes... Yeah, Dionysus and Ares have got some... They got some stuff going on, alright? Listen, we can tell. 
There's some there's some flirtiness going on there, okay? I love it. We're put on this earth by God. Um, we have a finite length of time during which to demonstrate our character. There's and it seems of like of all the you, mortal sins really we can commit, of all the things we can do to defy the will of God, boy. you know, murder, rape, you know, torture, whatever. Like, we don't horrible shit to each okay. other. And then it's like, okay, yeah, also, like, don't, don't like, suck a dick. Like, don't do anal sex. <laughs> it just seems bizarrely arbitrary. If it's a personal code you'd like to indulge in, that's fine, but I don't know how you can fairly argue that other people are suffering for their indulgence. Oh, I mean, it's, look around, the, the so-called LGBT community and the people who are loose, Here morally, sexually, who, the so-called straights, are miserable. They're using each other, being used, they're, they're using into, each other? uh, they're all, they're, they're hooked on it. They're hooked on this, the pornography and all that stuff. He made it. They're not. Um, complete, complete they are suffering vagueness. for what they're doing. Then um, why is it that generally um, homosexuals are more ahead. unhappy when they're in the closet not having Again, sex make a than they are movie. after they come out of the closet and begin having sex? Open up. Oops. That that beginning point no feels be like a relief to them, I, I imagine. Uh, this is what I've heard about transgenders who, when they first so-called accept their transgenderism, they, they, it's a great relief. Because they finally accepted who they think they are. They finally quit quit fighting. That's why they oh, um, go. they're less miserable for a time in those early days. But who knows? Sooner or later, they're, they're suffering in ways they don't know. They're suffering suffering uh, in ways that statisticians don't know either. To my knowledge, yeah, statisticians are are liberals, and liberals lie, and they're not about truth or finding the truth. May I ask? Uh, okay, the, uh, oh, you're a liberal. This is the, oh my God. Do you remember? Oh my God. A couple of years ago, there was this debate with a Nazi where the Nazi said that he didn't believe any studies that came out of San Francisco. I do not remember who it was. It might've been Vosh. It might've been some destiny. I don't even know. Somebody was debating a Nazi and the Nazi said he didn't believe any studies because they came, the any studies that were presented because some of them came out of San Francisco. This is, that was Sargon. Okay, that was the Sargon. Okay, I knew I was remembering it. They do this all the time. Oh, well, people who've studied this have not been able to find this bold claim that you're making. And then they go, well, that's because they're liberals. They're doing liberal science, which means none of what they did mattered. I don't need to think about it. Thought terminating cliche. I don't have to consider the evidence because it's evil evidence. By or what finding... evidence you're suggesting they become less happy over time? Well, look at how angry the, the average oh, radical homosexual is. They're just nasty, vicious, malicious people. I think they're nice. You think they're nice because you're nice to them. You agree with them. Oh. Have you seen how they treat the Christians? Well, <laughs> I, I can't imagine why they would be angry at you. Um, you know, perhaps There's we're disagreeing no on things they consider, uh, <laughs> they consider quite important. Um, right. Uh, well, you know, regardless I understand of that the why Christians they might be angry. Have been, that Christians have not always been right in how they, how they fight, but... The gays are quite nasty, the and they're just, they're doing unto others what they imagine was done unto them, or something like that. They're preventing you from having vicious. sex? <laughs> Nobody's pre nobody prevented gays from having so-called sex. They Dude, yes, were it is literally subjected illegal. to anti-sodomy laws and arrested and sterilized good. by the state. What? Good, for their own good. Well, that would be preventing them from having sex. That's, well, I mean, that's not actual sex, but that's like... This is kind of silly because hey, people, if hey, they were caught, you're being female-minded right now. Come on. No, hold on. Listen. <laughs> you're being female-minded. Hold on, man. If they were caught, you you shouldn't you shouldn't be shameless about that, anyways. Part of, we part of the thing is when you allow evil, evil just Baby grows. Baby brain. It no, starts to no, become more no and more demanding. Now here. they're forcing the Christians into the closet, just for being decent what? and saying this, that this is wrong. Keeping you from having I sex. Olympus. No, but that's not, sex is not the end all. Wait, if They're they kept us you from our freedom of speech, if they put more in the, important, your freedom of speech is more important than so-called sex. It, uh, I agree with that. If they put you in the closet and kept you from having sex, wouldn't that be them being Christ-like? Because they would be do. Because freedom of speech and freedom of, of expression are the same right. Your right to freedom of speech and freedom of expression—that is the same right. One is not more important than the other because they're the same thing. It's two forms of expression. What? 
Because you said but base. I didn't say they were keeping us from having sex. But what if they did, though? What if the gays... Would that be good? If the gays kept the, the straights <laughs> no, from man. having sex? Well, they kind of are because they're pushing this pornography thing. And you see what? the kids are not... The kids are ro becoming... Remaining kids until they're 30. Look at you, man. They're yeah, gonna... I make a living playing uh, video games. I know. And, and like, it's, it's a widespread thing that um, oh, people are getting goodness. older and older and not marrying, not having kids. And that's not good no. for society. Because of the homosexuals? I'm not blaming just the homosexuals. There's more than one way to be evil. Um, there's at least two or three. And sexually. What's that? Oh, there's at least two or three, as I understand it. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> um, the, where, um, where were we? Where, what haven't I answered? Oh, goodness, who knows. No, it doesn't matter what you have or haven't answered. Um, it's all about the vibes, which is a very homosexual thing of me to say, I'm sorry to say. <laughs> uh, the... Um, so, with regards to, um, you know, the, the ethics of it all, I, I do have to ask, you know, why... You say you don't believe in free will, you know, normally that's a pretty oh, standard Calvinism. part of Christian Ooh. doctrine. There are a couple of sects that don't believe in it, like, that's why I brought up the Calvinists earlier. Um, and that's a pretty critical distinction, because usually one of the strongest arguments... You said you were in, f in favor of free speech, but most of your positions seem to contradict with an that's advocacy sound for individual true. rights, you know? Um, it, it, either you believe people should be able to make their own mistakes or you don't, you know? There aren't, there, there's only so much, like, leverage you can, you can put in there to selectively affect different communities. So people want to have sex and, according to you, ruin their own lives. Is that not their right as American citizens? Wait, um, it, I suppose bit, you could say it is their bit. right... There was a bit in the in the recent ContraPoints video that was like this, where it was like, I believe in freedom. And it was like, okay, so then people should be able to have sex how they want. It was like, no, you're being free the wrong way. Well, who gets to decide what's the right way to be free? Well, father, of course. It's not. Now we're getting into, like, policy a little bit, but I, I've, I'm i fine with it. I, keep me going I say that this is not good for society. And when you... When you let evil out of the closet, rather than people being quiet about it, not accepting it wrong as right, having some shame, having some dignity, get rid of me, um, it gets yeah, worse. Like, it grows. Yeah. We, you, we've seen this. The slippery slope stuff that the 80s Christians were warning about is real, like the child sexualization and all that stuff. The, they said, oh, we're not looking for same-sex marriage. Sure enough, they were. And we're, we're not going to... There's all kinds of... I think they were saying they wanted same-sex marriage. I think they were pretty explicit about Decades back, I don't think that they were. Uh, depends they were on who you've been not listening to. Be. to. Wait, who... who what were they arguing for if not same-sex marriage? That's been like the main remember. thing for. Ah, uh, okay. Uh, I feel yeah. like that's I been the main remember. thing for a while. Come on, and of course, dude. you know, now we're talking trans Come rights on. and it goes on and on, um, which is brilliant yeah. stuff, right? I mean, that's the I advocacy of civil rights. You know, we used to argue about whether or not slavery was moral. Before that, it was the monarchies. Uh, you know, we had the Reformation. Before that, the uh, Protestant oh, Reformation. You know, no, you'll always find whiners, no matter how far back you go. But generally speaking, the world turns out a better place for those no. whiners. No, no, man. That's uh, we're not better off. Nobody's better off for the so-called civil rights movement Whoa. Or, uh, Whoa. or this LGBT stuff. It has not been good for society. Gotcha. The blacks are worse off after the civil rights movement, and the LGBT <laughs> people are more. more I'd, I'd prefer if we steered clear of uh, uh, okay. the the you the know race racial stuff. argument. It really has nothing to do with the. Uh, Let's the talk about the hand. sexual revolution. Nazis though. can't help themselves. Uh, since we since we touched on this. Yeah, the the sixties, birth control, all that. Yeah, all that Shit. stuff. That hasn't been good for society. I think Crime it's been pretty good. Gone out of control. Thank you. Well, wait, mothers. Oh, let's if it. if we could. All right, everybody, I'm gonna let the show roll for a second. I gotta pee, so keep listening. And if you're here and you haven't pressed the like button or subscribed to my channel, please do both of those things. I put a lot of work into my channel, even on the little video game days like today. Uh, as you know, this show is 100% viewer supported, so thank you all for being here. I am going to keep playing the debate so we can keep listening, and. Actually, nah, you know what? I'm going to play the bathroom song. Fuck it. We haven't listened to the bathroom song in forever. I'm going to listen to the bathroom song. Give me a second. Hold on. We need a bathroom song. Where's the bathroom song? Here we go. All right. I'll be right back. One second. 
Hey chat, Demon Mama has to go to the bathroom, so listen to the Demon Mama bathroom song. She streams 20 hour days and 9 days a week, so let's give her and her bladder a little fucking break. Okay, it's been a minute and she's still in the bathroom. I'm not a math whiz, but I can count to two. Let's all calm down and spam emotes while we wait and chat. Maybe someone here also needs a bathroom break. Been a bit since Demon Mama went to the bathroom. Not like I'm counting, but this track's at 142. So don't you fret my little lips, cause I wrote this track down to give you something boppin' while she's taking a break. Jesus fucking Christ, can Fun go check in the bathroom? I hope she doesn't lock the door when she uses it. But if she does, you might need a little running start and hope the door hinge is weak enough to break. Alright, I'm back. Look at that, just in time too. Okay, you're just fucking with me now. Put down your phone, the stream is still running. I can only assume you forgot because you were doom scrolling. Jesus Christ, Demon Mama, do we need to call a doctor? Song's over, stop. Somebody help her out. Hell yeah. All right, everybody, time to continue the debate. Let's go. Let's go ahead. Right, point by point. Um, yeah. oh, wait, so shit. Crime wait, boomed we can't, with we can't the... continue the debate. We have to do the story elements first. Story first, then debate. Let's do this. Ah, Megara the Fury got you again. She is unstoppable, isn't she? One time, I tried to stop her on the way to have a chat with your dad, and she didn't even turn her head. <laughs> well, Hypnos, you're getting clapped. My condolences. Sorry, buddy. Disgraceful. Hey, don't call Father, me disgraceful. Father, what happened to the lounge? The only place for anyone to have a little fun around here, and you seal it shut. Oh, I had little choice about that boy. You see, after you fled the first time, Cerberus, why, he was very much upset. Utterly tore the place to shreds. It's now under repair. All thanks to you. You locked me in, you, you locked me in captivity, and then when I left captivity, the dog got mad, and you're blaming me, bro. You're really blaming me for not minding the dog while I was out and while you all were here. I lay the blame entirely upon you, yes. Who else? It's fortunate that Cerberus has calmed himself since then. Come to his senses, I should say. May you yet come to yours. Bruh. Bruh. Not everybody knows exactly how to give you pets and live to tell them, right, boy? Cerberus merely feigns concern for you. What's that there? Something from the fates. Ooh, we should do this. So this is the mini, this is the mini quests. 
if we, it's basically in-game achievements. If we unlock this, we'll be able to get some achievements. Let's do it. Here's the fee. The fated list of minor prophecies. Ooh. That sounds somewhat exciting, I suppose. Hi, Lady you Hopium. Is that useless bit of parchment. Okay, well, we don't have any other, we don't have any more gold. So let's go check and see if there's anybody else to talk to before we go back out for I'll another quest. A... Hello, friend. You'll get the hang of it out there, lad. For all our sparring practice, there's no teacher like the real thing. Now then, I have something for you. You do? Real dad? What, wait, you're giving me your codex? I can't accept something like this. Please, I insist. I want your love of history to grow, not just your love of warfare. Besides, maybe you can finish out the rest of it. Oh, thanks, dude! I'm grateful. Yeah, we got the codex. This is the thing that this is the one that lets you track the dating sim aspect. See, you can see how many hearts you've unlocked. It also lets you check out a bunch of other really cool stuff. The codex is sick as hell. Look, we get to keep track of all of our Oh. Nix likes us. Hades doesn't. We don't have we have the love of we have one love from Dionysus. All right, let's keep going. We gotta check out the list, the list what of minor prophecies, though. Hey, that must be the fated list. Yeah, the fated list. Give me it. it. Was bound to happen, really. Oh, we have some already. So we completed this one, which gives us three. Um. This will give us three uh, My nectar. Seems an interesting lot. Oh. Oh, I, I, that's the only one I unlocked. Never mind. I only unlocked that one. Okay. The fate of betting prince perhaps believes it was through his own choice that he procured the fated list of minor prophecies. Oh. But it was preordained. Why are you saying Vash has a normal one? There we go. Oh, no, not this determinism thing again. True, not this determinism thing. All right, everybody, it's time. Drug We're going back war. into the dungeon. It's uh, time. That's a pretty directly attributable factor there. I don't know if you can really attribute that to the sexual revolution. Single mothers. Well, single right. mothers have gone up, you can't but just it's say really the difficult to know mothers. whether or oh not God. that's a good thing or not. Hey, because it turns out a lot of these single mothers are just women Damn, who would have guys. been in miserable marriages beforehand. And I don't think it's right no, to man. consign a woman boy, to a horrible a domestic life for the rest of her existence, you know, because she made a mistake in marrying a man back when, like, she was, like, 19 or something. That seems pretty, pretty messed up. No, yeah, no fault. Divorce has been bad for society. Hey, listen. Have you considered that perhaps there is a socioeconomic reason for why children don't do so well in single parent families? Have you considered that perhaps the reason why there are so many single parent families is because of the pressure for people to get married before they actually know each other? Single mothers! No! Single mothers, guys! Sorry. And then I don't know Sorry. if you're ignorant or being dishonest, mm -hmm. but single mothers are the yeah, ones who are disproportionately raising the thugs who are doing these violent crimes. Why do you think there might be a relationship between here. single motherhood and criminality? Shield mode. Because and mothers are pushed, they, they're Game angry, stressed good. out, and pushing yeah, that yeah. anger onto the kids unprotected by the fathers. So then why, the, then why so is the it boys, that single mothers... So the boys go out, act out and go crazy and the girls go crazy too. Well, then why is it that single mothers in wealthier neighborhoods don't see nearly as significant an increase in uh, criminality with their children? What's this one do? Because the evil comes out in, in other ways right, too. There's said. there's all sorts of ways. That oh! They're, you think they're not, you think they're, you think they're happy with their single mothers? No, These, no, no, uh, wait. I, I agree with what you just said. The evil yeah. comes out in other ways. 
or to put it another way, the evil of criminality is something associated not with single motherhood, but rather with low-income households. Please. Well, that is what the data shows. You could say that, but it's but it's by and large the single mothers are poorer because they're not. But you, but I don't believe that this poverty. I don't believe this poverty causes crime thing. The mothers are angry. It's a difficult thing to not believe. What's that? We get to summon It's a difficult thing to not believe. Fuck yes. The greatest indicator of crime in America, and not just in America, actually, everywhere, like everywhere on earth, is income inequality. So it's not sick. people being poor or people being wealthy. It's poor and wealthy people being next to each other because it causes social issues. Wealthy and poor people both rely on different types of social services, and they rely on different types of infrastructural investment. And usually, services are deferential yeah, towards the wealthy in areas with both wealthy and poor people. Poor people so what you get then is a divide where poor Simple people exist and are underserved both socially and economically. And that tends to be what causes crime, because there aren't enough jobs to go around for the poor people. After the drug war and the availability <laughs> of crack cocaine, which ramped up, you know, in the 1980s, there were a lot of non-jobs available in inner city areas. Uh, and what are you going to do if you're a young man in that Sometimes place but, like, trade them. in the drugs? Because it allows you to feed your family, which is a pretty noble thing, all to do. Oh, this is so good. This is poison. you're being purple. silly right now. Oh, you're, you're running in circles to avoid Look, us giving any responsibility to the evil bomb. of the mothers, and you're also acting. The evil of the mothers. Vosh didn't talk about a a evil as in p fathers are bad. He talked about the the evils being inflicted on people by wide-scale policy decisions but remember christians their brains are most christians of this type are truly not smart enough to actually think about things beyond shit they read in their book and shit that their pastor and or favorite youtuber told them like like this correlation is is a uh, causation it's not it is true. It is, you can't directly say. And there's a whole lot of exploitation of, you know, the class warfare stuff that is. These people are misguided and misled. You look at the individual lives of these people who are raising the criminals. They are out of control raising people. You can see the why they became criminals. This seems like a and it's spurious not this noble anecdote thing. I wanna... on your part. What's the anecdote? Well, you're just sort of talking, right? There's plenty of data on the relationship between criminality and income differential. Correlation is not causation. Man. It's true. Oh, it's impossible on, to directly determine causation, but this is a very strong it's not correlation. It's impossible. It's not impossible, man. With a with a factor as sociological. If you have complicated, common sense, if you uh, have some common sense, uh, you can see you're being that female minded uh, again, Hank. Yeah, you gotta you gotta also Hank try to give Vasha a, a minute to respond to what you're saying right. here because you made a lot of points. Yeah, I don't mean to ramble or nothing. Um, but common sense, a, a deference you would expect from a woman, hey, come on. Um, no, we're talking hard data. Us masculine brains can handle stuff like this if we put our mind to it. Um, no, nope. of course, when it comes yeah. to sociological stuff like this, it's like there are so many uh, confounding factors. You know, so much, um, so much, uh, so many potential explanations. You know, of course, you're never going to get a 100% correlative positive relationship. You can get strong ones, though. And we're talking, again, about the sexual revolution here. Um, I don't even think the sexual revolution was necessarily the thing that caused the divorce rates to go up. It was just the end, or the beginning of no-fault divorce, you know? the ability Not a good just, idea. Right. So, I have to ask you then, why should... So, y earlier you said you want to talk morality rather than, like, policy, but you're defending bad policies here. Yes, that's why should, policies. Good call. Well... You, I assume, would want to get rid of the ability to file a no-fault divorce. Yes. Right, that's a policy. So that policy. <sighs> um, which it seems really odd to me, because you have like, if you chaos, made a mistake Egypt. in who you married, why shouldn't you be able to divorce them? I mean, ha has your reverend not benefited from the existence so, of this policy? Hey? The will to no, fight. he's never been married, man. He was engaged twice, but never married. How many children? He doesn't believe in. He doesn't does, believe in divorce. How many re children does the reverend have? He made one child out of wedlock at eighteen. And if he had married with that woman, the woman with which whom he, he no longer he speaks, to do. which he did, but then he cut contact with her, right? Or she cut no, contact with him? No, he did not con cut contact with her. The the mother of that sure. woman made her marry the child's stepfather, rather than wait and marry marry Jesse. 
would Jesse's life have been better if there had been no choice involved? If the marriage had already been cemented about? and there had been no room to back out afterwards? Who, Who knows? Person? That's a that's a that's a what if. It is a what if. I generally think that people are better off when they have choices in their lives. You, that's why you take this choice to get married seriously. Yes, but any choice capable of extending over the length of your lifetime is a choice that you might eventually end up regretting. Nobody can know what they're going to be like 30 years in the future. No yeah, human no can, no matter how responsible or well-prepared you are. People change with time. I think it's horrible, the idea... Don't get me wrong, people who stay married their whole lives, I think that's a wonderful thing, you know, matrimony yes, and all that. Yes, but it's very but, rare, because um, most people don't know If they want well. to leave, why consign them to that fate? And why consign the children that's okay. to an adolescent surrounded by parents who hate each other? That's also a high predictor, by the way, for crime. Um, when children see their parents go, like, like marital, marital instability between their parents, that's something psychologically that's often a precursor to other problems. Because these that's kids, why we need. That's up. why we need. That's why we need morality. What if they just don't get along anymore? That's not even a moral thing. That's just. Yes, it is a moral thing. You not getting along? You're acting like you're acting like two adults can't suck up and accept their lot in life. For for their whole lives. To be so, you're not even talking about getting along. You're just talking about like forcing so it for your entire life. Lightning shield throw. This is all. This is all like a what if thing. But yes. Well, it's a what if that happens, just, right? There are plenty of unhappy married couples out there. Right, and you know why they don't get divorced. Well, I think they should. There are a lot of children of unhappy couples that say they wish their parents had just gotten divorced because they would have much rather have been raised by one parent than raised by two parents who hate each other. Yeah. Which thus give them a really fucked up view of relationships. Like, but imagine what a kid thinks of relationships when they grow up with a man and a woman who hate each other. Like, that's got to set you down the wrong road from the beginning. But you're comparing evil to evil, and you're giving us a false dilemma. It's not huh? evil to dislike a person you married. Humans change. I know, but it's an, you, you just admitted that it isn't evil yeah, that what? the kids suffer. I'm using evil in the sense of it's a, it's a misery. The evil is them they, staying together. They can choose the, to leave. Yeah, I'm, I'm saying, but that's not, a, that's not a good, that's not a solution. Karen's shot. If you're two comparing people don't one like evil, each other. you're comparing one evil, which is divorce, well which then. children of divorce don't let's have a look at your t tend to do well, and to uh, the the evil of them being miserable and staying together, which is the same thing. You're basically comparing the same thing. If it's the same, let's we've say reached, it's the same thing, action. which I don't. Uh, believe. Well, it's not exactly the same thing because you just described that they they stay together and they get I miserable. I caught here. that point. Like right. About. If we were yeah. to believe that that would lead so to the confusing. same outcome for the children. Do the parents not have a right to find other people who they'll love? There is no, there is no, the parents don't have any love. And that's why they're, that's why they're miserable together. They're not right, going to be so happy find with somebody people. else. No, they shouldn't find new people. If you don't have love, then you're not going to love somebody else. Do you love me, Hake? Would you fuck me? This should work. No, that's wrong. But you could love somebody else. But that's not love anyway. You shouldn't get married for this quote unquote love thing. That's a, that's a fake idea. People don't know what love actually is. Interesting. I believe what... The guy who thinks that all sex should last less than six that less than one minute is telling you that you don't know what love is. Okay, bro. What, what you're is saying love, right now, if I'm baby, not mistaken, is heretical. Me. Don't the idea of me. love is a bonding mechanism no that God gave human beings as a way of encouraging, like the love humans feel for each other is a reflection of the love that God has for all men. By denying the existence no. of love, especially as a precursor to marriage, I'm pretty sure you're turning your back on God's love. No, man, because the, the men and women who get married, they don't tend to love each other, but they, they um, the hopefully, right they start to actually love each other, right? Normally, they're into sex. Or all right, shut up. We have to do. We have to pay attention because we're about to go down and meet my so favorite character of the game. Of yes, yes! let's do this. Ah, oh, don't see why not. Who or what is that? Within the underworld's quietest, most solitary, darkest abyss, lies hidden evidence of the beginning of all things, of chaos. The most ancient sculptor 
that has shaped this world. Hold on, gotta turn up the audio for just a second. Sorry. And best take all the evidence I find. This is not someone I recognize. So, in the name of Hades, um, hello? May I ask who's calling? You think the ends have all grown soft. Do not agree. Um, have we met? Although we have met in a way, I know everybody here and there. You wish to leave this place, and it is my wish to make your doing so a little bit more interesting. And if you encounter the Olympians someday, do give them my regards. Canonically non-binary god, yeah! Alright. For the next three encounters, you cannot earn gold. Afterwards, gain one crystal. Ooh. For the next three encounters, you take bonus damage. Afterwards, your dash strike deals 59+. plus. For the next four encounters, your life total is reduced. Afterwards, your special deals plus 55. All right, we're taking the purple one. I'll have to withstand the whims of chaos to extract the benefits a few chambers from now. Yeah, well, I love the whims of chaos, so... Fuck yeah, love chaos! They sound amazing. Anyway, let's get Some other thing. And then hopefully they overcome the sex and find actual love. I think you might be Which projecting is... some of your feelings towards women on other people. Because yep. generally <laughs> speaking, I think when people Should marry... People going. Well, there are a lot of reasons why people can marry of course but i generally don't think people marry for the sex like you can just fuck people if you want i know no! they're hooked though oh, by the sex oh. i can just have sex with people without <laughs> marrying them why would i marry someone if i just want closer world is sealed off but a lot of people want to be more traditional than you even the so-called gays they want to be more traditional than you so they think that they they think that this marriage this thing will be forever, their in the meantime, I family that they want the love that they want but they're so they're looking for love and they think that they have love but that's that's not the the kind of so-called love that human beings have towards each other as you just admitted 30 years down the line or less it sours that's not it's love, not my love fault. lasts You're a cop, I don't think that's anything different, very different from God's love. Well, God's love lasts. is eternal, sure, but I don't think yeah. that any interhuman love lasts. Humans change. And I think that we should have a right to find new partners for ourselves when we find that our current partners, and I, or you, or whoever else, no longer um, have like much in common and don't get along that well anymore. Rat. That's gay. Partners is a gay term, and the divorce and remarriage hey, is... Hey, I'm... That was amazing. That's gay. Partners is a gay term, and I refuse to acknowledge it. I refuse. That's gay as fuck. That's gay as fuck, bro. Gay. Of course, I would no, say you're not. partners. I, I hey, the last sexual <laughs> interaction I had was me sucking cock. Okay, I'm gay enough for you. TMI. Um, um, the, but my point is, this divorce and remarriage is part of that immorality. It's selfishness. You're you're thinking, oh, the grass is greener, but that's leading to more misery. Well, it seems like misery in this case is being caused by um, the expectation that people stay together in perpetuity when they don't like each other. If people could just remarry and find new love, wouldn't that solve the problem right there? Clearly, it's clearly that's what they're trying to been trying to do for the past I don't know six, how many years, how many decades, and that has hasn't helped. In society, people have been divorcing and remarriage, and that hasn't that has not. People are, haven't been Got her. happier. Yes. They're more miserable. Um, They're I more think mentally ill speaking, and all that stuff. When you yes. ask people who divorce if they're happy with their divorce, they almost always say some yes. Sort of power, but for the people who initiate the divorce, they don't tend to regret it down the line. So while many things have changed, I think if we isolate the specific of the effect of no-fault divorce filings, the outcome tends to be good, right? There's a reason they divorced, <laughs> right? Yeah. No. Yeah, just, how is yes. that? How is that good? Just because the person who because filed the divorce be, feels because happy. Because people should be. shouldn't be kept prisoner in a relationship they no longer want to be in. I mean, unless that's your really like your that's totally your kink. 
If you like to be kept prisoner in a relationship, that's up to you. But if people don't want to be kept prisoner, they shouldn't have to be. That's fucking crazy. Anybody gets this except for Christians because Christians literally do not give a shit about consent. Um, we've talked about this before, but Christians do not value the, the, the concept of consent. They do not care. We've talked about this with uh, Rush Limbaugh once went off a rant about it. But more importantly, um, uh, Dennis Prager is a great example of somebody who wrote from a Christian perspective why consent isn't important. They fucking do not give a shit. Christianity, like, f as far as a philosophy is concerned, the philosophy and religion of Christianity, consent is not valuable to them. They don't care. God tells you to do what you're supposed to do, and if you don't do it, whether you like it or not, you're wrong. Fear, which is most of the time that's a woman. He is to sure. a pleasant is that not their that right? Ask for them. Uh, I don't believe so. I don't believe it's a right. I don't think that you should have a... I don't think that human beings have a right to divorce. Do you think people... Like that. Do you think people you don't have, have a right, right to end their look at that, but You're just looking Jesus at the Christ. woman. You're looking at the woman. Oh, she's happier. Therefore, it's a better outcome. But you're not looking at the children, the, the father, the father who gets screwed over. Right, the woman. And you're no, looking I, how like do we the know the father got the screwed society, over? Like society, I think, has gotten... How do you know that a father... He, listen, he presumes that in all divorces, the father always gets screwed over. This is so worse, stupid. Worse, and I don't know this if you so I don't know if you see that. Well, I think that society has gotten worse in many ways, but the freedom to choose your partners is probably one of the few things that has gotten decided to be better. Um, with regards to the children, no, you know, I think the real thing we need here, you know, you're concerned about people who grow up in a single family household, Wasn't and you should be because it sucks. To single mother household. Well, results are pretty bad with the father as well. Though you just tend not to see single, um, you tend not to see single father households because usually the women right. are the ones who take the children. Bad but idea. Well, the outcomes are bad in either case. So in terms of whether it's a good idea or not, you know the reason that it's divorce better for courts the better with the fathers. The reason divorce courts tend to favor um, women isn't actually because they're sexist against men. It's usually because men don't actually want the children. That's overwhelmingly the reason why women get it in the divorce settlements. It's because the men don't even want to raise yes, the children. So the women are the ones being I don't know if there. that's... Uh, can no, man. I don't they know are. If, the, men I don't are the men are abandoning the children, the woman... No, they're not. They, yeah, they are. Wait, no, they're not. they totally are. Yeah, they no, have the divorce not. proceedings, and the like. The mother wants to take care of the kids, and the father's like, "Nope, I want to go back to living the bachelor lifestyle." They're godless, yep. Hake. It's they're female-minded. But the actual that, female that, there is the one who stands up and takes care of the kids. But she's not. She's she's taking care of herself. And the um, kids. That is that is not true. There. Well, I don't know if I don't know These about, about so the pathetic. statistics on how many say, Christian "Oh yeah, go ahead." Maybe. There is literally, there is no more insecure human than a Christian male. Tell me I'm wrong. Christian, me Christian men, quote unquote, Christian men. They just don't want to fight with the woman over because she, but there, there are a lot of men who want their children okay. and the women make it hell for them. And I, you, Whatever, I would be surprised if you didn't know that. You shall regret uh, this. Well, certainly in the case of millions of divorces, you're going to have instances where that happens. I'm only describing I mean, something just, that happens you, quite you often. Don't be so dismissive. I'm not. I'm making, of course, I'm being a bit flippant here. And there's here. no such thing as, as sexism anyway. The, the gotcha. courts are, are, are female-minded. It is true. But anyway. Um, At I any think rate, we've established that. People complain right. more about the unfairness towards men in these courts than is actually warranted. A lot of men just want to go back to fucking, you know, like chicks they pick up from the bar without worrying about kids. And don't get me no, wrong, man, I, I somebody don't believe who likes that it's, that's fucking enough. chicks from bars, you know. I, I, I don't I believe it. that they're complaining she more is than is warranted. I, I don't think that. I think you're speaking a little bit ignorantly and, and overly flippantly on that issue. I will admit I'm speaking flippantly, but I feel like it's proportional to the tone of the conversation. But I could be more serious <laughs> if you would prefer. No, no, I, I mean, I'm just making a point uh, because there Guys, are... Christian masculinity is designed to produce two types of, me of men, okay? Listen, I'm dead serious about this. Christian masculinity is designed to produce alpha and beta men. There are men 
who belong at the top of the hierarchy, and there are other men who deserve to be abused and undercut perpetually. That is Christian masculinity, and they keep this shit up. And that's why I say that Christian men are the most insecure people on the planet. Because guess what? There's only enough room for a handful of top dogs. The rest get the abuse and undercut treatment, which makes them fucking insecure as shit for the rest of their lives. Because every man they know is constantly trying to undercut them. Men, the, the dudes are always tearing each other down. They're constantly fucking trying to do, like play dominance games with one another, which results in the most insecure men in the entire world fucking planet the christian men a lot of men who want their children i and, think that whoever is the and better parent should and be it's the one so who gets silly the children. it's so silly to pretend these women are being godly give me a break they think they're god well but if you um if you make the choice to take care of kids when you know it's going to be very difficult as a single mother i would say that's a fairly noble thing to do wouldn't oh, you yes. say so noble they're getting subsidized like crazy, subsidized by the father and the government. Yes, yeah, so single subsidized. mothers are just resplendent with wealth, Hank. That they're, is how they're it works. They're spoiled. Uh, that's Indeed. why women are lining up to be single mothers these days. It's definitely yeah. something they actively fight for and not something that happens to them against their will. Happens to them. Yeah. Well, well they're these if poor they get... innocent victims. Why are you being uh, yeah. such a simp about this stuff? What's going on well, this house? is the thing, and, and this is why I think it's funny that you pretend to be Christian. That much it's that um, you're Hermes. decidedly less Christ-like than some of the more degenerate atheists that I've known in my day. It's not just that you don't, so it's you don't bad. feel love, well, hold on. You don't feel love for others, so you reject God's love, and you assign that rejection to others, which is oh, weird enough that. on its own. But you look at virtue and you call it sin. What are you but anti-Christ-like in doing so? Women who sacrifice portions of their life to take care of kids, knowing the odds are stacked against them, you look right at them and sneer because you hold hate in your heart. No, you, are, you are Go someone ahead. who would be a better beneficiary of Reverend Jesse's teachings than almost any man I've ever spoken to. It's so obvious the way you deride those you speak of. I could never, never in my conversations, have I speak in, spoken of, of, of any group uh, who's, who's, for what? For raising children? With this you level just, of derision? You just falsely accuse men of abandoning the children. Many they men do so. The, they can't deal with the women. And the they can't deal is, with the hell of dealing like with this. the woman and fighting with the woman over the children. I respect you're like, you're, the men you, who no, do take care of the man. children. But and you, anyway, I was you not disrespect at, the I was women not who take care of the children. No, but there, there's nothing to respect there. Because they're not That's taking care of the children. Well, you, fine, but it's not, nothing to respect it. It's different from what love like is. You don't have love when you're falsely worshipping these Sorry, women no, as godly and stuff like that. I think it I is Christ-like to take I know you're just sense. being silly. No, I don't, I know I'm not being silly at all. I just, it is Christ-like Christ You have make... no clue what Christ even Hake. was about. Hake, yes. don't get upset like a woman would. Um, but you have no clue what Christ is about. A clear. I think I'm actually oh, a little bit so more triggered. familiar with Christian doctrine than you, it seems. Um, considering the stuff that you so? said about love in this conversation is concerning, you know, Damn, it's interesting. Fight. Your statement that love should not have to do with a marriage, um, that that like uh, you know people like marry for sex and you hope the love develops of it. This is actually something closer to what I would expect, like a cynic, like Satanist type to say. <laughs> Somebody who would like sneer at the institution of marriage and go, you know, there's no love in that. Someone who rejects God's love. But you claim to champion it while making fun of women who take care of their children? It's, well, you know the Antichrist who will sell you every good thing is bad and bad thing is good, right? Are you an uh, agent of his? Uh, no, I, I'm making fun more of your false worship Show me your hand, females. the back of your right hand, would you? Do you have the mark? <laughs> I want to know. You're laughing you at women who take care of their children. But they're not taking care of their children, and they're doing an awful job oh, at it. No. They've driven Fuck. the man away, and you're not up. being honest about it. How do you know they've driven the man away? What if this, the man drove them away? I only attack the man. Let me just kiss up to these these females. Are you accusing are... me of being sexist, hey? No such thing. I'm oh. I'm accusing you of of kissing up to women, and that's what Satan did. Shade he kissed up dead. to the woman. Are you accusing me of being <laughs> biased towards women instead of uh, equally so? Dusa! Right. I can see Dusa right. down here! So, Look. you've said that the women drive the men away. What if the men drive the women away? 
Is that possible uh, in your world? True. It, it may. This Hake guy is so ridiculous. And by the way, this conversation, we, we're not even close to done. We have another hour still. This Christian is going to keep going on for an hour. This is going to be sick. Yeah, it may be possible. Okay, you seem to make I'm a lot a of good assumptions. Time. I'm comfy. My only statement earlier was that I'm oftentimes comfy as fuck right now. you just said uh, that these women are not doing anything Christ-like because angry. they drive the man away. They and then do. They... Well, well, we have to pause the... because we're about to meet another one of my favorite okay. characters. A commemorative on, board adorns one of the stoic walls within the lounging area, celebrating and proclaiming the accomplishments of those who serve Lord Hades best of all. Look at that. My it's face up it's on that Achilles. Wall, I guess. Yay! Achilles got the uh, denizen of the month. <gasps> oh, the prince himself. You want to talk to me? Me? Oh, Do so. wow. Oh, wow. I uh, just wanted to say, don't bother picking up my room today. I'm headed out for a while. Zwoop. Thanks for all your hard work. Bye. Greetings, Chef. We don't. We haven't unlocked the kitchen yet, but we'll get the kitchen later. We did unlock this over here, which is cool. We were able to unlock the uh, the sale the shop. Look, the room's still all torn up. Look, you can see the scratch marks and the hair. We haven't even fixed it up. The lounge just opened, but it didn't get fixed yet. Greetings, Broker. Okay, we don't need to buy anything from him this time. All right, let's hear what Meg and Nyx have to say. We each have our commitments to this house, Megara. There is no shame in yours. And whilst your sisters are away, you bear their burden of responsibility as well. Hey, what can I say? It's fun to watch a debate with Demon Mama. What can I say? I understand. It's just, am I supposed to keep pretending nothing's changed? This house is cracking at the seams, and no one's going to admit it. The house shall stand eternally, although in what condition, it is ours to decide. Our obligation is to keep the house in order. Hmm. I know. You're right, of course you're right. I'll do my best. I'll do my best for both our sakes, Nix. What was that about? Rapti. I understand you're trying to be cautious, but we're reacting right now to a Christian who has spent this entire time using extremely common Christian arguments uh, to uh, to. Uh, basically argue for the complete and utter suppression of gay people and women. So, I understand where you're coming from, but I don't think that there's any risk at the moment of anyone accidentally going too far and making fun of Christians. That's all. Alright, let's continue playing. Ooh, scrying pool, huh? Hmm. Let's hear what Achilles has to say. The sealed weapons by your chambers. Your father won't observe their absence, I don't think. No, I get you. There's, I know the that there are... I've made a whole videos sisters. about this. It's just that, he like... Wants nothing more to do uh, with any of that. I think you're it's never gonna... you've inherited their power. Hold on. Sealed weapons. Hell yeah. No, um, I get it. I understand. Because, yes, obviously there are Christians out there who aren't nearly as bad as the ones that we're dealing with right now. But because we're reacting to this, you know... The response is going to be, we're going to make fun of some of their shit. And it is true for a lot of them. And guess what? You can choose to be a better type of Christian. Being a Christian is not like like a wholly innate thing. There are many types of Christian and there are many types. There are many, there are many types of Christians and there are many ways to be those types of Christians. It's all good though. I'm sure your friends are fucking amazing man drove the woman away on rare occasion i imagine it's quite possible yeah, like oh, he's weak he's she's oh, repulsed oops, by weak i didn't mean to press play on this yet Can break. all right so 
What we just found out is that Hades is keeping away the old weapons of the Titans from us. Even though he used them himself, he's keeping them locked up from us. So we have to unlock them ourselves. You call my chambers a mess? Look at your desk, father. Whatever happened to your court musician, huh? Where's his sentencing parchment work? Stuck in Tartarus all because he stopped singing for you on command. Damn. My desk is far more organized than you, boy. And if you're so concerned about our court musician, why don't you commute his sentence yourself? Seeing as I haven't gotten around to it yet. Sure, happy to oblige. I'll just ask the house contractor since you're too busy. Hmm. Contractor, mind locating the court musician's sentence when you get the chance? So, we can soon there unlock the court musician sentence but we need to unlock a diamond first so we i would love to have orpheus we haven't even got to meet orpheus yet i would love to i hope we can find him and free him all right everybody now back into the dungeon this isn't my first playthrough of this game but it is my chat's first playthrough i love this game and played the hell out of it anyway let's continue big men but Rare it takes occasion. two to tango. I'm dealing with both wrongs, and you're only dealing with one wrong. Just blaming, the, demonizing the man. Thank you, Scarlet and worshiping Volcano. The woman. Not at all. You, you were the one who made the presumption, weren't you? I never said at any point the man drives the woman you away. I only said they separate. Oh. You're the one you who said. They, said you, you didn't say they separate. Welcome you said celery. the man abandoned hey, the yeah, children. As a thing that can happen sure that when we're talking about the bias in divorce court. But you talked about all single mothers driving their man away. I didn't say all. Oh. How many would you say? We Oh, the bear claw. Most. I want the claw. Most. I love the claws. Yeah. Why exactly would you say that? Because men oh, yeah. can't deal so, with women. So real quick, when, when sometimes there's a small chance for a weapon to have a bonus. And I think this one is plus 20 sh uh, shadow crystals. So we're going to take time, or darkness Baraka. is what it's called. We're going to take it. We're gonna take this for the bonus for the bonus shadow crystals. Let's Men and women hate I each other. I love the claws. Are you, are you, you a homosexual, Hank? No. I'd like to follow down this line of inquiry if the good man, Big Papa Fascist, won't stop me. Hey, you <laughs> seem to have an appalling it's sexual aversion. morality. It's kind of open on this. Go Thank ahead. Thank you. Nice. Um, you have an appalling aversion to women, <laughs> Hank. You know, if Adam I'm not loved to Eve. Them. I'm ready. I don't know if he did. Um, oh. Had he loved her, he would have corrected her and not eaten the fruit and not listened to her. But he listened to her. People make Just mistakes. Just like you're urging people to listen. People to make women. mistakes. Also, those who That's love women love, often Say, trust women because when you love people, you trust them. To you. Sometimes that leads like to bad it, decisions man. being made. So that's the cost of trusting people. I I <laughs> and that would not be love then, because Thanks, love buddy. loves what's right more than just trusting a, a woman who listened to a serpent. So, love isn't so. Love two means people loving what's right other, more than the woman. So, what? if you are in love with a person and you make a mistake together, but you did it because you love the other person, come on in. That isn't love. It's retroactively right, corrected this, to be. That was, Thank that you was, so in much. In love is not Rapti, actual. That is so generous. It, Thank you so much. You did not have to do that at all. Thank you so much. I deeply appreciate that. Thank you so much. Every, you know what? Let's do a quick read off. Mordecai's, I'm Sleeps, Rhodes, Moss Meow, Goddess Trans Girl, Flighted Crow, VX, VY Abo, Super Plank, Saxy Jacks, Gay Fish, Lion King, Falafel, Casey, Nightfang, Spinkle, Tropic, Wombat, Gish Fletter, Self Loathing, Egomaniac, Bell in Space, Pickle and Croissant, Three Places at Once. All of you welcome as new yellow named imps. Thanks to Rapti. Thank you so much. In love is this fake idea. This you said love is a feeling. It's See, not a feeling, man. You're you're not touched uh -huh. by God, Hake. Even I, an atheist, feel love for others in my heart. You can't feel it because you're Time numb to, to the world. No, I'm not numb to the world. You're numb to I'm God's just... love. How so? You're deaf to God's word. You're blind to God's light. Oh come on. You're godless, <laughs> Hake. Talking like this. Because I'm speaking a language we both understand. I have no, to but, ask. I know, but love, but they, love's not I'm, a feeling. I'm, no, it's not a feeling. It's love is love for what's right, love for truth, we'll and treating people right. People treating people the way you would want to be treated. Is God not love? Yes. Are we not God? In the sense no. that He created us, God exists in all creation, does He not? No, we, we are fallen of away God. From him. 
I, I suppose deep down in there, maybe there's maybe there's a faint light in in some of us, but we we're pretty dark. Look around. Even in it, even if you just took this in metaphorical terms, we're quite dark. Your quite mind devil, is dark, Hake. <laughs> the world looks dark see... because you're wearing shades, Hake. Whatever, man. Then why is there so much divorce and remarriage and divorce and remarriage and misery and all that stuff? Because well, we were is... given free will by God as a way of testing which of us deserved to live in the kingdom of heaven after our passage. No, come on. Give me, give me your view of it. My view? Not, How not do you know your, that's not, not my your... view? Because you, I think you said you're an atheist. I don't actually believe in God, but I do well, believe anyway, that people can love well, each other. I mean, let's let's be good faith, though, right? Well, like, no, what well is sure, faith? sure. Well, I I think that different um, ideologies tend to frame similar ideas in different language. Um, but no, to 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 frame things in a in a more direct sense, Ultra you know. Ultraviolet. Um, Ultraviolet. Um, I feel like Thank the, the so issue the here is that sub. like fundamentalists like Hake conflate a bunch. I don't know if this is too spoilery for this playthrough, but thoughts on Skelly being a certain protag? I don't know. We'll have to find out. We'll have to find out. Bunch of ideas. Thank you very much, and, Ultraviolet. And, like, make them all the same word. And then any time <laughs> they feel, like, just sort of no, no. Uh, intuitively opposed to, they can just, Let's go like, meet say Chaos. it's against everything. So God no, is I'm... nature. And, you know, love is when you're right, and oh, being yeah. right is when you're ethical, and being ethical is when you're with God. So, like, every idea folds into Everyone, itself, and there's not actually we're any... we're pausing Vosh because it's time to date Chaos! Let's do it! Master Chaos, everyone makes offerings to my relatives upon Olympus. I wish to make an offering to you. Thank you for... everything. Thank you! I'll draw all of you to make attempts to tempt me with material things. You then, please, in turn, allow me this attempt at reciprocity. <gasps> Master Chaos, thank Cosmic you. Cosmic egg! Yes! We got the cosmic egg! There exists a certain rumbling here within the bowels of the earth. It is as though it had ingested something that did not seem to well. Oh, Perhaps the earth itself wishes to spit you up and out. Yes, it does. The Earth wishes us. Curious or unusual in a way that provokes dry amusement. Hmm. Special deals more damage. Dash strike deals more damage. Attack. We gotta do the attack. We need to get the attack bonus. All right, back to the debate. Way to critique or examine these thoughts Let's or biases because it's it's utterly orthodox. It's it's self-referential, you know. Yeah, but you're you, you're flipping, you're throwing around this word love like you know what it is, and you're calling it a feeling, which a lot of people do call the, out their feeling as as love. This whatever it is, this extreme desire or attachment or whatever it is or affection or compassion or whatever but um that's not what actual love is i've i'm consistently i don't i don't know if you're accusing me of being inconsistent but i'm consistently against the notion that love is a feeling or that sex has to do with love i understand that sex makes this this uh, emotional bond or whatever may i but, ask go if ahead, you're Matt. familiar with the passage john for uh read it read it out if you want he that loveth, recited. of course, he that loveth not knoweth not God, for God is love. And That's this up. was manifested the love of God towards us, and that God sent his only begotten Son, and so on and so on. But yeah. 4 8 is he that loveth not knoweth not God, for God is love. Right. Hello there, Dionysus. And most people don't have any love. But what about you? But they think Hake? that they love each other. My authority. Hake does not know love. What about me? Quite clear. You're the one who said you, you don't feel love. Why are you getting personal? Well, What's that? I feel uh, like your perspective you, well, on this might say? be... Why are you getting personal, bro? After what you said tonight? Also, Critical Pro... Oh my god! That's so cute! Snick posting! Cutie Snick! What a cutie! What a cutie! Snake, thank you so much! Hell yeah. Let's continue. Oh my god, did you make me food? Holy shit. It's fooding time? 
Okay, everybody, we're gonna keep listening to debate while I eat some food, though. Hold on, we're gonna put this. We're actually gonna put the debate up over here so I can eat my food without uh, repercussion. Do you want another drink or anything? Uh, no, I still have enough. Thank you. Mwah. Thank you, though. Thank you, though. All right, let's uh, let's put the debate up on the screen, and then we can. Uh... No, I'm, I don't, I'm fine I with don't a little bit of it. Well, I don't think that it's personal. I think what Vosh is trying to do is he's trying to draw out possible inconsistencies based on your worldview, which is exactly what you're doing to him. It's not an ad hom. No, if it no, was, I'm, I would I'm, call it out. No, no, I'm f fine with. I like ad hominems. I think that they're valid. But <laughs> well, I'm not trying to insult. <laughs> You no, know, no, you're not insulting. Go ahead. What was your question? Well, it's it's only Sloppy to say, Joe. you know, it, it, it seems to me like your your perspective on this is being motivated by something other than Christian theology. Because no. under Christian theology, and I really don't think there's room for interpretation here, under Christian theology, you would hold love in your heart for all who walk the earth. You would, you know, understand that God is love and that God who created the world made the world of his love. There's no way around these things. These are just fundamental components of Christian Orthodox thinking. Okay. Yeah. So, but you so don't... mean me mocking those single mothers and mocking them out of love. I don't believe that. Okay, that's fine. Um, <laughs> go ahead. <laughs> he didn't well, even try! Yeah, it, I don't think you feel love for these people, and that's fine. You don't try. have to love everyone. But it's not feeling love. It's, 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 it's being of love, being for what's right. It's recognizing virtue. And no matter how you slice it, Jesus Christ, who tended to oh, and cared on. for prostitutes, definitely right. would not have been shunning women for being single mothers. Uh -huh. You know, Mary Magdalene, I'm no, pretty I'm sure just... by any Christian's definition, was more touched by sin than your average single mother. But he, who was willing to, to speak with them, to wash them, you, in your comparatively privileged life, who was not nailed to the cross, who did not live in the old times, you today, sitting on a computer chair, you decry single mothers. True. If Christ could feel that love for Mary, how can you turn away all those women? How can you not see the situation they're in? How can you condescend to them? Their lives are harder than yours and mine. But I'm not condescend. I don't know if I'm, I don't know what you mean by condescend to them. But mm. I'm, I'm saying, I'm pointing out that they're doing a lot of wrong, and I'm not. They're not godly. By you know they're. Yeah, they're, some of them are trying their best, or maybe they're all trying their best, which is not good. They're not doing good. They're trying their best, but that's not doesn't mean they're doing right. We all sin, but we should and, celebrate the good in sinners, should we not? Even if you were to believe they had sinned, which I don't no, believe all you of them point have. Out, you don't. Uh, you can be mama and like, oh, good for you. You're doing this right, but it's better to call out evil because people. We have a problem of kissing uh, in this culture of kissing up to. Us mothers and single mothers and stuff like right now it Dude, is pretty widespread on. it's not really? just you that's why i'm i'm harping on it not because you're doing it but because the whole culture is doing it you're kind of following the crowd on this issue the only thing for which i have praised single mothers is the difficulty of raising children as a single mother which is unquestionably a difficult thing to do and, and that's not, not only praiseworthy you, though you, to, you can acknowledge that it's hard praiseworthy. which i acknowledge that it's hard they're miserable because they don't have the, the man to help. But that's not praiseworthy to do something that you're not even meant to do. You're They're doing to stay the only with the thing man. they can do. Maybe, maybe. You may, you may be right about that because people are helpless in their uh, degeneracy. But How do you um, know they've been degenerate? Single motherhood is a sign of degeneracy, man. What Clearly. if the father divorced them? When you, guys, I'm sorry, when you guys say degenerate, you mean without morals? Can we agree that that's the definition that we're talking about? Sure. Okay. Right. Of Go course, ahead. this isn't yeah, just, a, this isn't a term, it, it, the validity of, of which I subscribe to. Um, it's, but, a, oh, it's a sign no, of No, no, I, I, I do understand that. You don't have to agree with it. I'm just asking for the definition we're working within. But this is, this is what I mean, Hake. Like, again, you make Go every ahead. presumption to the woman's detriment. You say they've been degenerate, but they could have been abused by a man and then divorced by oh, him. Lord. She could have caught him cheating. You say, oh, Lord, because to you it's insane. You think, how could it not have been the woman's fault? But that right there, what you're doing, is incredibly unchristlike. Yes, it was it Christ's, so. because it was his prerogative to turn towards the needy and the desperate, those who had sinned, <laughs> look at them and feel sympathy, to preach to them, no. to reach out to their humanity, to love them and to recognize their love in him. But it's your prerogative to sit from a high horse and judge everyone you don't like 
accusing them of sin and degeneracy, even for the things they're doing to make up for their possible character True, flaws. Though. You're just making up stuff. You're I'm judging me. The, wor the word of Christ? I just... You didn't m mention one word from so-called Christ that you don't even believe in. I know that uh, I believe single, Christ existed. I'm pointing, I'm pointing out that, by and large, single mothers, it's, it's their fault they're in that situation, and they need to take responsibility for it. Women don't tend to admit their, their role in, the, uh, in what goes wrong in a relationship. How, many, you how much experience have you had with women, out of curiosity? I've heard a, a ton of women call into the Jess, Jesse show. I've talked oh, to them myself. Oh, come on, man. Have, have you ever seen a woman acknowledge that she was wrong? All what? The, yeah. And it was meaningful. And she actually, and she wasn't, it wasn't just lip service. Literally, yeah, yes. Like norm, like a normal thing. Yeah. <laughs> well, do you I interact know, with women honest. outside of the call-in yes. show for your far right? Like, yeah, please. Oh, really? Radio yes. broadcast? And it's difficult for them to admit they're wrong. Interesting. Do you think it might be possible that you have a biased perspective on the issue that is causing you to act in ways that are contradictory not only to reality mm. itself, but to God's love? You think that this you think it's reality that women admit they're wrong and are re so responsible? The fact that you can even say that in a chiding tone is so self-parodying that I don't even feel I need to answer. <laughs> you really feel so you that women can poop? Well, I don't know, Hake. Talk to a woman. I have. I've talked to can, plenty. Do you think and they can it's poop? Difficult. Occasionally, they can admit that they're wrong. Quite rare, though. All right. It's difficult. How many times, out of curiosity, this, have this you admitted pretense. you're wrong in this conversation? Um, you know, I don't believe either of us have, us men. Um, maybe you are acting more female-minded than either of us is even willing to acknowledge. I know, but this is a pretense that, that, that these women are innocent victims, and they're, by and large, they're not. No, you chide. I think that women are people, and people are flawed. I think that most people, by and large, don't meet my standard of good human behavior. But that doesn't change the fact that the decision to take care of children is a noble one. It's very difficult no. to take care of children, you know. It's very, very difficult. Okay, I have eaten my sandwich, so we are going back to the gameplay. Vosh is back on audio only, and order has been restored so that we can continue playing the video game. Let us continue. I don't think that I'm cut out for it, which is why I'm not a father. It would be very easy for me to be a father if I wanted to be, and I chose not to, because it's just a responsibility that I felt that I wasn't cut out for in my current state. Whether or not that reflects <laughs> on me is immaterial, I think it's important to be good to the children, based, but I know how hard it is. These women are sacrificing. Responsible I didn't say that it's not based. hard. I'm saying that it's, that it's laughable, that it's noble, that they're doing it out of nobility. It is a noble thing to do, no matter their intentions. Yo, but celery! Why, I'm glad you've liked out of curiosity, it. I, I don't know if it's a noble it? thing to do, regardless of their intentions, to take the children away from the father. Why? How are they taking Aphrodite, the children? So Aphrodite. again, you've made another assumption. I just said you're they the one making children. the assumption that they that they desert the children, that they uh, abandon the children. That's an assumption. I only said that's the reason for a large portion of the disproportionate results in family courts. I'm that's only not a speaking of a Abandonment situation. Abandonment is not a reason. That's, a, that's an accusation. Heart I'm dash. only Heart speaking dash. of the, um, of the, um, of the, the, the situation of a woman raising children as a single right. mother. So, get, so, igno you like, accuse you, you the keep man assuming. of abandoning. No, I you said that many... You accuse the man of abandoning and praise the woman as noble for Dude, taking the children. what are you talking children. about? Let's say in this particular... That's ridiculous. Let's say, I, I don't straight. think you're understanding what I'm saying here. These are he's not. He literally examples, doesn't understand. I'll try again. Let's like, say this is... He's a... not even following the basic direction of the conversation. He's not able to. Oh, my God. Sometimes you meet somebody out there who you know just simply is incapable of being a grifter, and I think Hake has got to be one of them. I don't think, like, from what I hear in Hake, I think he's actually just very stupid and struggles to keep ideas straight in his head. He's He doesn't seem to me like the griftery type. Like, the guy can barely keep what Vosh is saying to him straight. 
situation where the partners split mutually. The man did not take the children because he felt that the mother would do a better job. They split because of irreconcilable differences. So both of them are equally contributing to the divorce. The woman chooses to take the children when the man would have been willing to, but the woman thinks she can do a better job. Do you feel that's noble? I've never heard of such a case. Really? This is like an imaginary case where the man thinks that the woman would do a better job. This is, I believe, the most common type of resolution. It may be the most common type of resolution, but the woman puts the man through Sorry, hell. gotta go Aphrodite first. Sorry, sorry, See, bro. No so wonder you don't believe sexism exists, Tate, because that, you know, allows own. you to defy um, any possible the attempt at himself. introspection you might otherwise engage in. Well, look at you. Look at you. Why are you following the crowd, worshipping the woman? I don't believe I worship any women. Oh, you do. Can you define worship for me? Oh. Uh, calling them noble oh, no, when there's nothing noble about them. You don't even know the no. situation. You're just calling it a noble said, act because they're that. taking oh, care of the kids this. and it's so hard. I said an That's act is noble. So that act is waits, also right, noble when a man does it. I've never said it's only it noble when a woman does it. I know men who are single fathers who chose to take the children, and I believe they're noble for doing so, immensely so. So this is not a female exclusive thing. Gentlemen, I know that <laughs> this has been a spirited and fun debate. We're going to have to start to uh, wrapping it down. We've got oh, a ton goodness. of super chats. Yeah, a ton flies. of super chats to get to. I'm empty. And uh, also, Dead. you know, here at the Crucible, Damn, we do things difficult. a little bit differently. I take timestamps and I take down moderator questions. We've always done this. When your closing statements are done, we'll Chaos ask the moderator the questions and then we'll move on to the super chats. Um, hey, okay, you went ahead and right. opened Fosh. I'm going to let you close you first. Go ahead. And I am good as great. Sure. Um, yeah, so at the end of the day, I, like there are two Thanks, things that buddy. I want to drive home here. If we're looking at the world from a purely utilitarian lens, if we're interested in what makes the world a better place by analyzing existing data, taking a look at, you know, um, statistical information and anecdotal with reports that you like work out into case studies. However you want to look at things, I if we're to look at it in a chats, scientific way, I'm uh, freedom of choice, generally goes. speaking, is better for society. Sometimes, freedom of choice leads to bad outcomes. Kieran, that is, of course, the nature of freedom. Insight, you can't disregard the validity gratitude. of freedom because sometimes people make the choice to have, you know, to do bad things. He That's the point it. of freedom. You do your best to mitigate well, the negative outcomes and, you know, benefit the positive ones. The main issue that I have is the religious text that goes into this. I think, at least for those of you who have a mind towards the religious, it's fairly evident that hate is... Yeah. Well, non-denominational is not a tremendous surprise to me. I don't think that his understanding of Christianity is very well developed at all. I think that's largely because Just he likes having a religious pretext for his pre-existing biases, but I genuinely believe that his we worldview is closer to that of the Antichrist oh, than that of Christ. His disregard of virtue, something. his hatred it's of nobility, um, and his uh, automatic, like, uh, like derision towards the concept of God's love being Some present in all things. These aren't just my opinions. I admit that I'm an atheist. These are unacceptable pretextual positions to hold for a Christian. The, like, these are not, the, like, just you would, if, it, to express to these would get you, you, like, shunned you don't from religious who, communities. Um, I think that Hay holds a lot of hate in his heart, and a lot of the time. religious bullshit is just a way yeah. we'll of him having a non-empirical justification for those positions, one that he does not have to defend. Um, and, you know, it's, it's just, like, it's, it's, it's empirically incorrect, and frankly, it's heretical, and I don't appreciate it. <laughs> oh, you're silent, buddy. I, I actually muted myself by accident, but anyway, hey, go this. ahead with your closing statement, and then we're going to move into the Q&A. We don't expect that the debate necessarily is going to stop just because the Q&A is there. We just consider the debate closed. Go ahead. All right. Well, I appreciate it. Thank you, Vosh. Uh, it's been nice talking with you again. And thanks to uh, Andrew. Um, the sexual morality thing, again, it's a, it's a fake idea. It's, there's morality. And the sex thing is um, a reality of life. And it has to be done under the umbrella of God's order, which is in a marriage with some self-control and with some acknowledgement of the danger that comes with it and the, uh, and the selfishness that comes with it. You, people tend to worship uh, one another or their, each other's bodies or themselves. Good. And it's a, it's a bad idea. 
Um, worship something real than I think that we should be having, we should be coming together and having right. families and children and become responsible at uh, younger ages again. And we should bring back some shame to society and not be so shame. concerned with being, ah, yes. having this, this. That's what society needs more of, shame. American society doesn't have enough shame. Holy shit, bro. Freedom to be immoral and evil and throw our lives away. Um, having this just degenerate sex with each other so freely. I don't think that uh, no fault divorce has no, been good no. for society. I don't know the stats on it, but um, divorce Can't and remarriage do. has become accepted by the Christians. And I think that's what has opened the door to uh, homosexuality and all of that degeneracy which has only spread misery, but people don't realize they're miserable when they're young because they can get away with it until they're old. And even if, even some old people are pretty uh, blind and brainwashed and side. disgusting. Just look at a lot of the liberals today uh, running the running gotcha. the country into the ground. Got her. Uh, pornography is a, a bad idea. This is a, people should be this avoiding is a it. Fucking, people should be. He's on an Abe Simpson esque rant right now. Uh, we sh uh, people should get married more because degeneracy is is flowing, and because people have a, a laissez faire relationship with having sex with women, that's what makes the gay people happen. And well, you know, of course, I had an onion tied on my belt because that was the custom of the time fleeing from temptation not just toying with temptation same thing with food Vosh brought up a very good point about food um, being a uh, a problem that's unacknowledged and has become kind of accepted in the so-called Christian culture because it's it's not as obvious the uh, the problems and it's kind of self-inflicted the path from um, Tartarus is I don't think that the, that this sex thing has been Far good. It's put it's put the, the woman as God, the river and flame. she's gets so full of herself. And men um, and wait. women do. I don't care what Vosh says. Nothing. They do hate each other. That's you just look at look around. Five, give me five they do bees hate each other. Quarter, they they sometimes feel like they love each other, but then how does it turn into hate? Um, I think everybody can relate to that. Yeah, yeah. And I yes, I do understand that. People can't control our, themselves, and we have mercy for them. But this subsidizing and um, and this giving to people and co Just subsidizing no, contraception and no condoms, condoms and um, condoms? and single motherhood and all of that stuff, it has Dude, not been a good thing. We have cares. a whole lot of corruption all up and down the courts and, and everywhere. Out. We should be fleeing from temptation. We should stop the... Uh, Shun gossip and backbiting. Um, don't God. seek revenge. Avoid even the appearance of evil. He's literally um, just rambling. Don't listen to phone. women and don't listen to snakes. And not even those in your head. Don't listen the to women. <laughs> is evil and, and God, thoughts this is literally and emotions, just a boomerang. Uh, can really mislead you, especially in the context of sex. No snakes, no women. Thank this is so the no wands and no snakes hey, department. Of course, you and I both know we have a little bit of disagreement, me looking through the orthodox prism. But um, I, I do want to get into these questions because I think that they're necessary. I think both of you, um, it was a very spirited debate and I enjoyed it. But there was a little bit on both sides where I think you didn't address each other's points and I want to get to both of them. So, hmm. um, man, this is for you, Hake. Man thinks woman would be re better at rearing kids. Uh, you seem to have some contention with that, but mm -hmm. it is something that happens often. Uh, Vosh is right. I'll I did go ahead and look it up. There is a huge precedent for the amount of uh -oh. men when they're polled, when they're, when they're asked their reason for why they didn't show up to court or this or that for a custody battle, that they thought that the mother would be better at rearing the children than how do you Very interesting. That? I, I, I accept it. I don't think I kind of have questions about it, but very frequently a man will be more magnanimous and will just say that. And honestly, um, oh, it's dudes, education yeah, today it's has favored it, girls and women. Now what? women are kind of more successful. And Vosh did make a point that I, I perhaps scoffed at, but it is true. Like men kind of want to just live that bachelor life they're sh shallow and empty and selfish 
So it, it does for sure take two to tango, but there are, but my main point was, and I, I, I think I've made it, was that there are a no, lot of men I... who want their children. <laughs> Hake needs more than a therapist. Hake needs like, Hake needs a long time of like therapy, uh, like a loving community. He needs some time away from the Jesse Lee Peterson show. Oh my God, yeah. He needs a lot more. Poor therapist. You can't put all that on a therapist. He needs a lot more. But they just don't. Jesus. They're tired of fighting, or they can't afford, or whatever. There's a lot of there's a lot of miserable men in that in that world. Okay, uh, Hake. So, but by the way, I'm going to be picking on both of you. But this is just me picking on Hake for a minute. I'm fine. Uh, you you said, have you ever heard a woman admit that they were wrong at the one hour twenty five minute mark? Uh, Hake, yes. My wife has humbly admitted when she was wrong multiple times, oh, but it does always no. cost me cookies. Okay, no matter what. Okay, <laughs> it still costs me the baking, um, either which way. And maybe I just wonder if what you're trying to get across there is that, you know, My both men and stronger. women, we have trouble being humble. Um, that's just a, a, a true statement. And sometimes humbleness comes with bitterness. Wouldn't you say that that's true? Let's get out of here. Um, yes, but it's it's more. I think that it is a lot more difficult for women. Your wife, if you don't mind my outing her Twitter handle, it's is it not rate for patriarchy? Yeah, but so she's I think, already a she's I think, already halfway yeah, but, there. But I need you to understand that her primary argument often is that we need patriarch and that most men are not worthy of being patriarchs in the modern era. Uh, so this is, you know, you but can But she already you knows the take... order is my point. Yeah, so but- so a woman like while, that is more likely to admit yeah, she's but, wrong. Hey, but while she understands the order, right? She's saying that most men don't belong in the front of it. Okay, uh, guys, I... just listen to how fucking creepy these two dudes talking about their wives are. Just holy shit the creepiest way of talking about another human being you could possibly imagine <laughs> right oh, yeah no i i acknowledge i acknowledge yeah. that that she thinks that men are weak and she's probably right about about most of those cases mm. but i'm just pointing out that uh it is diff that doesn't make that doesn't mean that it's not hard for women to admit they're wrong and it doesn't mean that it's uh rare i think it's more frequent that men will admit even with the case the of them of the letting the women take the kids if it, they'll be like oh she she'd be better at it than me anyway Zesty. they have this they're a little bit this more humble so uncomfortable okay women, men are uh hake uh since we've established degenerate is without morals i have heard multiple times that my so smoking precious. is degenerate does me smoking <laughs> cigarettes make me immoral I don't know. I think, I think. Yeah, wait, no, no, you okay, can't. Let me... No, no, I don't, I don't know is not good enough. All Does right. me smoking cigarettes make me immoral? No, you, you being immoral makes you smoke cigarettes because <laughs> you can't put up with the stress of all these, uh, all these people that you got to judge. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, Vosh, so... you, you brought up John 4-8. Uh, but I, I did want to just kind of clarify, you know, that is a reference to Christ love. And what, what he was trying to get across there was that, you know, this is the interpretation of Christ's love. If you haven't experienced love, you don't really understand Christ's love. Well, I think that would be applicable in this case, no. I, I certainly feel as though I've experienced love. Now, of course, as a secular person, when I talk about love, my definition my isn't going to be um, religious. But as religious people, my experience father. of love must necessarily be framed through your understanding of God's love, because you would believe what I experience if it truly is love. And I'd like to think that I, you know, love my mom and dad and stuff, um, that that is indeed a reflection of that love, you know. I, the definition of love, it's not something that we're going to be able to easily pin down. Bad. None of us can, I don't think, but I but do it think... it is something we know it when we feel it, right? It, it's it's certainly it's certainly a, a pretty core part of our experience, I'd say. great artist, yeah. Randy. Yeah. Great yeah, artist. So, I don't know. Yeah, absolutely. Classic. Go ahead, I'm not sure classic. if I have much to add, but I think that um, 
Yeah, you may have this imperfect feeling of love for your for your parents, just like most people have. But this is this is uh, it's an imperfect false imitation, and the world has a false oh, of imitation of you what it wants, me? which is God's love. But that's not the real. I I really don't think that that's the real thing, Bosch. Well, as I understand it. The love that we feel for our partners or our family or our children is a reflection of the divine love that created everything, including ourselves. That we're experiencing a fraction of the glory and wonder that God imbued in the world when he created it as our playground. Okay, but but it, if if that if this false imitation of, of love, what Some I call a false senses. imitation of love, that you call love, is a reflection of it, it's a pretty bad reflection because the world is pretty messed up and so it's not i don't think that that's the real thing well in a doctrinal sense i don't know how they would feel about saying that it's false love when it's what god gifted you in order to experience Having the world I, the, the world is messed up but that's our free will is it not we have I'll the ability exactly to make like mistakes to because puzzle, only man. through our aversion to those mistakes and our Christly behavior, can we enter the kingdom of heaven? Should come in useful. Well, um, if since we're arguing uh, the biblical stuff, relief. there's a whole lot of ways that you diamond can like, give your money well, away. It's even diamond. in the Bible. You can give your money away and have all this knowledge and speak beautiful words and all that um, stuff, but you, hello? it's possible to do that and have no love. So the Bible oh, warns Christ. about have a lack of love in the world. Yeah, yeah but hey, hey, within the parables, Often mm -hmm. what's being talked about is, for, for instance, uh, you know, in, in the parable of the pearl, right, is giving everything up of equal value that you could ever dream of for this thing that you want should be likened unto the kingdom of heaven. You should be wanting to get huh. into the kingdom of heaven by giving up everything that needs to be given uh, up to get there. Yes, but, y yes, that's, I also think that's really true, awesome. but, um, Jesus himself said, who of you who, if your son asked for a fish, you'd give him a stone or something like that. And he <laughs> said, you being evil know how to give good gifts to your children. Uh, how much more will your father give good gifts? So it's kind of to Bosch's point that it is kind of a reflection, even though we are evil. But his, but my point is we are still. I love that Hake has eaten shit on both of these questions. That Vosh is right. And also, the host, whose name, by the way, is Big Papa Fascist. That that Big Papa Fascist and Vosh have both just been like, dude, I don't think you know what you're talking about. And Hank is just like, well, yeah, I guess you're right. I don't. Evil. Okay. But let me uh, let me try to move on to some of these other questions because we we have tons, guys. Okay. okay. So Hank, at the one hour eight mark, Vosh says. Um, Oh, I'm sorry. Uh, one hour, five mark. Hake, the last sexual encounter I had was sucking a cock. Now, this <laughs> this reminds me of a joke about a bridge builder, right? He was an excellent bridge builder. The best bridge builder that there ever was. But if you suck one cock, you're not known as the bridge builder anymore. You're known as the <laughs> cock sucker, right? So... So the thing is, it's like, what I guess what I'm getting at, the reason he said that is because you were questioning whether or not he was a homosexual. Sucking a dick's pretty gay, hey, right? Right, but I, I'm against these identities. I think that somebody made a good point. I forget who it was. Maybe it might have been one of my fellow no. experts on the Jason Fuck. Peterson show, Chris. God that, damn it. And it might not have been him. But people have gotten into identifying as this or that. Oh. And when you identify as some into oh, some behavior that, that you that you've gotten into, that's a setup and that's a false identity. That was part no, no, of no, my I point. Mean, I, I get that. And I and I can even relate it is to that. pretty it is right? pretty quote unquote gay. Hank, I'm sorry, bro. Like, right? You are right. I want to say I actually agree with Hake on this one. I'm a, no. I'm a, a definitional abolition. Got to pause for a second here. Let's find out. We got to do some story. Let's find out what what uh, what Sleepy Boy and Deuce are up to. Come on, let's oh, listen. Oh, uh, hey there, Deuce. How's your endless toil treating you? 
Um, Mr. Hypnos, do you maybe think that you could, you know, uh, keep an eye on the procession line before Lord Hades, like you were supposed to? Oh, um, that's no problem. I can definitely do that. I'll just add it to the list. Hell yeah, Hypnos. Um, good, then. Glad we had the chance to chat. Now, maybe get some sleep or something. You look pretty beat. Okay, listen. Listen. Hypnos may be the god of sleep, but he's also the god of malicious compliance. He constantly falls asleep on the job. He has a list of, t of tasks that he never gets done. He's choking up the cops. It's great. Get on it, Hypnos. Yeah, okay, Hypnos. Sure thing, bro. Ooh, hey, little... What are those shades muttering about? Death by falling tortoise. Mm. Achilles, sir. I got a relic of some sort out there. A globule of ancient blood which formed after I fought with Megara. Is this really the Titan's blood I found? As far as I know, yes, lad. That it is. Though who's exactly, I'm not so sure. You'd best hang on to it and keep it safe. Your weapons. They shall thirst for it and drink it up. Not yet, perhaps, but soon. By the way, one of the most exciting things about this game is that there are transformed versions of all of the weapons. So there are, like, four different, totally different variations of each of the weapons in the game. It's sick as fuck. Literally, you can get Excalibur. It's awesome. You'll see. You can also get a literal angel machine gun, which is super fun. Well, I wasn't about to drink it. He's back already, Cerberus. Just as I indicated. I'm standing right here, Father. I'm sorry he disturbed your rest again, Cerberus. You've done a good job. The realm is well defended still to the high standard that you set. Dad is mad. Hey, that's the court musician's sentence. Long past due. Um, don't need any of those right now. Ah, we should clean it. We're gonna Contractor, clean the lounge. The job. Whew, it's a big job having to sweep up after Cerberus sheds everywhere. No more sheds. It wasn't your fault, Cerberus. I can't afford any of this. Yes, we can. We can get the Chthonic purple. How about this, Contractor? Bling. Back there, let's change the color theming up a little bit. Yeah, purple room. Acceptable before. Purple room, purple room. Of course, Achilles is a can canonically gay. <sighs> he was canonically gay in real life, too. The lounging area within the House of Hades is a dismal place to be. In spite of its intended purpose to enliven the house's grim inhabitants. Hmm. It's better than nothing. Let's give Meg a gift, huh? Hey, uh, Meg. Look, I, I know you're just doing your job out there. And anyway, found this, thought of you and all that. So, here. I, I'll see to it. This contraband is put away at once. Now, take your finer's fee and go about your business. This is, we just, listen, the balls on Zagreus, okay? The balls on Zagreus to literally walk up to the, the police chief of hell and just give a bag of fucking narcotics to the police chief of hell as a birthday gift. That is, that is a, a ballsy move. That is like, that is, that is like, that is like what Walter White wishes he could do. Can you imagine if Walter White just fucking gave a bat, like a pound of meth to Hank for his birthday? That's what we just did. We just r scrolled up and we're like, hey, hey, yo, police chief, here's some fucking drugs. Have fun. Happy birthday, bitch. I, uh, thanks. She hey, gave uh, us her earrings. Drinking, wow. drinking, Hank? Anything good? Whatever it is, it's weak. Enough to be mistaken for your blood. Bitch. Nice. Well, I'll just leave you to it then. Leave me alone. Wow, Meg. Wow, Meg. Nix isn't around. Damn, Meg, you're super cool. Super edgy. 
I want to go lie down. That's true, you can. But that's not... Oh, we have to lay down? Sleepy time. It is the dead of night. Or the approximation of it in the realm of Hades. Prince of the underworld, Zagreus, rises from a fitful slumber. With much mischief on his mind. Mischief. Mischief? Me? I was just going to have a little look through father's stuff. All is quiet at this time. Ever dreaming Hypnos put a spell upon the house, as Wilful Zagreus had asked of him. All are fast asleep, save for the prince. It is exactly as he planned. Yo, thank you, Hypnos! High five. Hypnos being a fucking bro. Bam. Lower your voice, old man. I'm trying to be sneaky here. He ventures toward the stately throne of his lord father, half expecting to be caught, but ill expecting what he is about to find. I said shut up, old man. He does not know exactly what he seeks. He only knows that something always has felt off to him, that he does not belong. Who is he, really? Lord Hades never would indulge such questions. So Prince Zagreus would find out for himself. I'm not listening. He rifles through his Lord Father's possessions. There is not much of any import there. Ledgers and administrative parchment work. Correspondence from Olympus which he had ignored. No trace of any reference to his son. But then... There is the note, written finally in a hand and voice the likes of which the prince had never seen or heard. Uh-oh. Hades, I can no longer tolerate my life here in this place. So I'm leaving, even if it kills me. I won't be returning to Olympus. If there is a place where I belong in this world, it must be somewhere between heaven and hell. Perhaps it's on the coast and has a little garden. Take care of Cerberus. I shall miss him. Persephone. <gasps> Thus did Prince of the Underworld Zagreus absorb the contents of this hidden letter, written in his mother's hand. Nyx isn't our real mom? His mother's hand? My mother's hand? Wait, what? You're saying this Persephone, that she's my mother? But father always said that Nyx was m That liar. He lied to me. They both did. All my life. Uh, thus did the prince discover, inadvertently, the well-kept truth about his lineage. Entirely by chance, this did occur. Persephone, the one-time queen of all the underworld. Where had she gone? And why? Engulfed by newfound questions and his rage, the prince decided to confront his lord and master. <sighs> you... <gasps> why? You... You're... Nix, you're not my mother. All this time, you and my father, you... You lied to me? Oh, my dear child. So now you know. So now you know. But... Only half the truth. I can explain the rest, so... Please. It never was my wish to hurt you. Mother, I wonder, will you even remember me? Well. Now, we have begun the actual story of the game. We got the first... Now, you might be surprised, but this game actually has quite a deep story. Um, and it goes on for a long time. So we have a lot to get through. And that's just the first bit. We've just discovered. Hades was lying about who our mother was. Our mother was Persephone, formerly of Olympus. A god! But why is Nyx keeping the secret? Why would Nyx lie for us? We know that she's not at perfect peace with Hades. Isn't that strange? 
I suppose we're going to find out. The mirror of night. All right, well, that's the story bits for this part. Let think? us let us begin yet another run, and we can Lushiness continue the debate. Sexuality. I think that we all exist on that spectrum, and that what we identify gay, straight, or in my that case, pansexual, is really just kind of like an arbitrary social division that we've created. When, like, um, in a society where you two receive different education, I'm pretty sure you'd be lucky to talk to at least a little bit. I think that no, pretty no. much everyone would, depending on no, what experiences no, they had growing no. up. I disagree. But I'll move on from this. You never I, know. I, but yeah, you know, don't I worry. Thought, I think I, Destiny has made that point too that people get into I, uh, naming naming oops, things and calling things, and wondering what they are and getting into confusion. It, it does breed, Ooh, boy, uh, yeah. I think, some okay. unnecessary misery by identifying yeah, ourselves as a wreck of fucking and we have this one. It's a <laughs> no, I like it. Wreck it. No like reason this. to wreck it. <laughs> it. Fucking dicks. All right. Okay. So at the hour four mark, Long way to go. <laughs> Bosh, right. this is for you. I think I'm ready. You said sex isn't a serious hook for marriage. And I, I couldn't help but type this as quick as I could. Are you family. fucking serious? Like, Death of course, sex family. is a serious hook Death for marriage. There's I like a zillion simps out there the who, who hit way above their league, hmm. who literally marry women just because no, they'll fuck them. Like, we life. know that this is true. Um, yeah, I actually think I, um, I, I misspoke there. I, I think that's not an inherent issue, and the only reason that is an issue Start is because a, of uh, well, from people like Hake. Well, um, the main Hades reason why people like rush into marriage time. because of sex is because they can't have sex before marriage. I would never do that because I can fuck who I want, but the, the story of like two kids right out of high school who like are super into each other and get married like after dating for three months because they're just so fucking excited for and they fucking like sure maybe sex is great but like they're eighteen and, like Fabulous. they're going off to college soon and then things fall apart you know like that's a pretty big issue and I actually think a lot of it would be fixed if people had a more laissez faire attitude towards sex but you're right strictly speaking what I said there was wrong what I meant to say was that problem is caused by these behaviors gotcha maybe okay, they shouldn't so have kissed before. <laughs> Maybe they, should, they shouldn't have made out, right? Or else they wouldn't have these problems. Okay. I think in oh, all gosh. society should be okay. sex divided, like everything: the schools, the McDonald's, yeah. the churches, and like in one room in every city, there's like a big hallway with a board between them and holes in the wall, and people fuck through them, and that's how babies are made. And Gross. apart from that, you never, you never interact with the other sex. That's the I only way. Oh God! I don't, I don't want to oh, go to this oh, college. Okay. Yeah. Wait, 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 wait. Vosh is joking about this. But the high school that I went to, um, uh, you, the high school that I went to many years ago was a former Catholic high school, and they had gender segregated, um, uh, they had gender segregated uh, water fountains. Believe it or not. Um, so I know that everybody kind of thinks that's a funny joke on Vosh's part, but that's a real thing. Um, in in many Catholic schools, there would be gender segregated water fountains. In fact, it was so ridiculous. It was such a huge portion of the school's history that um, a, a piece of the culture continued from that time. Um, previously, the school had been split up into the women's side of the school and the men's side of the school. And there was one water fountain that was that was installed uh, in a hallway that bridged the two halves of the schools. And so when it was a Catholic school, kids would hide notes for the opposite for for their crushes over in the other school at the neutral fountain the neutral fountain which was supposed to be for teachers only because the rest of the fountains in the school were either men's fountains or women's fountains unironically real thing vosh at the 59 minute mark you said something i hear often which is hey you know people change a ton over 30 years i agree with you by the way i think hake did too um, and, but you qualified this by saying, you know, this is a common case for divorce, chaos. you know, but I think people with children often understand. And I think that both of you and can intuitively here. understand the core of a person doesn't the change that much. The like the core of the who you are tends to stay pretty much the same. Forth yeah, the having time, raised children from the literally, you know, inception to adulthood, even to many of, of those personality them. quirks and the way that they were, they Could didn't really change that much. And isn't it true that people often represent themselves for you, incorrectly going into a marriage, and that's what often... Did I tell you there's a fishing minigame in this game? 
indeed it's not necessary to endear yourself using material means, for it is the thought alone which counts. Thank you, Master Chaos! We have two hearts on Master Chaos! Yay! makes them fall apart uh to an extent there are a couple of things that i want to say there sometimes maybe even often people's core identity stays the same but i think that it really depends person to person and listen to that whoa we got to heart level two i trust the small round catalyst which i provided to you has been of value son of hades it is my hope it makes your journeys to the space less difficult Perhaps inducing them on a more frequent interval. Yeah! Chaos wants to see us more! Fuck yeah! Love it! Love that shit. And even superficial changes in a person's identity can be sufficient for them to fall out of love with people. Um, I love you know, this one. Love, however, if you may think it a religious or, you know, a secular thing, however you care for the term, um, it's definitely something that it's, it's not always easy to hold on to, you know? Like feelings of fear or excitement. An emotional experience is something that can flit in and out of existence. It can change with time. Even sometimes for reasons you don't understand. If you just fall out of love with someone, that would be, that is at the same time, a very important and very unexceptional thing. It's not dramatic or exciting, but it can have serious consequences on your life and on your happiness, you know? Um, in terms of like how it happens or how this leads to people falling out, it really, really varies from, from marriage to marriage, you know? Um, oftentimes it's not just a falling out of love, it's like this fundamental, like, difference where somebody wrongs another person in a way they can't accept, and abuse does happen pretty often in relationships. Sometimes people fall out of love for reasons they don't even want to, like they want to continue remaining in love, but they've just changed enough that it's no longer an issue. I can't pretend to speak for all the people out there who have had failed marriages. I just know they happen a lot and that it's complicated. We've seen an in upcrease, or like an in increase in how much it's happened, but we don't have any comparable data from the past because from the past, people legally couldn't divorce for a lot of reasons. So we're, we're seeing an uptick in divorces, but not necessarily Ooh, an I uptick in marital unhappiness. An in fact, you can make an argument that if people are more free to divorce, the marriages that, that remain are going to be more happy on average. And that's nice. Maybe if divorce becomes a more frequent thing, but marriages do as well, you're going to see more instances of, like, um, you know, people flitting about a bit, but eventually setting on, on a relationship that is really good for them, and that would be, like, a really solid thing they can live with. I don't know. It, it, it varies. Well, what do you say to the fact that almost all divorces are initiated by women? Um, I would say that, generally speaking, women are the ones who are going to get out of there more often. From what I've seen, and I know I can only talk about this with Hake to some extent, because this is a, a challenging topic, this game is to a say the least. Yeah, it is. Um, it is. Divorce is often initiated because of allegations of abuse. Domestic abuse happens pretty much equally between men and women against men and women. However, abuse that happens against women tends to be a lot more violent and severe in nature. Um, I feel like often women tend to be like feel more threatened for their safety. Um, than otherwise. I think cheating happens equally both with men and women, so I don't think that necessarily like differs. Um, it could also be a cultural whiplash effect where because before um, the That's main like preventative factor in keeping people together, mm. keeping them from divorcing was like the fact that women couldn't legally establish their own like financial base. Now Grab that they can, one. we're seeing kind of like this cultural turn to accommodate that. It's really complicated stuff, but you know, at the end of the day, I'm in support of whatever civic policies allow people to maximize their freedom and live with and in situations that make them happy. Sorry, super rambly. It's just, it's so complicated and there's so much data out there, you know? One thing JLP recommends is that people Maybe date seven you. years with no sex uh, before they marry so that they actually get to know each oh, other and come not get on. hooked on uh, the sex thing. And seven years with no Please sex? Please tell me you can masturbate. That's cr that's extreme. Even that's more extreme than than any Christian I've ever met. That is the most unbelievably extreme thing. That is just made up and co total ass pull. No one has ever done that. It is not. It is not healthy or possible. Gross. No. I, I mean. Cake. <laughs> <laughs> you're, so, if you're so worried so about sexual more. degeneracy causing cancer, not nutting for seven years, a pretty good way of doing that. No, oh, yeah, uh, okay. Dr. Singh, Dr. Singh, who has been on the Jason Lee Peterson show, says that that stuff comes out naturally in your urine without doing that. <laughs> no! <laughs> that stuff 
comes out natch. Oh no, you just come while you pee. I mean, he can't say the word come. He just says that stuff. Oh God, amazing. The stuff. All right. And then also like Fuck. dreams and stuff, well, I, I guess. You take your methods and I'll take mine, I guess. <laughs> So, All right, the, the wet dream's okay. Um, so at the 52 minute mark, this is my last pick on Bosch question before I pick on Hake a little bit. Bosch, you kind of got caught on the slippery slope here, right? The 52 minute mark. You say that the main goal of the LGBTQ lobby was marriage, but then you went on to qualify the slippery slope by saying we have moved into all these other LGBTQ equality issues that have literally nothing to do with marriage. Isn't that kind of the slippery slope Hake was talking about? What? Oh, I only meant to say oh, that Hake was implying that at a point the LGBTQ lobby was arguing for something of like less than gay God. marriage, I think. Like even back when civil unions were introduced, that was mostly a compromise that was accepted more. by more mainstream, like, you know, sort of elements of civil society. But it wasn't explicitly the thing being fought for. Gay people have been fighting for the legality of gay marriage basically for as long as gay people have had any voice at all in society. But to the slippery slope point, like the idea of things like going further and further, yeah, I think that the slippery slope being mentioned here is one for consent, uh, which Haig doesn't care much for. But yeah, I think yep, that true, as long as doesn't. people are consenting to behavior and Almost. that, um, you know, nobody is being harmed who hasn't consented to that behavior, I think that you're fine and dandy. I, I, and, and right now, everything the queer lobby is fighting for is in line with that. I, I wonder, because I don't know the history, if before they, uh, before they were for same-sex marriage, if they were for decriminalizing the, I don't yeah, know, sodomy laws it, or whatever, go. and pretended that they weren't for same-sex marriage, because I think that they were, I think you may be mistaken, Bosch. Um, I think that if you go b back that far, publicly protesting in favor of gay rights was less frequent because these people were getting like arrested and sterilized for it. Yes. If you go back to before like the modern gay rights movement, you might be able to find precursors, though I wouldn't necessarily disagree with what they're doing, right? There were abolitionists back in the um, 1860s who were like, okay, we can free the slaves, but like, don't worry, they're still like black people. Like they're not like white people, you know, wink. Right. And then of course later they would fight for racial equality, which as far as I'm concerned is a good thing. The slippery slope argument is only valid when you're, the slope is leading towards something well, bad. But so far, it's you hey, know, sir. it's been it's been pretty hey, okay. Hey, it's Sisyphus. I don't know. I think black. Pause for a second. Listen to li listen to Sisyphus. You know, Prince Ed, I'd not expected to run into you again. Not after all this time. Something I missed out in the house, or what? Not had much company of late, is all. Oh, poor Sisyphus. Well, something's just about always a mess back home, sir. Figured it couldn't hurt to check up on things in Tartarus a bit more frequently. Aww. Well, I am grateful for it. I and the old boulder there, in turn. I'm used to going lengthy stretches on my own, but having visitors from time to time would do me well. I agree, Sisyphus. Let's get let's get some darkness. That I can and do. Nix's power. We, let's give him a let's give him a present. Hey, sir. Thought this might ease your burden for a while. Now hold a moment, Highness. I cannot accept something like this. Not without giving back a little something in return, that is. Thanks for oh, that, Oh, the sir. Shattered Shackle! Ooh, thanks, buddy. Boldy. All right, let's continue. Agree, because uh, Obama... <laughs> Uh, well, I'm saying that's because a lot of them are Christ a lot of them are Christians and not for this gay thing. So, like Obama, they voted for Obama the first time because he pretended that he was not for same-sex marriage. But people who I mean, knew, I mean, knew. that is a valid point, Vosh. The the proposition in California for gay marriage was swung by the black vote. There's there's no right. doubt that that's true. Oh, there that's fine. A, I just don't care about that. Conservative that's element that's there. Oh, that's. I mean, I'm just saying. I think it's a valid criticism. Like black people are more socially conservative on average, I think, than white people, or at least more than a lot of um, white people. I agree that's probably true. Yeah, I, that's probably true. I just don't care about them. They can lose and burn for all I care. Um, it's, well, honest, well, honestly, well, well, fighting fighting for civil rights isn't about like you know being super nice, taking your concessions, and then not pushing it past that point. Back when uh, like slavery was ended, the average person in the North still thought. Uh, that um, black people were subhuman. When we went off to fight Nazis in World War II, the average American was firmly against racial integration. Standards change. 
And in 50 years, like 85% of black people are probably going to be in favor of gay marriage. Probably even less than in... I know, um, they go they go right along with... with uh, they, they voted for Obama over 96% again, even after he uh, shocked them by saying he evolved towards same-sex marriage. So your point is is true that they'll, they'll fall for anything. Well, I mean, everyone, well, people the degeneracy get of the people shit, will just continue to slide down. People get moved to more progressive positions over time. Progressively uh, support, evil. Support for trans people, support for gay marriage, Dude, support for so all of these like signifiers has gone up with time. You fight yeah. as a progressive to normalize these positions, you know, not because people want them today, but because it's morally right to do so. And by tomorrow, they will want it, because there was never any good reason to be against it to begin with. Well, so, uh, the, I'm gonna pick on you one last time, so I guess I lied to you, Bosch. Mm -hmm. I had one more for you, for me, uh, but maybe it's a funny one. Bosch, you said, uh -huh. wouldn't artificial insemination oh, bring down oh, temptation sweet. at the 34 minute mark to hate? Uh, but it. Bosch, where does sperm come from? <laughs> and how, how would that not lead to temptation well, if a bunch of dudes okay, are jerking off me. to inseminate women? Because it'd be a way... <laughs> Because it could it be a way worse orgasm. Like, okay, uh, you know, like, it, the difference between nutting in a woman bear and, like, jerking off into a cup, I don't know. Maybe they could just, can they just, yeah, like, Yeah, but I mean, a, what are you thinking about when you're jerking off as a, as a heterosexual man? Maybe they could just right? put a needle. Like, how would it not lead to, In your balls. You know, what's ahead? Could they just put a needle, needle in your balls? Can they just, like, I think, take I think they out? can, but I don't oh, think shit. that that's the way the it's done. Casks of wine you know? Maybe that's how we should do it. Maybe that's the future <laughs> to avoid temptation. You have tasted the intoxicating Okay, uh, 31 minute mark. Cake. And fewer Bosch still, says under your moral values, it's almost monastic. I, I really still can't help but agree in an extent. Don't you think you're going a little overboard with, you know, you can't go on a date and kiss a girl. Like, aren't, aren't, why aren't we getting into the uh, the purity spiral to the point of absurdity <laughs> here? Um, no, I don't. Let's do the story aspects. Let's hear. Oh, um, hi, your highness. I just wanted you to know that if you do get out, I, we are going to miss you Aww. around here. Okay, so, bye. Um, bye, do so. Nix, do you know anything about a softly spoken gentle being under the guise of Gentle chaos? being! They approached me recently and offered me a boon of sorts. By the way, by, like I said, canonically non-binary, all the characters rep uh, respect their pronouns. Primordial chaos. Indeed, I know them well. Bing. They must have taken interest in your quest. I would advise that you beware their offerings, though know that chaos, whilst a trickster, is not a deceiver. True! I understand, I think. I see you've decided to come home. Changed your mind yet? Or looking for more pain and suffering? More pain and suffering. More pain and suffering for sure. <laughs> After all, you taught me to appreciate the finer things. You keep telling yourself that, boy. But mark you my words. Sooner or later, this life that you have chosen for yourself shall teach you I was right. Don't think so, bro. Don't Good think talk. so, bro. Good talk. All right, I guess that's everybody for this one. All right, back to the debate we go. I think so because you can still you can still hang out with a girl without kissing her um and i'm just saying because a lot of people i think i think True, the, the kissing at, i think it's common kind of knowledge that it leads to other things this. i'm not saying you can't i'm just saying it's uh it may be unwise okay well Women let me follow up keys. with this at the 28 mark you said you know no making out with applause, women so fine right but I mean, if I want to make out with my pie, wife and have a lot of sex, why, that that point, so well, well, I want to know, why is that no problematic specifically like from a biblical sense? Special armor, why is it problematic for me to want to, like, just make out with my wife and do. have sex with her all day? Why is that a problem? For a good time, beware well, to me, blowing uh, on my quest. if you Check. were self-controlled, you no, would no, no, not... not to you. My question is specifically from a biblical sense. Why is this wrong? Well, the Bible talks about self-control and, uh... The, the man not being concerned about the things the of the world, you know, how to please his wife, and the wife not being concerned about the things of the world, they should, be, they should both be committed that to is... God above that. So I didn't say that it was, it was 
wrong to be Getting making out and, and having sex under marriage. But it is all there, right there are ways to like get too into that stuff. Oh, everyone. And kind of end up worshiping the woman or worshiping yourself. You know, oh, I think there's a lot of ways to marry Yeah, but I, I don't have any, I don't know, have any stuff I, yet. Though, that's the problem. Idolatry. Normally I would, but I don't have any thing. money yet. That. I've only done like three rounds. But I think that it's plenty healthy and biblically <laughs> sound. To be a wife, man, I'm it, sorry. Like, what is that problem? Oh, yes. Yeah, speaking so speaking of slippery slopes, there, Mister yeah. Eating Good Meals might be a you know a temptation to gluttony. You. you know, Whew. Yeah, I, I don't know if if the if the temptation of anal sex leads to more anal sex, I'll take that any day over my. Yeah, I was talking about okay. lobster dinners earlier. I actually hate seafood, so for me, I, I guess it'd be a good steak. But yeah, you know. Yeah. So just to pick on you a little bit more, Hake, you said, I don't know what makes anal sex an evil, but Hake, sodomy's referenced in the Bible as being immoral. Right. So I don't know why you said right. that at no, 26 I, mark. I know, but I don't, I, I, I do reference the Bible and say <laughs> it's in the Bible. It's a fact. But um, I wasn't thinking about the Bible in that term because sometimes it's nice. It's written in this book. That means it's a fact. Why is this book correct? Well, because God says it's correct. Well, how do you know God says it's correct? Well, because the book says that God says that the book is correct. Well, how do you know that the book is correct in saying that God said that the book was correct? Well, that's because the book, I mean, because God said that the book said that God said that the book said that God was correct. To point out logically, I mean, <laughs> Yeah, using a secular I, argument. Yeah, I'm him. saying it's disgusting. Hey, see you it's later, like Leia King. Thanks for coming fit. by. I hope like, you have a great night. It could fit. I'm, not, I'm saying... Oh, no. I didn't mean it like that, man. <laughs> oh, no. Okay, so the 23-minute uh, mark, Vosh, you said, when will I feel used? Ten years, Vosh. Ten years, you'll feel used. <laughs> have you never felt used? Um, no, I'm, that's not I'm, what he was saying. To, I'm pretty... To preference it correctly, he was saying... I have plenty of promiscuous sex and I don't feel used as a counter to you saying that people feel used when they have promiscuous sex. But um, you have felt used before, right, Boss? I'm pretty on top of my game question. right now. Um, now. I don't feel very used right now. I mean, I don't know. About have you ever? Do we mean sexually or do we mean like me being in middle school and my like classmates make me do the work for the group project? How? Well, what, I mean, in the context of a... Of a so-called romantic type of a situation. Ah, yes. Not, not really. Strength. I've always the been sword. pretty um, direct and communicative with my emotional, romantic, and sexual partners. So usually if there's like an upcoming issue with a difference in preferences or like somebody wants to be more romantic than the other, I feel like if anything, I'm usually on like the other side of that where like maybe my directness is interpreted as coldness by the other person. Um, if, so if anything, they they may feel used by you even though you don't even mean to do it like that. I always try to be communicative, communicative enough to avoid that, but obviously in any kind of like social interaction, there's always a risk for people to find disagreement, no matter how hard everyone's trying. So That's yeah, it, it can happen, you know. Might as so well. The, uh, last one for you, Hake. Last pick on you, and this one's um, a personal me picking on you, right? You <laughs> said at the 19 minute mark, people should be coming together in their prime. Uh, Hake, are you aware of the massive age gap between the Theotokos, the Virgin Mary, and her husband? The mother of Jesus? And sure, there wasn't a sexual relationship there, but this was not an uncommon arrangement at the time. Uh, so I, I'm not really sure where you're going with that. I would say, yes, it's preferable for youthful people to get married because women can bear children for a lot longer. Right. And maybe there's more in common. However, if a 55 year old man marries a 20 year old woman, she's still going to be able to bear his children, right? Up until whenever. So I, I don't really understand this argument. Maybe I was, maybe by people I meant uh, women. Y young women. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Of course yeah. you okay. did. I women have to be controlled, but yeah, men but never that, do. Yeah, I'm not necessarily for that big of it. What if I'm not necessarily together with the argument though. What I'm asking is like the age gap has yeah. been traditionally often ridiculous, and yet right. this has worked out fine because these men have a large amount of resources. Okay. And it 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 tended to just kind of work out. So I'm just kind right. of curious as to how you make the justification. I, I'm not 
I wasn't arguing against the man being older. Uh, okay. I, I don't. I don't know if. I don't know how I feel about that much of an age gap. I don't really have an opinion formulated on that. But uh, <clears throat> what I mean is, right now we have women who are thinking that they want an education and then they want a career and then they want to get established in a house. And even married couples will be like, oh, we have to get, we have to get settled first. And then they're kind of older, you know? So have you considered making it easier for people to get settled instead of telling them, instead of telling them they don't get to live a life? No, no, you just have to become a housewife at age 19 because, oh, well, you know, if you want to have a career and a house, you know, and live a normal life, well, that just takes too long. God, I hate these people. So I'm, I'm, my argument is more against this feminism, education, uh, everybody goes to college mess. That's what so, I was. So and, the, and the promiscuous sex stuff. Everybody not goes down. to college. Like, oh, these people just live in an alternate reality. Do you know how many people don't go to college? Do you know how, what percentage of the American populace doesn't go to college? Actually, you know what? Let's find out. Uh, percentage of American of American with college degrees. Let's find out. Only 37.5% as of 2022 of Americans have college degrees. Do you know how many people don't go to college and more so how many people who do get to go to college can't afford to finish college? This guy lives in a fantasy realm. Literally, he may as well live in Lord of the Rings. He would be happier if he thought that we lived in Lord of the Rings. The lightning round going into the super chats. I don't want to take up um, oh, yeah, for too much of your guys' time, but I do want to try to field as you many of these as we can. Fury, uh, this is from Willie uh, Powell. Bosch, why do you one. confuse the reproductive lately, system with the digestive with system? You sound very love. confused. The they um, fucked. Exception. Aphrodite okay, fucked Megara. That's what we just saw. This is the super chat. Go ahead. Willie Powell. Yeah, um, so I guess, like, that person's kind of retarded, and I'm just happy to let them know so they don't need shit like a diagnosis. Uh, this isn't about confusion, and you know it's not. Like, don't pretend. It, it's about what makes my dick feel good. That's all I care about. If it makes my dick feel good and their asshole feel good, that's it. That's the end. Like, no, there's no confusion here. Like, uh, are you aware that when she sucked your dick, that was actually the oral orifice and not indeed the vet? Well, thank you. Phenomenal. You're truly, you know, shining a light of introspection upon this event. Go get laid. And it's just from, so weird. Like, who, who do you think you're owning? Christ. This from so well, you're the weird one. I understand For you getting head? All right. Well, you know, if that's yeah, I'm, that's I'm, the I'm line. Sorry. I'm sorry. We can't. We can't have too much debate back and forth. We'll never get through okay. these. Okay. Right, so from Scion for for ten dollars, he said, "What's wrong with the society that you can't be an individual and think for yourself? We've been taught that it is somehow cool to be so much uh, of a beta male." Okay. Repeat it. What? I assume that's for I, me, because... Yeah, yeah, he says, what's wrong with society that you can't be an individual and think for yourself? The weird We've thing... been taught that it is somehow cool to have so much... And then he blots out the word after a... And he blots out the word, I don't know what it means, and still be a beta male. So I think he's saying, you know, what's wrong with thinking for yourself? Why are we all betas and playing follow the leader? Well, the funny thing what? is, is that I'm the one arguing for individual expression, and Hake's the one arguing for conformism. Hake is arguing to listen to Sky Daddy's magic book. Literally. And I'm not just saying that because he's a Christian. I'm saying it because he's a Christian whose only understanding of Christianity is that D Sky Daddy told me to do so in, in the magic book. Or at least my interpretation of the magic book. That's the least individualist perspective. That's like the least independent individualist perspective you can possibly have. It's literally, I don't know how to think, so I just picked up a random book that has gold leaf lettering or, or gold leaf edges and called it good. I'm in religious doctrine, but I guess accepting that weird set of premises? Um, I don't. I think you should be able to do what you want to do. And most of my arguments are not only in favor of legal freedom, but also in favor of ideological freedom. Because I think that there's a kind of ideological chilling effect that takes place 
when you discourage people from making certain life decisions because it doesn't conform to your own values. I think that if you want to discourage people from doing something, it should be because it's it can be indicated to be like harmful to towards others, like morally wrong in a you know, um, know a secularly provable way. Because if you want to get into religious stuff, why would I take do. religious arguments any more seriously from a Christian than a Muslim, or a Hindu, or a Mormon? And God That's forbid, a it's a Mormon. All right, um, we're we're all fucked. You know, me. Uh, yeah. In reality, you're going along with the crowd, and uh, the crowd. rationalizing degeneracy. Um, there are things that I believe that are in line with public opinion, and a great many things I believe that are not. I think that I'm sure most of the people watching here are fully familiar with the fact that I argue with a lot of people. <laughs> clearly, yeah. clearly, if I'm all about crowd, you know, group think, I would, you know, no, I, know. I would have more I'm, friends. I'm just talking about the sex stuff. But well, anyway. well, you know. If something is popularly accepted, that doesn't necessarily mean that it's wrong, right? Like, you know, no. this is one of those, like, I can't believe you sheep will believe the sky is blue type things. Like, well, okay, you know, it's popular, sure, but if it's right, it's right. Uh, this from Jez Jezhor for five pounds. He Got says, em. question for Hay. Were you ever a sinner, or have you always walked the righteous path? <laughs> mm. uh, I am a sinner, I guess. Okay. Made by Jim Bob for $5. Nice. Bosch says, same sex can't have sex. Do other things uh, they incorrectly call sex. They, I'm sorry, they do other things they incorrectly call sex. So um, he's saying, <laughs> atheists, checkmate atheists. <laughs> I define anal sex as not sex. That means gay people can't have sex. <laughs> B -b -b Bazinga. I hate, what a stoop, what, somebody paid money, somebody fucking That's my paid, wife you're talking about, oops, I, I didn't even mean to press that one, somebody fucking paid money to have that, to, 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 to have that read out, holy shit. That same sex activity is not actually sex, it's just incorrectly called sex. The thing that I think is really interesting from people who think this way is that their <laughs> contributions to discussion betray how little they think about this. They're not interested in actually fleshing out ideas or concepts or moral arguments. Instead, they're like interested in assigning ideas to block moral definitions they have preset. It's like the ethical equivalent of like square peg takes square toy and round peg takes round toy. Where like, ah, oh, well, that thing I don't key. like, so it's not sex. Why would you think I care whether or not it's sex? Do you think I care? Like, do you, yeah, exactly. like if do you, like if I'm if I'm like you fucking a guy in the ass, in the uh, do you think like I'm thinking like yes, it is very morally meaningfully important to me that this be termed sex, but I, I don't I I I, I don't. So bold, Your Highness, I, I guess the thing that I'm offended by here is the idea that you think on that level. Are you? Time? Suddenly, okay with anal sex? Look, if I, I just called it anal, like would that then the insert it into a category that you would be acceptable with, and we sure. could all live and let live? I'm Clearly not, surface. right? This is just some tangential thing. But Ooh, yeah, I don't that know. Is quite an undertaking. No, I think made, made by G you, Jim Bob it, is like a pretty deep guy, told, and I think you're being a little too dismissive. I think his point is that that there's nothing good or productive about this fake sex. Whereas have, with normal sex, it's it produces life and and a family. Excellent. I have sex in, to make my right dick context. feel good, Hake, and in that respect, anal sex does a perfectly satisfactory Fair job, I have to say. Right, um, the sound design that's, is but that's amazing. Not, there's game. nothing good about that. That's what I'm going for. That's my good. It feels good. Didn't I just say right, that? It doesn't feel bad. Um, it feels good. Well, that's emptiness. I don't know sure. what they. Uh, anyway, I leave them sure. empty. That's for sure. Yeah, I'm. So, I'm sorry to uh, get <laughs> in, guys. No, sorry. you're fine. Trying to, trying to get through these. Um, We've made our point. For for the two dollars, uh, Miss Mortician, 1986 says you're the best, Bosch. Uh, <laughs> Nina N for five dollars says how would both debaters sorry, describe their attainable perfect world? That's not a loaded fucking question. Jesus. Go ahead, Bosh. You're first. Tell me your perfect fucking oh, no. world. Um, I want a world where people are as free as possible to pursue things that interest them so long as they don't hurt others. Now, keep in mind that people being free means that we have, like, the baseline access to resources and systems that allow us to express ourselves. 
So a free world is still a world where people maintain the roads. Because otherwise you couldn't oh, visit cool friends in other cities, you know? Like, something like that, but I want that on the greatest possible level. A retraction of all social mistake. standards that restrict our freedom, hmm. and an extension of all social systems that allow us to enact our freedom. Um, this is, of course, why I'm a communist, but I feel like you can extend this out ideologically in a bunch of directions. And by the way, I think that what I'm describing should be perfectly in line with Christian doctrine, Hello, because even if that means people would be making unchrist-like well, decisions day to day, committing sin, anal sex, home. whatever, you know, um, people would have Let's ultimate see, freedom to act on their will, that and that would be the most effective determiner of whether or not a person like, deserves to exactly enter the kingdom of heaven asked, after their death. After all, is a man truly good if they never had been given a choice to do evil, if every second of their life they had been pushed and cajoled and coerced into doing good? Probably not. Oh, Maybe they're good by circumstance, but well, it's possible. Uh, but Bosh, there's a logical hole here, right? Like, where do babies go then? Do they go to hell? <laughs> I don't know. I'm not religious. Right? Like, I mean... Yeah, no, no, no. Don't you know give me... I mean? Well, don't... Look, don't, don't ask me to sort your systems out. Sure, they go to hell. I just think that as long as we have our time here on Earth, we should have the, the, the greatest possible, you know, uh, ability to express ourselves, you know, the, the, the self-actualization. That's what I care about. Gotcha. Okay. Uh, hey, uh, that was for you, too. I would say um, men should start worshipping God instead of women. And I think that things will turn around. Okay. Meaningless. Uh, Lin, Chen, Lin Yan Chen Meaning says... Meaningless. Uh, he says, what God has joined? Let no man sever, lest he play God like everyone who divorces their spouse. Why challenge God? Why challenge the Lord? Good hair with a question mark. Now, why would you put good hair with a question? Is he he's asking calling... if you guys have both have good hair? <laughs> no, he's... I need a haircut. My... Mm. He, he calls, Lin Yen Chin calls me Lord Good Hair. Oh, okay. Well, because it became a meme. Some black guy said, Hague has the best hair on the internet. And then it became a meme. Gotcha. So, well, but he's well, saying, why challenge God? Meaning yeah. Vosh is challenging God and separating what man, what God put together by allowing for divorce. And why challenge Lord Goodhair? Meaning why challenge Hague? in the darkness. Yeah, well, uh, he follows up for two toonies and a loony. False. It isn't forcing to let go and let God guide a marriage that He's allowed you to enter. Vanity, ah, I'm so aka close. insecurity, oh, guides this for the Lord. Good hair. Do that. I, uh, Bye, Meg. If, if this is in any way Bye, intended Meg. for me, I'm afraid I don't know how to parse it. No, I, I think that this. I was, think he's uh, talking about how divorce yeah. comes about. It's Tyson it's God. um. God will make a way if, if you want to do right in a marriage. And stay in a marriage, even if you're miserable for a time, um, no, you can work I it out. But come. women are so vain, well, they want to initiate sure divorces because be they want to play God. I think True. it's interesting Something that like Hake that. takes every possible opportunity to deride <laughs> women as a group, even in situations where the yes, advice would be Isn't perfectly applicable to like all of humanity. Check. Like that's isn't Fe that odd? Female-minded males too. Yes. Right, of course. <laughs> Female-minded males. Uh, Secret Stars says, Hey, Ugh, this heat. if you married a God-fearing woman that had Vosh's personality, do you think you'd be able to force yourself to get along with her for the next 30 years for the sake of your beautiful children? <laughs> and she'd like anal, too. She'd pressure you for it. That's like, <laughs> that, I mean, that's, a, that's actually a pretty good a pretty good philosophical question. I'm kind of curious about the she answer. She like anal, too. <laughs> well, uh... Oh, a, a gregarious person who's communicative and uh, intellectual. I mean, uh, <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I, I, God, God help me. <laughs> God help me. Uh, Lord or Lin Yen Chen for this time multiple mm. toonies and loonies says Lord Good Hair is right. Happiness is hedonism of following Satan into a spiraling delusion which typifies his adversary. The haughty, broken, sexual men seek inner silliness to sharpen discernment Inner of silliness? Wait, is that like real? Is a bit death culty. Discernment, following Please? Satan into a spiraling delusion, which typifies his adversary. The haughty, broken, sexual men seek inner silliness to sharpen discernment <laughs> of God. These people are so like wild. This is a bit death culty. Do not so much Happiness is satanic. I feel... Is that... At a point when you're typing this out, do you ever think like, hmm, this is, um, 
the, what, I, th this is not, not good. <laughs> I don't know. Nah, no, nah, it's a very, very, very silly way of looking at life. Um, yeah, it's, it's, you know, uh, so often religious ideas are invoked as a way of using divine power to justify unjustifiable positions. And I, I see that a lot here, and it's really, really, really weird. Um, the idea of declaring war on happiness is a good one. those wretches? Um, Damn. yeah, oh, God. It just, it but then, it, but then but watch, happiness you, is fickle. Well, I gotta ask, though. Watch, Life is reconcile, fickle. Why Life why is you, fickle, How do you reconcile yeah. the fact that it's the religious people who are the most happy? They're not. Um, <laughs> they're not. Based on Even what study? Close. This, would, this wasn't based on a study. This was based on polling data. Oh, okay. Well, yeah, polling data. Um, yeah. I, um... I think I would be... Well, first of all, I should say that even if that was something that oh, I took for granted... Oh, by the way, granted, one of the things... The reason why they go to polling data is because Christians have to tell you they're happy. If Christians don't... Christians have to tell you they're satisfied with their life. Because if not, they're insulting God. If you believe that God gives you everything, and somebody asks you, Are you happy with your life right now? And you say, Nah, it sucks. You're saying, Fuck you, God. You haven't given me anything good. No. Christians have to always be grace and be grateful, even if they're miserable. I know this firsthand because I grew up in a Christian family. Everyone, if they're asked externally, they will say, no, we're very grateful for what God has given us. Thank you. We're very grateful for what God has given us. We're very grateful and thankful for what God has given us. Meanwhile, back at home, they're fucking chugging Xanax and crying into a fucking Kleenex box as a causative element. I don't think that, like, religion necessarily makes people unhappy. I think whatever the fuck that guy just typed into the dono box made him unhappy. <laughs> I'm, I'm being a bit selective here, I'll say. Um, no, I, look, my, my outer family, not my outer family, my um, extended family, you know, like my grandparents and stuff, like, they're all religious. Um, and, uh, and, and I... And they're pretty happy, you right? Like, are they pretty Excuse. happy? I'm sorry. Oh no, uh, they're they're Catholics and Christians both. Uh, a lot of them are Catholic. Um, my family goes back Irish and Polish, so you know, very, um, uh. yeah, very very Catholic denominations there. But no, they're they're happy people. Not all of them, of course, you know. But a lot of them are very happy people and fine people. I, I have my issues with religion. Don't get me wrong. I'm anti-theist for a reason, but it mostly has to do with reasoning and empiricism. In terms of what makes people happy, I'm not like against religion. <laughs> You know, if it makes a person happy or benefits their life in some sense, I'm not gonna like be fucking weird about that to them. That seems like kind of a cringy thing to do. Um, of course, when you're making religious pause. arguments to take people's rights away, you know. All right, everybody, we gotta pause for a minute because we get to meet somebody very special right now. Let's chill and let us. Hold on. What? I gotta get the music up. All right, everybody, it's gonna be loud for a second. Singing, here? Come on in. Okay. Hey, you must be the Hades kid. Eurydice! How's it going then, your royal majesty? Nice to meet you, I'm Eurydice. What brings a big, important guy like you up to a place like She's this? She's so hot. She's so hot. She's so hot. Hi what there. the fuck? No need for formalities, I'm Zagreus. Just heading out on some official business, past the menacing Bone Hydra. Don't mean to be rude, though I'm in a bit of a rush. Well, don't you have your hands full, hon? I'll let you go. But there's one rule in my place, which is, nobody leaves here empty-handed. You got that? So take your pick. My treat. Yeah! Ambrosia Delight, loved by the gods. Up to two random boons of yours are upgraded to the next rarity. That would be good. Palm Porridge, Underworld Delicacy. Up to four random boons of yours gain one level. Wow. Refreshing Nectar, a rare and fragrant beverage. The next three boons you find have upgraded rarity. Let's do the Ambrosia Delight. That one's on me. Yes! It upgraded both our cast and our sword strike. That is perfect. Well, now we've met Eurydice. The nectar is really good. Yes, I agree. I love Eurydice, and don't worry, we, she has a huge storyline. So get comfy. We're going to get to meet Eurydice many, many times through our many runs through this game. Let's continue. You know, I think disagreements are warranted. Okay, uh, so you. Wicked Got Wally one. for $10. Thank you, Wicked Wally, friend of the Crucible. Thank you. 
He says, and this is a dad joke, I think we got into the anal the argument way too off. early. Really, it should have been saved for bringing up the rear. Okay, well, dad joke received, Wicked Wally, right? Um, now that's the, the virtue of fatherhood right there. <laughs> for $5, J.S. Urban Adventures says, the verse that Vosh quoted is translated agape. I believe that that word is agape. Vosh is talking about the euros and sounds foolish. Now, to to kind of uh, put and that... And phileo. Witchcraft. Yeah, to put, the, to put that super chat in perspective, I do often find that laymen... Shot. Your cast and is by the way, I'm, I'm no biblical expert, though I think that okay. I'm more well-informed than most... Um, they often do the cherry pick the Bible to make the points without understanding the greater context of the metaphysics that are behind it, Bosch. Do you agree that that's true? Undeniably. And I would never and pretend to make more dedicated elsewhere. arguments about biblical scripture than I feel I'm qualified to. I'm sure the but I am absolutely confident soon in my belief, and I would defend yes, in any respect the belief that a belief in love and a reflection of God's love being the experience humans have with one another is a fundamental component of Christian theology with essentially no room for arguing otherwise. It is the experience of that love that brings people closer to God. If you can't feel that, if you can't experience that, you're essentially being denied a fundamental element of God's creation. I, but, I'm, separate, I'm, but separate sin. Separate what? So, but you have to separate sin. So sin is not the uh, condition of God's love. Sin would be the condition of you not experiencing God's love. Right? Well, yeah, well, yeah, I'm not saying that sin, like the act of sin is God's love, only that your mm -hmm. ability to experience love for others is a component of and a reflection of God's love and creation. Yeah, um, I don't disagree, that's true. Everyone, sin is an act. Well, everyone, whether they are or whether they do, everyone sins or is a sinner to some extent or another. No one is perfect. Not even, you know, I don't even think the Pope's claim that way. You know, everyone. Um, no, the Pope's claim uh, uh, Yeah, so uh, in, in that respect, like, but we're given the free... Oh, yeah, people talk about this frequently. People break out the term papal infallibility. Papal infallibility is actually not, a, is, is, is not what people think it is. Papal infallibility only refers to a thing called ex cathedra uh, declarations. Basically, popes only have papal infallibility, aka where they are speaking the word of God without question when they are uh, when they have done a certain ritual and are seated in the throne in the Vatican City. Um it's an incredibly rare thing to happen. People talk about papal infallibility. I know this is really random. People talk about papal infallibility all the time, but it's actually quite a rare occurrence that any pope claims it. And it's really only done uh, for very, very specific things. Anyway, just figured I would share that. We need them to make those choices, aren't we? And, and the hope would be, you know, for any Christ-like person after one sins is to That's learn something. from that and to move on. But I do feel like Hake's essentialist perspective of chaos. sin, what did he just say, that sin isn't an action, rather sin is something done by a sinful person, it's essentialist and it doesn't leave very much room for people to grow. Wait, wait, okay, so this, this comment popped up and it said Vosh would probably take his sig. You own a sig sour? Yeah, right next to me. You fucking, I mean, it's good tasting guns, Crowd. man. Just saying, just saying, it's good tasting guns. I just ordered my, a new one this preference. morning. You got a P229 or a P220? Uh, no, it's a P320 and I've got a P227. Ah, oh, shit, fucking, you, you couldn't get the good one, could you? Couldn't get the P229, the best of the best? No, I, li it. I like the ones that I got. They're they're very shiny. <laughs> okay, Firefly90 for $5 says... You must have a lot of stuff around these parts, way, don't you, Carol, mate? Not, not gonna lie, Most my, uh, my go-to. Um, Thank you. Per Hake... Woman rape should still have the child we'll if they get around. pregnant. In that situation, wouldn't they be a single Hello. mother My plan you to despise? Get a hold of you via the boat no. Worked out flawlessly. Okay. Uh, go can can I can it. I get a clarification oh. on that? Yeah, go ahead. Can, it, so if a if a per, if a woman was raped and then had the child, wouldn't they be a single mother? Right, but not a single mother I despise necessarily. Oh, okay. Right. Well, we 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 finally found the condition for a woman to not earn your ire. They have to be raped. Okay. Well. Okay. Gotcha. <laughs> I didn't say. I didn't say. I wouldn't. No one gets her. 
Just no, not necessarily. Just not, okay, gotcha, you know. She, <laughs> mi she might have, like, been wearing something that asked for it, in which case here, the, the derision would continue. I mean, I think victim blaming is actually a good thing. Because oh you, my it's, god, of it's, course it's you do! For preventing of course issues. he fucking yeah, does! Preventing the problem. Uh, so, for $20? Well, well known oh, rape sorry, stopped back when, um, back when women were all wearing, like, uh, pilgrim's dresses. The rape didn't exist until, like, um, low-cut skirts were invented. Anyway, sorry, please continue. Yeah, why is the wife, the wife is so right about this. Communists do always have good taste in guns. You know, they made the best. They hey, the it's, best the the it's the one thing we got! It's the one thing you did right, I'll agree with that. Okay, so Goat Roofer for $20 says, Vosh, do you home. have, do you have a poop, I mean the AK-47. Yeah. It's the best of the best of that. But anyway, cool. it is a great Bosch, gun. Do you have a poop fetish? Shoe on head has some explaining to do. I have no idea what the fuck that means. I assume it's like an anal sex thing, which I mean, I guess this is how I thought <laughs> about anal when I was like 12 or whatever. But you know, if you have enough good experiences, you put your biases uh, aside. Like I, like, I don't know. I mean, I've also fucked chicks when they're on their period. Like, do I, does that mean I have a menstrual clot fetish? Like, I like sex. Like, you know, I'm, I'm living life, living my best life. People act so weird about it, you know? But so much of the weirdness kind of reveals the underlying thought process, right? Like, so much of the anti-anal sex stuff, like, come on, it doesn't have anything to do with morals. You just think it's icky. If it was a moral thing, then your opinions on the cleanliness of the act would be absolutely irrelevant. Like, it would have nothing to do with the argument. But you and Hake both no, went with I... the, oh, well, it's gross thing, like, pretty much right off the bat. So it's like, okay, so it's not <laughs> ethical then. You just don't, and that's fine. I'm not forcing you to have anal sex. Be free. Uh, so, oh, from what? Uh, NTP, oh, for many loonies and toonies, we always appreciate the loonies and toonies here, God equals good, which means order, common sense, logic, All and right, reason, everybody. truth, life. We have reached the end of, the, of, of, my, of my stream time for tonight, everybody. Uh, I don't have anything else to... Uh, uh, I, I don't think this is going to go anywhere else. I think we've gotten the best of it, okay? I actually do need to go and eat and, uh, not eat. I need to go and catch some rest because I have some stuff I need to do for tomorrow for the move. So, uh, with that, we will conclude our playthrough. But before we do, first of all, let's summarize what we did tonight. Tonight, we, we, we battled through Tartarus. We fought our way up into Asphodel and we confronted the Hydra of Asphodel. We learned that Nyx, despite our father telling us so, is not our real mother, and our real mother left our home, and that we have been imprisoned within. That's what we learned tonight in Hades. We have so much more to go, but we're going to play through it together in the coming weeks. Um, and then secondly, I wanted to say thank you all for being here tonight. I had a wonderful time. Uh, I'm going to try and do more of these type gaming streams where we're reacting to stuff and playing games and talking and whatever because honestly hell of a lot of fun so um, anyway um, without any further ado what the hell is going on here without any further ado I hope you all have a wonderful night please join my discord like and subscribe to the stream and I will see you all very 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 uh very very soon Mwah. Mwah. see you soon good night imps thanks for being here